test test we have quality options the audio sounds good and we're ready ladies and gentlemen we are ready to start the series finale this week captain summer the booster series series finale october 30th to november 2nd probably i mean i don't know maybe take less time but hopefully we can get this done because it is the final class before editing setting everything up but um i just woke up and was getting the coffee ready and stuff but yeah we're gonna be doing this it's gonna take a good while and uh i'm looking forward to it it'll be fun i think it might not be as bad as we may think it is maybe playing all these other classes and seeing how they are mechanically you know in terms of their abilities and what they can do how much damage they do how much better they get in rebirth process you know it makes a huge difference so we're gonna just go ahead and, and get this one going let me send notifications out get the coffee And yeah, it'll be, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. All right, the characters have been made, so that's good already. All right, let me get notifications out and we'll get this thing running. Yeah, this was gonna be pretty tricky. Not really. I think the deal with this uh, character in particular is just the fact we have to rely on cart revolution the entire way. So we might actually be able to manage to do this rather quickly if we play our cards right. The other thing is though, I was considering stacking banny boards and turning them in, you know, IRA exclusive. Geneticist is absolutely worth making. If you're going to ask me if it's worth making, it's absolutely worth making. It is the one character that I started a series for from start to finish that I managed to get an MVP card with because of its of the homunculus ability to reduce the damage I took and need of paralysis. I don't know how long need of paralysis will continue working as it's been working, but I'll tell you right now that Geneticist was actually easy to level. The Sarah homunculus is probably the best homunculus you can pick up. Amish turn into Sarah. And it's um it takes a good amount of uh effort, I'll tell you that much. If you already have the geneticist, I, I feel as though the booster equipment just helps it so much more. And it's probably worth picking up uh the Sarah homunculus and the booster stuff because it just, just really goes a long way. It really does. But again, it's a lot of work and it's pretty why I put this class to the end. So I don't know if it's gonna take 32 hours. That is the time it took to do the sorcerer. So I'm kind of just going off of that. That's what I'm going off of. So, so just bear with me on that one. Cause yeah, if it takes longer than that, oof, yeah, prediction was correct, but I'll be giving it my best effort. Now that said, let me go pick up my coffee real quick and we'll get started. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for the ride. This is Booster Alchemist in 32 hours, Spear B. Thank you. 
you know what have it as you will and i did not actually uh start up the coffee machine so just got some water instead but that's fine we'll get started with that so here he goes Hey, John Save, how you doing? Good morning to you, too. So you're getting started with an alchemist. Great decision. Doing just fine. I woke up a little while ago. I started up the stream. I did not plug in the coffee machine. And here I am waiting for the coffee. But I'll be getting started right here. So let's get this party started. So you decided to play alchemist today. And that is why you're watching this VOD. Let me tell you right now. We're currently working with 200% server EXP rate, so on the weekends we got to 50%, but that's a whole different story. Let's focus on what we got here. So you made a booster character, right? We don't have the job changes, but I'll be sure to include them at a future time. I think I have footage of that from previous streams. It's the same job change stuff, no problem. Now, booster pack, you made a character, right? So you made the character by making the character on your account. You logged out, you went to the booster website, which is located over here, which is the one that we use uh to sign up as written on the chat so you made a character right and then you renamed it as you saw earlier you logged in now you get a booster pack booster pack level one you open up the booster pack level one you're greeted with a first job change ticket a metal weapon ticket a hat which you can control right click to identify if you have a magnifying glass and if you have a magnifying glass you can also click twice and identify the item so you now have a bunny hood and a costume red backpack that's how they know that you are a booster character that's a you know costume so further on you also have a starter armor crate the starter armor crate gives you the high adventure set high adventure set is actually very very good because if you look at your stats 177 hit you equip this alone you got 20 hit with that with that uh thing you also got 25 magical attack 25 attack right 87 total defense and then you look at your hp you got 40 hp 11 sp base you put this on boom you got yourself 490 hp and 161 sp but don't worry you're gonna be able to get more exp soon more exp more hp soon so first of all you're gonna be going to the northern area here and you're gonna be selecting the oh yeah we also have a steam starter ring so last 30 days you'll be you'll get there in you know a couple of hours depending how long you're playing steam starter ring gives you more experience for monster skill you equip that very nice so now you also have a metal weapon ticket the metal weapon ticket is very very useful it gets you lets you pick one metal weapon of your choice now metal weapon you also have to read it's not going to be that difficult just keep in mind that you know there's also size penalties which is very important mechanic in my opinion because it may make the difference between dealing some decent damage and your damage really looking a little a little odd so look at the size modifiers and i'll explain this for the most part alchemists cannot wear most of these weapons you cannot wear a metal two-handed sword because it's for swordsmen metal lance is for swordsmen metal maze you can equip metal maze novice merchant acolyte Mer novice swordsman acolyte merchant you can equip a metal two-handed axe swordsman and merchant but the size modifier for an axe is 100 percent damage too large 75 percent too medium 50 percent too small that is not such great news metal mace however metal you know not metal mazes however are 75 percent damage versus small and 100 percent damage to medium and large so that is very very good metal dagger i mean size modifier is not really that great 175 and 50 for small medium large it's not very yeah and book staff guitar bow you cannot equip the stuff metal mace is your best bet because it's going to help you with the damage and it's not gonna be so bad most of them must be fighting in the later parts of the game medium and large so that'll be good now that's it when i pick up the metal mace i'm gonna get on moving where is a good place to train that 161 higher um you can actually go to hmm. they say tartaro's warehouse the 17.2 is good uh turtle dungeon is still good all the way to 175 I don't know if Illusion of Teddy Bear is great for your level, but you could try that as well. People say it's good. Yeah, I think there's a daily quest under. I am not sure. Correct me on that one if I'm if I get it wrong, but 
uh people do try uh teddy bear but the uh 17.2 maps uh, tortoise warehouse is the one that most people have recommended and if you have this gear to actually kill you can stay at turtle dungeon to 170 something now you can see this little hut over here there's a serving Thor's clan the arc one clan there's the uh, golden maze clan and the crossbow clan you get a certain stat for each one of these this one gives you one strength one vitality this one gives you one intelligence one dexterity this one gives you one intelligence one luck and this one gives you one agility one dexterity now the catch of these is that you also get 30 max hp and 10 max sp with these so you gotta talk to one of them and you're gonna join i'm gonna choose the strength and vitality because i will be using card revolution and I think that is a, a very good deal for, for what I want to do. Now we're going to be looking at some stuff real quick, real quick. We're going to be going all the way down to is dude. But before we do that, we need to tidy up with the shopping board. There's a couple of items people buy in the early game. There's a buy shop. Yeah, it's case sensitive, sticky web foot. You search and someone's paying 600 zenny for this. Someone's paying 500 zenny for this. Okay. You can also look at red herb. No one's buying red herb people say you can refresh you can refresh the shopping board by clicking on it but if i look up an item and then i ref and, and i refresh it and i look for say another item that is not there it would tell me unable to search unless i did this wrong but you know Yeah, unable to search. When I get unable to search, I it always goes because now if I go to sticky web foot, that's uh it does selected item does not exist. Oh wait, sorry. I would stick it. Unable to search, so I just refresh it. And I, when I get two results that I can't find anything for, I just refresh it. Strawberries, strawberries from spores are not bad. One zenny, okay, that's just a announcement. Uh let's see what else is there. Hornets, there's the Beast Stinger. 650 Zenny, not bad. Let's see what else is there. Yeah, it's not paying anything else. And what else is there you can buy in the early game? And there's a, lot, a whole lot of things that people buy here that you can pick up in the area. So, Beast Stinger will probably be the thing you need for the basic Zenny. So, that'll be fine. Now, let's get on over down to uh, Is Loot because you're going to be doing this. You get some freebies. So now we're gonna walk all the way down with me. Just follow me along. Just, just walk along with me. Don't worry about anything else. You'll be fine. Just hold down the left click and walk all the way down. This loot is located one map south, one map to the east of Prontera. You can also fight the bunnies. Do not attack the butterfly, please. You can't equip the metal maze. Oh yeah, actually you can equip the metal maze. Very nice. All right. Not that I did, and I just you know, I've just been used to uh, you know punching all of these things these days. So. And you don't have to kill the monsters here to level up. You can just pretty much uh, make your way on over. There'll be uh, there'll be something for you down there anyway. So all good if you manage to kill enough monsters you know as you're walking down over here that's perfectly fine That said, we're gonna just keep going along. Wait, did I see? I didn't think I said. Yeah, I said notifications. Perfect. Notifications have been sent out. I did that stream alert. Okay, cool. It's still pretty early, so you know it's understandable. There is another thing I was thinking about in terms of leveling. 
so it does take us a little while to pick up the items for our job uh job skill cart revolution so just want to make sure that we know that uh cart revolution will be uh, a skill that we're going to be using a lot and i was thinking about where can i level up to make some pocket change to continue using cart revolution because cart revolution is not expensive but the damage we deal does take quite a few cart revolutions to kill stuff so we want to make sure that we at least have the stuff for it oh and you know i know i didn't mention it but you should always have at least 15 dexterity You can at least go with that for now. Monsters in the early game are not going to deal more than 500 damage to you. You're going to be able to heal up with potions. So now we're going to walk all the way up. Now, here's the important part. You're going to walk in here. You're going to register for the academy. Now, go to the Eden Teleport Officer right here. And I click on this one right here, right? Just click anywhere and go up all the way to the counter and talk to Secretary Lime Evanor. Join the Eden group. Yes, I want to join and you got some freebies. So these freebies, pretty good stuff. Let me tell you. You get two old battle manuals, which we're going to be using effectively to level up. You guys will see when it comes down to it, right? We also have two sets of scrolls. We have level 10 increased agility scroll and level 10 blessed scroll. You get 15 of each. This will come in handy when you need them. Yellow butterfly wing. You can teleport to any city that you want well, within the Rune Midgard's kingdom, right? And in the Eden group mark, which functions like a butterfly wing, you double click it and it teleports you back to your starting spot. Now we're going to go to the pouring garden real quick. There's some stuff in there we want. We want to get a, a, pet, a pouring pet. Talk to the Adept Adventurer, and you're going to be going into the garden. Oh, look, there's somebody here. So you talk to Adept Adventurer, you talk to the Pouring. Talk to him again. You're going to clean the process of teaming a pet. Double click, double click, and click. Failure. Failure. All right, you got it. You can also kill the novice pouring here. You're going to get some EXP here if you didn't get dropped level 10 outside. Ooh, red herbs. So that might be coming in handy. Anyways, so now that we uh, got the pet, we're going to go back and talk to him again. Do we get some EXP? Yeah, you got EXP right here. All right, we're done here. You can leave. Now we're going to be some the Eden group mark. Don't worry about that. It's just another day here at the Ant Eggs. All right, so we have two options. We can either make some little quick Zenny real quick. gonna see what people are buying it is the for sure thingy when you look at a shop like this you can see the buy shop for those items not a lot of people are going to be buying basic items it's okay it's understandable that's just the way the game is i'll explain that in another video so expect supplemental uh, content to explain this kind of stuff so you are also going to be doing the job change real quick by the way when you job level 10 you can change jobs so let's go ahead and do that real quick before we continue. So 
So make sure you use up all your points. This is skill level nine. You talk to manager. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, prerequisites. Hey, Sass, how you doing? The final class, Alchemist. Let's do this. For merchant. Real quick. Uh, this is a good, good spot. As any. Let me get my coffee real quick. So let me just go grab him. Be, be right back, okay? Uh, we will be talking about basic Zenny real quick and uh, where to level up. So give me one second. All right, your tape coming in with the tier one sub. Thank you very much for the support, your tape. Much appreciated. With that said, you know what I'm gonna say, right? You now get access to Salty Bear, Gaspy Bear, Marcus Bear, Up Bear, What Bear, Coin Bear, Kawaii Bear, and above all, Hey Hey Bear. So take these bears with you, use them to your liking, take good care of them, they'll take good care of you, and use them as you like. Spread yourself to the silly bears, and thank you very much for your support. I really appreciate it. Now, with that said, That's it. Let's continue. So leveling in IRO is very interesting because we still have the old eating group where you can do quests and pick up some quests and, you know, you're going to just uh, level up at one map because that's what the bounty board uh, has available for you and the eating group has. Sometimes eating group leveling quests and bounty boards align. So it's easy for you to just pick up both quests, stack quests and do them. Sometimes I like to pick up quests where you can fight the same monster over and over. And because if you can kill the monster with ease, there's nothing, there's no reason for you to go anywhere else. So you're going to be dropping all of the stuff you have here for that lucky uh, thief bug to eat. Lucky you, thief bug. Lucky you. You're going to heal up a little bit. You're going to use your awakening, uh, sorry, your concentration potion. You're going to be setting up your novice fly wings you're gonna set up your novice potions these novice potions are the ones from the academy so they're a lot weaker than the other one and thus effectively you kill some um hornets you're gonna collect some bee stingers i'm gonna show how the bee stingers work how you sell them i'm gonna collect quite a few and we're gonna teleport on over to payon payon will be our leveling map of choice for today because there's more quests that we can pick up for EXP there. And there's also strawberries and red herbs. People in Payon tend to pay for red herbs, not always in Prontera. So that'll be a very good use for us. 
we got what we got five piece stingers that's what how many how much day would that be 650 times five at least two thousand oh wow okay that was rude all right that six should be enough maybe seven Here we go. No, 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 no. You do not delete your booster character. You just make another account. Because if you delete the character, uh, you, you can't make it. The way it works is that the the booster website registers the account. So if you have three, you have three Ragnarok game accounts for each word portal account. You say you have number one, number two, number three. I'm just using that as an example. Uh, number one, number two, number three. You make an account with number one. The game's the website says, "Oh, you already made an account with some with number one, so that's already counted for for this event. You cannot make another one on that character. If you sign up for all three with a booster character, it registers says, "Oh, okay, you already did the event on these characters for this event, so you can't make them again." Yeah, so just make another account. It doesn't hurt. We're gonna go full cart revel as alchemist as well. I think we have to go full cart revel. I had the idea of stacking bounty boards, doing a, kind of an agile build. eat this real quick because you know so we're just working here and we're not going to stop working so uh yeah i thought about the full cart revolution stuff the problem is if all i do is spam cart revolution i'm gonna run out of sp and sp costs syrups syrups cost zenny so I can't switch from the regular leveling maps because those leveling maps work. So if you look up the item, you drag and click here for that's the final fifty cent. Now, if the shop you sell to has a timer, that is an offline buy shop. What that means is when you sell it, you're not gonna get this any right away, but you're gonna get this any in the mail. You eventually get it right there you go now you got four thousand five hundred fifty cents cool I've been playing R for too long. So you wonder how I would approach this as a booster. So 
I think if I recall correctly, I don't even remember my own series honestly sometimes. It's just like I just do it. I just grind through it and get it done. But I think I I think I did Magma Dungeon and I spammed Cart Revolution and I think I had Fire Armor or something, but I spammed a lot of Cart Revolution in there. And I spent a lot of potions. Boom. Yeah. You made Zenny. You have two options. You can use your yellow butterfly wing if you're a booster. Actually, no. Even without booster, if you register for the cam, you get this. You can just go there. You can use the cafe teleport. We're going to be going on over to Payon. Oh, somebody's buying paying five fingers need for red herbs. That's kind of cool. Okay, five fingers need is not bad. Someone's buying empty bottles for hundreds in each. That's cool. Somebody's buying prickly fruits. A lot of wool for 20k. That's kind of low. Uh, hair. Oh, that's pretty good. We're going to be leveling there. Red herb 300 zenny. Okay, so we can at least pay. We can get paid. 500 zenny for red herbs for the time being. And of course, again, you're going to get it in the mail if it's an offline buy shop. So now this is a little tr neat trick I like to do. I don't like to get. Um, I don't like to use the regular fly wings you get from the uh, booster pack. I kind of like to buy these beginner fly wings. And it was, uh, you know, you can probably buy quite a few with this. And that'll, it'll help out. It'll work better than the other ones. Trust me. Jeez, it's going to take long to get. Yeah, it's going to take long to get to Homunculus S. But I'm not going to be too worried about Homunculus S right now. Right now, we're not even going to worry about homunculus. We already talked about it on Discord yesterday. It's not, it's just not viable. Mechanically speaking, without even playing it, just by reading the wick and understanding how it works, I can tell you right now, it's not a feasible thing. Not feasible. No matter how much, you know, people will ask, I'll tell you like, look, it's not going to work out. And quite frankly, 30 minutes to 10 hours. I'm probably going to just play 10 hours and call it because I have a lot of stuff to do. But uh, yeah, so just a heads up. Ooh, we're very close to the two shot here. Oh, crap. I forgot to pick up the, um, the bounty board. Let's go back. I forgot. Sorry, I forgot to explain one last thing. Yeah, your XP tables are awful. It's a bounty board. It's bounty boards. You get 150 monsters and you turn it in. Just auto attack. How long does it take to what? Level up Monculus? Very long time. Uh, I think um, Vivid Daughter was saying how the EXP tail was multiplied by 10. You have to multiply by 10 or something. But I know people have been struggling to get the Homunculus to level 99. So I think that EXP tail is higher than what I thought it was because I remember when I was leveling it up, it took me about an hour to get it to 99 at Magma Dungeon. 
at around level 115, so... It does take quite a good while. Blessing edges first if you want, but you might be fine as it is. the real issue for me with the homunculus thing is that people think that leveling homunculus is not going to take long or they think that level the homunculus was going to help level up the amount of time you spend getting the homunculus to level up itself to help you fight the level 91 to 99 monsters hmm it's not it's gonna take it's easier for you to just cart revo to 99 than to wait for the homunculus to get there it's just not feasible I understand people want the homunculus. People think the homunculus is going to help, but it's just not. I'll do it at another point in time when I'm not so busy. I'll just make a uh, alchemist and I'll show the homunculus. We'll level up a homunculus for like maybe two hours or something just to show what it's like. And, you know, because people keep bringing it up. And I know there's complaints about the seed of life that you have to use for the homunculus summoning. I'm not entirely against it. To be honest with you, I know probably hot take, but you know, mechanically speaking, just mechanically speaking, I mean, Mahmoudless Mon could probably level you up in a way. Post 100, you can just leave it on forever too. Who's to say there's no macro to feed it every 10 minutes? You can just leave a Mahmoudless in one spot forever. You know, could you imagine how troublesome that would be? Uh, let's see. So, so you know, so soon we have a gene with homunculus. After how will this does uh, affect? So I think, unless tower changes at a later point in time, it becomes the uh, constellation tower or something like that. But let's just say that you didn't have the server homunculus. How does it affect it? Well, you're still gonna have to use the uh, homunculus to tank the MVP. problem is you know how long will the MVP, how long will the uh homunculus survivors is the mvp and yeah probably because well painkiller doesn't go away people, some people have been leveling without the sarah homunculus that so they've been doing well but they also have a lot of very strong equipment I think investing time into the Sarah Homunculus is actually very, very useful. Because even, even without, you know, that thing I was talking about was Needle Paralysis. Needle Paralysis is the thing that I use to kill the MVPs. That's what stops them from moving and I to just kill to my liking. So... Mm. Truth be told, If you get homunculus around level 100 after you have cart cannon ready to go that is probably the best time as any to start your homunculus because it's going to take 10 percent of whatever you kill we level up at say illusion dungeon there's no exp penalty it gets 10 percent of whatever you're getting and that's good Oh, and we're not gonna it's not that we're not gonna be a geneticist with uh no homunculus we're not gonna run the entire thing all the way to level you know 150 right now we're just doing alchemist for the time being oh we're level 68 let's go back to town
So now that you're level 11, there's also these things in IRO called the Eden Group leveling quest because we have the old Eden Group and well, we're going to just take advantage of the fact we have that. If you don't have this available when you see this video or whatever happens, you know, just know that you can continue leveling at the same spot with the bounty boards. It's the same thing. We're just getting a little additional EXP for our efforts and that's what matters the most here. Level to 25 mission board for control. Yes, for hunting, whatever. Okay, cool. And we just keep going. Every 30, we turn this in and we get more EXP. Let's try to aim for 20 dexterity, 20 strength. And then we'll see from there. Oh yeah, remember, replace your fly wings, novice fly wings with beginner's fly wings. We're now doing two shot, that's good. Yeah, cannonball is such a small consumable, but you also make a lot more zinny with it. I'm almost sure you cannot correlate how much damage you deal to how much then you're going to be making back, but... For what it's worth, you know... It can cost a lot. I mean, maybe you cannot... Maybe, I mean, who knows? Maybe you don't even use uh, 30,000 cannonballs. And it's just, you know, 30 hours, 32 hours. I wrote 32, right? I wrote 32 hours because I think the, I think the scholar series Sage 299 was approximately that much, uh, 32 hours total. It shouldn't take longer than that. I, I hope not. The bright side to this character though is we have already charged and discounts, so... That is a bit of an advantage that will allow us to spam more uh, card revolutions for more syrups, you know? Get discounted syrups, overcharge the loot. Yeah, merchant tends to be a bit difficult. I mean, of course, you know, blacksmith is so much better because it has buffs, more damage, more attack speed. But over here, we got the maze, not for attack speed purposes, but size modifier purposes. At least blacksmith has uh, weapon perfection, so they get full damage on all the monsters they fight with the axe. And 50 and 25% damage is a good return on your, your attack because losing 25% attack, I think IRO uses 25% of the whole attack. Equipment attack, I think it was, not just weapon attack. Apparently, it's a um, size penalty is more serious over here. In KRO, they did a fix or they made an adjustment or something like that i don't know what it was but all i know is that we um we have it a bit tough with the size modifier wow okay but that's uh that's something all right so we're gonna kill the spore i'm gonna be going back again you know i've been telling you guys size does matter And let me show you guys the uh, the proof. I'm gonna buy some butterfly wings because I I don't want to use up all my free butterfly wings. Oh, sorry. I don't want to use up all my free butterfly wings, but you know, 
All right, so we're going to be going back over here. We're going to be going back to the eating group. We're going to be turning the quest in. And guess what? You can pick it up right away. Talk to Spickle. Do, 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 do. Maybe. I don't know. Spikel? I don't even know how you pronounce his name. Anyways, just talk to the girl. What are cards used for? So cards are used for uh, compounding them into equipment and certain cards have different effects. And depending on the effect of the card, uh, it goes into certain pieces of armor, but not depending on that, but you know, depending on which armor uh, it correlates you put into that. There's a card for headgear, which is includes top, middle, lower. There's body, uh, there's armor, which is the body armor. There's shields, there's weapons, there's garments, there's shoes, and there's accessories. And there's even left and right accessories as well. Not all cards are as great. We don't get the Wormtail one. Actually, good question. I don't even see the Wormtails often. That's a very good point. We should probably pick this up as well. The only reason why I don't pick it up is because I'm so focused on, oh, I'm doing spores. I got spores here, so I'm doing spores. But you can also pick up the Wormtail one as well. Did you find them? That is. Yeah, I saw two. I think I saw two. But yeah. My Pomu, is this your first time playing Ragnarok Online? If you don't mind me asking. Okay. Wow. Uh, I'll get into that. When you start worrying about cards, you don't worry about them early on. You worry about them until much, much later. Because early on, I mean, there's really no... Okay, so there's this... I have a theory. All right? My theory is that there is no matter how much... Okay, no, no, not how much. Uh, there is a certain amount of additional equipment you can acquire to actually deal more damage. But characters at their base do not require much more to get the job done and level up their characters. Now, that brings up the question of... How much more zany and how much more time do you have to invest on improving the character through cards and equipment versus actually just playing the character as is because then you're going to be spending a lot of time farming cards you're going to be leveling up and it's probably never going to do all that much and this is a very very effective card which quite frankly there's really not that many early on that you could probably afford anyways because you know 1 to 99 is very uh tedious in terms of you know how much more zany we can make it's a lot more grind than reward, to be honest. So you can probably start worrying about those after you get to level 100 and you get the booster equipment. At least with the booster equipment, you'll be wearing that for, you know, level 100 to 150 once you get better equipment. And the booster gear does carry you pretty far in into just 150. So usually by then you can handle a lot of instances with that booster gear and you can start making Zenny by doing instances and other, hunting other stuff. So I, don't, I wouldn't worry too much. Uh, you're following the priest guy that I made, right? By any chance? Been reading the wiki. Oh, well. I actually leveled up a uh, booster priest from 1 to 99. I did it with no additional equipment, with no new equipment, just the character as it is. And I made it with new players and returning players in mind. Oh my God, look, the swarm tail. So I made it with new uh, players and returning players in mind because the booster event, I think the booster event is just really, really that good. I know that it showed that characters taking forever to level up, but booster, characters do level up a little bit faster and it's really really convenient and even if you didn't make a booster character you're kind of still following the uh the process in terms of leveling so you know i not just because i made it but i strongly recommend it because i did it myself and i showed everyone on stream and answered questions pertaining to the class and that stuff and Oh yeah, yeah, Zaz actually made the uh, the booster priest. Yeah, 
it's very long though i'm gonna tell you right now it's very long so it's worth skipping to wherever part you're in i think first day i do 199 second day i do reaper to uh 9970 high priest so you can at least get an idea from there it's not up on youtube yet i'll be working on that after i'm done with the alchemy series because i do want to just cut off all the breaks and stuff to make it a little bit shorter you know because man it's uh it's pretty long so yeah and yeah so let me ask you one question real quick how how did you get into ragnarok online is your first time playing it's a very very old game and also how you find the channel too just uh curiosity it gives me an idea of where people are coming from and you know how to better help them and know where their questions are coming from oh this spot is pretty nice all right let's go back turn it in and keep it running yeah tiktok yeah i don't have tiktok bro I was like, what is that thing right there? And I turned the camera like, oh, it's um, it's a dragon knight. Look very unusual. All right, so you talk to her again. Full level, easy. Spore. Let's pick up Wormtail, see how many Wormtails we can actually find. Look like a cabbage, right? You listen to a piano cover for Nafelheim. Oh, that's very interesting. And the channel, but the, you know the bear, bear stream. months ago what was i doing a few months ago actually can you remind me because a lot of stuff changed for me in the past three months wow it's been three months and i've been doing a lot of uh, a lot more ro streams these days so you know i try to be as level-headed as possible when it comes to everything pertaining to streaming and ro so i do i do understand there's a lot of interaction involved in streaming and whatnot but i just want to make sure that you know I can at least ask questions because, you know, I'm just curious of how these people find the channel and, you know, what brings them over and whatnot. I don't post anything outside of, uh, you know, you know, uh, outside of here yet. So I'm pretty sure more people will show up because there's a lot more people out there asking questions about RO. And, well, yeah. I don't think I watched a recent stream of yours. you in this Discord server and some of your server ah okay well that must have been a good while back so potato so i am stretching the fabrics of time and i'm creating a gap between the 18 hours and 24 hours which includes a whole nother set of two three four days in there where i play for a little bit of time unfortunately at the end of 32 hours it'll be thursday but there'll be 32 hours within that 24 hour range. Hyperbolic time chamber, chamber. There we go. No, no, but yeah, 32 hours. I'm, I'm writing up the total time it's going to take. So. Because Scholar took about 32 hours of stream time. So I thought maybe 32 hours was a good number to go off of. And my Pomo. Okay, I see. I see. But that's nice. Well, glad to see you here and, uh, you know. Any question you have, more than happy to ask, you know. I mean, more than happy to answer. More than happy to answer. But yeah, you did get a question when you asked a question, so.
Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so yes and no. So I leveled up the expanded classes yesterday. I leveled up a ninja. Earlier this week, I leveled up a magical ninja. No, magical ninja was yesterday. Physical was last week. Taekwondo Master was earlier this week. And Gunslinger was a good while back. So the problem right now is that yes you can level up effectively you do a lot of damage with their with the abilities when you turn into their third class counterparts you don't have to rebirth but at level 150 170 or so no i think on 150 the exp table is the old one for these classes and you're still gonna be stuck leveling these characters because the exp chart dictates that for level 180 plus they require something along the lines of a billion worth of exp and a billion uh amount worth of exp a billion exp's worth amount is a very 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 big amount let me put things into perspective just for you so do me a favor work with me here okay click on this link it's the base exp chart on uh for these classes scroll down you're gonna see experience chart normal transcendence and summoner right you go down we're gonna see from 99 to 250 and you can see third class on the left side in pink and expanded third class in yellow or gold or dark yellow right look to them side by side you're gonna see that they start off the same and then at let's see where does it start to change all right here we go it starts to be a little bit different at level 174 I guess you can still level up decently along the lines up to 175. At 175, you're going to start needing more experience than the left side. On the right side, remember, look at the one that says 352 million. 320 million at 175. At 180, you need 740 million EXP. Whereas at 180, well, 181 to 182, you need um, 382 million. That's almost half the amount of EXP, right? You go down to 190. Actually, no, 184. 184 is 1 billion EXP, and 184 for normal third class is 117 million EXP. You go down to 195, you need 4.2 billion EXP, and third classes, oh yeah, they just require 578 million EXP. And then last but not least, 199 to 200, you need 6.9 billion EXP. That's billions, right? That's seven. That one, two, three. Am I? Am I? Am I doing this right? Yeah, right. Nine hundred million. Yeah, six point nine billion. So, yeah. So at one seventy five, you're gonna need a lot more EXP, and you're gonna get a little stuck there, unless you are a brave warrior who is really, really adamant about leveling, super strong. You know, you are a go getter. You're gonna do all of this. You know, you're gonna get it done. Yeah, you know. But just reminder. Oh, it does get updated later. It's just that. Uh, expanded third class don't get their update uh, chart until later they don't get it along with the um third classes yeah it's okay don't worry about that I i'm just i'm just you know exaggerating because my goodness i don't want to do that i would not want to do that myself in fact i didn't even level up my third class character the same way um like that i waited until the fourth class update to get the uh, easter exp so all right, got uh, this done. Let's go back to town. We'll drop off the red herbs. No problem. So I think it, it wouldn't hurt to play it early on because you do a lot of damage when you first change. You don't have to rebirth. But long term, you're going to have to wait off on that because once until the update comes in, you're going to get, uh, you know, you have to deal with this EXP table. Talk to her, blah blah blah. You get EXP, very nice. This goes all the way to level 25. So, for hunting, there we go. But yeah, so I need I need a whiteboard. I need a pen. I need to explain all of this stuff. I need to explain where these classes fall off and where they excel and whatnot. It's gonna be. It's gonna be crazy because I'm like, wow, it's like you can write a thesis about the leveling process here, Baron. Like, yeah, you probably could. 
Um, yeah, there's always going to be something about cash that's going to be expensive, so... You know, I really wish I could level up at Spores for 10 hours and just call it, you know, a stream. And be level 99, you know, that would be great, but, you know... It's not Fantasy World, so... Anyways, um... I would recommend expanding class once they re rework the table, but right now, eh, I mean, it's still not bad either right now at this point. I don't think it's that bad. I would probably recommend uh, mechanics. You can, you know, uh, kill and greet loot and make some zenny early on. Hey, Christian, how are you doing? Oh, no, you, you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. It's way too complicated because then you have to get into the me leveling mechanics. You have to get into the leveling options you have available within the game. Uh, each class's ability to perform the damage required, looking at the percent attack damage modifier, looking at the equipment available for free, at least the free equipment, not including cash up equipment. Looking at the game at its base, you're going to see that there's a lot of things that are not very uh, <laughs> easy. Trust me, I've, I've been playing this for too long. I've been... Oh, look, there's all the Wormtails. I've been talking about EXP for so long these past couple of months because I've been leveling up all of these characters to 99 and I came to the realization of, you know, how the game just really works at a, you know, more, in a more detailed manner, just seeing everything like, okay, so these class can do damage like this. They're good at doing this. They start doing that. And then you level up and you realize, oh my God, there's only like four leveling spots for level 91 to 99, really. And then I kept doing more leveling, talked to more people and they say, hey, you can do quests, especially Vividor told me. And it turns out IRA has custom quests to get EXP. And I actually use that. I actually recommend that now for people getting from 95 to 99. If you want to look at the EXP chart, you can also go back and look at the 1 to 99 and you can compare non rebirth to rebirth and you can get an idea of how much EXP you need. Oh, so linker so difficult. Oh my god. As for the uh, greed thing, uh, people say heroic backpack is not a thing directly in the cash shop. You have to, you know, on the fire sale they have the box and all that stuff, so you probably buy it from there. There's also the greed uh, stone that you can get in game from doing the noodle festival. You can probably get it if you're lucky. And then people also, uh, you know, people buy that, and you can either buy a heroic backpack or you can get a greed chance stone. You can also get um well sorry greed costume and then there's also the what is that thing called oh, what is that thing called oh there's also shadow weapon that you can get i think it's called a greed shadow weapon let me look it up rgb wiki greed shadow weapon i think there's two i there's two parts to it yeah here we go You like the music and the graphics. Oh, that's fine. Now let leave the numbers and and the uh all the other stuff to me. You enjoy the game. Leave it to me as in like ask me questions, I'll help you with that. I'll walk you through it. You know, don't worry about that. It's all good. Yeah, they are difficult. They're difficult for different reasons, but it's not like they deal bad damage. They deal decent damage. Oh yeah, you can. Uh, no, you can join the Discord. You can uh, DM me. It's it's fine. Because we also have a lot of discussions on the uh, Summer Discord. You might be able to pick up some information on that, and you might be fine. No. Oh, but uh, by the way, um, Zaz, there's also the uh, fact that if you use the boost, if you're using the booster shadow gear, you cannot use that particular shadow, uh, greed shadow item. Another thing you can do, Zaz, you can also look IR wiki greed and you can look up the skill. And when you look at the bottom of the skill, it's going to give you the information right there. The stout from event scroll, greed scroll, headgear, garment, shadow garments, you know. You can also, if you get a greed stone lower and you enchant a costume, you don't have to use up anything but a costume. And Shadow Gear doesn't use a lower costume either, so. Good. 
Can you critical with 100 spear? What do you mean 100 spear? Like 100 critical rates? Yeah, greed stun and that. But you can get the uh, greed stun from the noodle festival, though. That's what I was saying. You should probably do the noodle festival and try to get lucky. Try to get lucky. If you, if you get the custom seawater hat, you can exchange that in the hut to the side with the with the one cat. Uh, look up the Malango costume uh, and chance. I think it's going to give you the information there as well. Which skill are you using? Cannon Spear? Okay, so you have 100 critical. Oh, 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 wait, wait. Uh, a critical? Wait, are you talking about... Are you talking about the... Oh, uh, okay, 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 okay. I think you meant 100 critical rate. No, no, no. Uh, 100 Spears. 100 Spears. No, um... It doesn't mention anything about crits. Uh, for example, if you want to look up a skill has crit rate, you can look up, for example, look at ignition break, and it'll tell you the formula. Uh, sorry, not the formula. It'll say you can inflict critical rates. For example, for example, ignition breaks, you can do critical rate. Uh, cross impact also says have critical rates, right? And you look at cannon spear. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm getting. I'm trying to explain that the, usually the skills mentioned in the wiki. If you look up the skill on the wiki as well, it'll give you the full information. And sometimes it will just tell you that it doesn't. In the form of not writing it in. If it's not on there, it probably does not crit. But it will tell you like, oh, you can crit. But, you know, it takes half your crit rate for that. So. Yeah. You can sell it. Yeah, and that's what I say. We get a greed costume so you can sell it. Greed costume and chance stone. You can sell it. And then you can probably buy yourself a heroic backpack. Just swap it in. Or when you want to use greed. Or you can sell multiple enchant stones if you get them. And just buy a costume with the enchant, right? Yeah, I already explained that as well. I explained the EXP chart not being uh, updated. Yeah, that's it's already been covered, Zeris. It's really it's really good. Really good to bring it up. I wish I could find more warm tails. Ah, six out of twenty warm tails. I don't wanna go to Alberta. Uh but it's extra EXP. Anyways. For example, which? Yeah, but but what? Which skill is not updated? How would you know the skill is not updated? You know. You can probably verify this by looking at uh you can probably look at divine pride or you can probably look at the i think divine pride might have the updated version all right we're now level 26 let's go ahead and turn in this bounty board we're not gonna get a full level so let's just turn this one in first this one though, however, look, if you look at the EXP chart, something for you guys to just know. If server rates are higher than usual, look at how much EXP you need for the next level. For level 26 to 27, you need 13,872 EXP. Spore. Uh, let's see how much experience Spore gives you. Spore gives you 117 base EXP. So 117 times two, because we're on double rates, is 234. 234 times 150 is 35,000. So we should be getting to level 27 with 90 plus percent from this one because it's overflowing exp 
Oh, sorry. This is one over here. 27 with 90 plus percent as predicted. Because we got 34,800 EXP. How much did we get here? 3,500. Okay, so... No, we got 34,800, right? 34,800. So... It's about 116 EXP. Yeah, we'll use 116 times 150 times 2 times 150. That's 34,800. Cool. All right. So there's another bounty board you can pick up. Uh, there's a soldier skeleton. Sometimes you may stay with the soldier skeleton. Sometimes you may not. You may not. Uh, there's also another eating group leveling quest that I looked at in the past. But um, there's a delivery mission of delivering honey. You get a 1000 base EXP every time you turn it in. But it's going back and forth between the uh, NPCs. It's just yeah, it's probably not worth it. There's also the collection mission. You can also do the Bigfoot mission. And you can get the best foot skins and the animal skin and turn them in for extra exp every 10 counts if you want but we have to go to uh pay on dungeon however because pay on dungeon has what we need so cart revolution is something we're going to be looking at long term because we need that skill we need it 20 iron 30 sticky mucus 20 flowers five tentacles two grapes one banana juice so we need the grapes to make the grape juice for starters so Yay, edgy up. I don't know how much zinni we have, but we're gonna just keep going. So if you have less than 25,000 zinni, you can get free warps from the dungeon teleporter. It is, but I mean, you don't want to spend too much time there because you get better EXP from uh, doing other stuff. You get better Zenny from doing other stuff as well. Early on, if you level up there, probably. But there's not a whole lot that you can really need uh, Zenny for besides potions. All right. So now we're going to be going to the eating. Uh, we're going to be going to the um, Payon Dungeon. So the way to get to Payon Dungeon. You can go from Payon, you can go top right into that uh, portal, or you can go ahead and, you know, make your way on um, through the dungeon teleporter. Oh no, it's only reserved for pirates. What will I do? Oh goodness gracious, no. Okay, slash organize, uh, sunburn bio, and just uh, like that, make a party, party for one. If you have 25k Zenny, they'll take 25k Zenny. So make sure you have less than 25k any so you don't get charged. Pay on dungeon and off we go to pay on dungeon. I know you're not far into level is, but Sam, I have to leave soon. Can I ask what's the best way to make any around level 50 and on? The best way, honestly, just keep leveling. Uh, there are some people that do buy items. For example, there's somebody that buys. Oh wow, somebody's buying skeleton. Uh, there's people that buy hair from monsters and moonox and bond guns drop. Um, dengues and short dengues and people buy those in the market they buy them to make uh to do the hair quest oh grapes here there's this uh, hairstyling stuff that you can do let me go get the arrow wiki hair stylist and people do this quest you get different haircuts and so people pay for hairs red herbs is pretty pretty low but orcish voucher may be a thing you can farm if you're leveling at orc or orc dun outside orc dungeon it just depends where you're leveling as well because sometimes you may you know shift your leveling into another direction and it may be okay to do so blue herbs drop at a very low rate honestly if you level up at orc dun outside orc dungeon people will pay maybe 300 zenny for uh orcish vouchers 1000 zenny for xenarch fangs Uh, maybe about 800 zenny for short thingies and thingies from Munax in Payon Dungeon. Uh, people pay about 100 zenny for empty bottles. I uh, somebody was paying 100 zenny for bottles. 
300 zenny for skeleton bones I guess 500 to 1000 zenny for red herbs yeah but at level 50 you're farming things for 100 zenny each it's not feasible you're better off just leveling somewhere else that actually drops uh decent loots as well that will get you net you levels as well I, I think one of the reasons why i did the booster series as well is to you know remove the distraction of hey i want to farm zenny because we just want to get straight into the leveling and at least we can show where you can level up and get zenny along the way and honestly it's we don't really need a whole ton of zenny Maybe I should probably get cart first and then go with discount probably. Yeah. All right, cool. Groves, uh, they don't really drop Zenny there. They drop healing items, but not Zenny. Probably. But I mean, long term, you're going to heal better from uh, white syrups rather than. Uh... <laughs> you're going to you're going to benefit more from white syrups than those healing items. I uh, yeah, it may be a bit more expensive, but you're going to be making things along the way. It's kind of hard. It's just very. There's a particular detail to you know how much are you're making where are you leveling and how much are you spending and where's it beneficial to level because remember people don't pay a whole lot of stuff for stuff in the early game if you get into the level 90 plus you can actually farm glossy hairs and people pay about two thousand to five thousand zenny for glossy hairs glossy hairs are located in amasu dungeon you can take the dungeon teleporter for that and what is it called what is it called um yeah, Miyabi does drop it at a decent rate. And you can probably level up off of that. So. Right here, we are here not for the skeleton bones, but for the sticky mucus and for the. What is the other thing called? We're here for the sticky mucus and the grapes. Uh, Poporines drop uh, sticky mucus and they also drop grapes. So we're here for those two things. The iron we can actually buy ourselves from the para market. And my poem will hope that answer your question. Uh, you're playing priest, right? Because you might also want a class that can, you know, do physical fighting. You can also just use a stunner and, you know, whack monsters with a priest, but classes that can probably mob are going to be a bit more effective in my opinion if i may if you just want to get some zenny and level up you can do that you have a booster priest okay you consider doing a, a melee character on the side yeah priest is self-sufficient you don't need a whole lot of zenny Okay, Bartman's first, first guy. Sounds good. That was months ago, so I'm guessing it's not a booster character. I have a 99 high priest just stuck on um, job level 65. Do the Eden Group leveling quest. 91 to 99. These will get you good job EXP. Yeah, those give you more job EXP than most other um, quests in the game. Interestingly enough.
yeah so just do them at a you can do one board at a time do like one quest at a time or well sorry one region at a time turn it in and go to the next one you can probably cycle through them you have a favorite class yes i think my favorite class is I think monks are my favorite class. Super novices are my favorite as well. Blacksmiths also my favorites. I really like those three classes. I think they're just very. Um, I like the combo monk. You just go punching stuff. The it's not like a super time. You just mash the buttons, I guess. But it's really cool when the combos go off. And they do a lot of damage. Uh, super novice. I remember it was one of the classes that I started playing uh, before the stream started picking up. This was many years ago too, so you no. Know, oh, and I was busy working at the time, so uh I did I'm still gonna go I'm still gonna go job 50 because there's really nothing else that I need. Who meant? Uh, actually you can't change before 50 on the on booster characters. You have to change at 50. I think I remember doing the Super Novice series and people were asking me, why are you playing Super Novice? Guillotine Cross is stronger. Why are you playing a stronger class? Why are you playing such a weak class? And I'm like, bro, come on. Like, so those little garlic pour rings are from an event we have right now. So that's why you probably don't ever see them. They're events bound. Yeah, correct. Yeah, they're an event monster, correct. I would like to saute them on a steak. You no know, base with the butter, the rosemary, the thyme. Ooh. Mm, I'm getting hungry. That's a um, that's a, a costume stone. So people have a 50% chance to enchant a costume with a uh, stone, and one of the effects is shrink. So their character shrinks and that's the uh that's the effect i know right So we have the two grapes that we need. We're going to be using that to make grape juice for the um, for the quest. Uh, with the job level 35, we can pick up uh, Cart Revolution. So the problem with leveling at orcs as a single target character is that there's a very high chance you're going to be getting hit with the bleed status. If you bleed, you're pretty much going to die unless you spam a lot of potions. And if you spam a lot of potions, you're going to be wasting all your potions. So that's why we come to our Pan Dungeon. It's easier on the soul. It's easier on everything else. So. Just need a few, sticky muc a few more sticky mucus and uh, we'll be good. Let's see. How many do we need of each? 30 sticky mucus, right? 30 sticky mucus. And then five tentacles. 
actually we can probably get the uh sticky mucus as we get the tentacles as well so we're gonna use the bottle of these potions that we got these are the ones from the uh Kritura academy they're not as effective as the ones from the booster so if you happen to not get this there's also another healing item you can get I granted orc dungeon gives me better judgment to cry. Oh goodness. Yeah, it's kind of tough in a way. Some people say, oh, it's not really that tough, but then you bleed and you die. And it's like, oh, when you understand the whole bleeding thing, now you're like, okay, this is kind of, mm. this makes more sense as to why it's difficult. All right, so we have 30 sticky mucus. We can buy the fly wings. We got the grapes. We need two grapes to make grape juice. We need the banana juice as well. So you can buy the bananas from the uh, food merchant in Prontera. You can get empty bottles from... Um, what is that place called again? Ant How? And yeah. Yeah, but... Actually, in the in the booster uh, video that I did, uh, I leveled up at Pan Dungeon because you have skills called um, Demon Bane and Divine Protection, and they reduce flat damage. Well, they reduce damage, and I say it reduces 30 damage from uh, set undead and demon monsters. And I showed it, and it is 30 damage reduction, 30 damage, and it's good because these monsters deal maybe like you know 40 damage, 50 damage or so, and you know you pretty much take very very little to no damage. And it's the place with the classic cells at leveling. Because it's easier for them to do that there. It's easier for them to level here, so. Priest Magnus Exorcismus, absolutely. Yeah, the video is like 10 hours long, so it's okay to ask. And I know that uh, my poem uh, mentioned having to go to school in a bit, so I'm, I'm okay with answering questions like this. So, yeah, uh, follow the video. There's also, I know, just I'll answer it. Follow the video. No, I mean, the Magnus Exorcism is really good. It takes a little while for you to build up to that point, but I explained how you can use the skill without having to rely on what you might call it on a fent card. Fent card uh, makes it so that your skills don't get interrupted. And I'm very happy about that because a lot of people said that you need fent card to, you know, level up the character to cast back this exorcismus. But I got some little neat uh, tricks in there that you you might enjoy. So. blinded anyways i think we're good to go to the other dungeons we're gonna go out of here we're gonna go get the other items that we need and we're gonna get to it Ooh, 28 red herbs 14 000 zenny not bad don't mind if i do you're more than welcome to ask uh for help with questions whatever you may need i'm more than happy to help just know that i know that aura is very complicated it's a lot of details to it But uh, we're more than happy to to help you here with uh, questions and maybe maybe tiny little things here and there, you know. You're a student, so you know we like to help as much as we can because the the more you know, the easier it is to figure things out and you know enjoy the game rather than be frustrated and you know trying to figure things out. It's like when you go to the gym, you don't know what you're doing, you don't have fun, but once you know what you're doing and you make progress, you're like, oh yeah, uh, this is actually really fun. 
so for the time being uh give me one a couple of minutes it's different it's a lot different from the games you used to play but i'm enjoying the game so far that's wonderful i'm glad you're enjoying it so that said uh give me a few minutes i'll be right back and let me take a little quick break and it's just hour and a half in but um yeah just gonna stretch and because i need to stretch as well and yeah all right so thank you for support i'll be right back and just uh stay put i'll put the brb window so i know uh when to cut this out in the video all right brb
All right, I have returned. So let's get the rest of the items that we need for our character. So there's a few places you can go to to pick up these items. The island dungeon is the easiest place for merchant to go to. So dungeon teleporter. Remember, you have less than 25,000 zeni. Remove booking. Go to the island island and go to the second floor. You got fly wings. Use some. Well, I'm glad you've been enjoying uh, Ragnarok Online, my Pomu. It is um, it is very grindy, but it's very fun. It's just got really good music. It's got really good map monster design, map design as well. So totally worth getting into. Anyways, leave these guys alone. Just look for Hydras. You're already here for the hydras anyway so at level 32 by the way you open up your booster pack twice you get a metal refine ticket you go from 48 plus 110 attack to 48 to, <laughs> to um, plus 180 attack so uh you got it good all right my okay good we can work, I can work with that. We have the red potions, so yeah. Here's the tentacle. We need five tentacles, and we can go on to um, back to leveling because we still need the levels anyway. So. Watch out for the cook ray. He's gonna come steal the item from you. And it did. Oh no. They're playing Alchemist. Someone's not going to uh, No, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Mechanically speaking, it is bad, but it's not that bad. It'll be fine, Kirkuk. So it'll be fine. I'll live. I'll live. All right. So we got the tentacles. We need the iron. Okay. So we got the sticky mucus. We can buy the flowings from the uh, NPC. We got five tentacles. We need to make the grape juice and the banana juice. So let's go back to uh, Payon. Let's go back to the eating group. Let's go teleport on over to and how real quick remove booking you're less than 25,000 zenny go to and how we're gonna pick up what three bottles yeah all right well Yeah, I, I, we can kill the ants, no problem. Gotta bring it on over because we don't want them to. Uh... Two empty bottles. I need one more empty bottle. We got three empty bottles. We're good to go. 
now we need the irons the irons are probably going to be the more difficult part but were we not there is a solution to this you have a problem bear has a solution really do really really do i do so you can either go level up at orc dungeon wow spoiler smudge kirkooks <laughs> that's correct the power market I did it in the last uh, episode. Yeah, yeah. If you can, actually, you can. You actually can. That's uh, that's correct, Kirk, because you actually can do it in the parent market. If you're just guessing, then good guess, because that is exactly how it works. Yeah. So you can buy irons from the parent market. Was that just a guess or? Two thousand zenny for each um, iron. Not bad. So you need twenty irons, right? So let's see. <gasps> oh no! I don't have enough zenny as it is. So this is the uh, this is the para market. It's the thing that was added in the uh, last uh, couple of months, I think. I should probably get my overcharge on at least whatever I can. I should probably wait until the get more levels, but whatever. I'm not really losing that much. I'm just not gonna sell the super high value items. I'll sell the random stuff that you know I can part with. So the prime market sells certain items. Uh, a lot of people keep buying all the stuff when the market opens, when they restock the market. So highly competitive, but there are some stuff you can pick up here that are very useful for you. So that is just the way they set it up right now. It hasn't been uh, dealt with, but it is very annoying. Don't worry, we're with you on that one. We also uh, suffer from that. So again, you can either go uh, level up at orcs and try to get the iron ores. Or and remember, this count does not work with these guys. So don't try to get away with that. They're not gonna let you get away with it. All right, cool. So for what it's worth, we kind of have what the most we can get. So let's just go back and keep leveling. Oh, and before I forget. There is uh, something you should know. If you are making a new character and it just happens to not be booster. Oh, wait, there's no cat here, right? There's no cat here. Never mind. All right. Let me just go to um, another city real quick just to showcase this. This loot's a good city for this one. Actually, I missed it. Usually outside of tool dealers, you're going to see this little cat. Cat paw shrimp merchant. You can buy these uh, items caught in a particular tariff in them. And they heal rather decently. For early level item, it, he it heals really nicely. So... It's worth it's worth doing. Oh, I forgot. We also have to do the um I sold the meat. I should have not sold the meat. Well. We'll get to that later. All right, let's go back to Payon and let's go to the second floor and let's go start taking on these soldier skeletons. Get more EXP.
That's nice. There's some nice people out there. Remember, at level 35, you get full EXP from these monsters here. If you kill them ahead of time, that's perfectly fine, no problem. Just keep in mind that you can get more EXP once you are uh, your level 35. 24.6. You get about 4% EXP from these guys, not bad. So once you drop level 35, drop level 35, you can start picking up the quest for Cart Revolution. And I'll show you how to fill up the carts. Spoilers, it's gonna be flowers. If you're gonna pick up some red herbs and skeleton bones people pay what do you mean zenny for skeleton bones and you know 500 zenny for red herbs i mean it's cheap low level zenny you're gonna be getting here it's not gonna be it's not gonna make you a super millionaire so just keep that in mind The carts, uh, you you can put stuff in them so you can carry more items with you, and you can also use them for a skill called Cart Revolution. You can also use them for another skill from the uh, blacksmith branch, the uh, master smith. Uh, you get to use the skill called Cart Termination, and then as a geneticist, you also get to use that for a skill called Cart Tornado, which you spin the cart around, and you also get to use it for a skill called Cart Cannon. Which is the signature move that you no know, geneticists use. It's mainly used to carry stuff around though, so. Yeah, Biolo is the fourth job for uh, for geneticist for uh, for alchemist. Yeah, these times are worth zenny. I mean, it, it adds up. For me, it'd be like, what, 3,000 zenny? That'd be pretty cool. You can also use the skill Mammonite, but, uh, you know, you're gonna be using zenny to deal damage. And unless you're super rich, then yeah, don't do that because you're gonna be going broke really fast. There's too many monsters for me to fight here. Too many monsters. Well, not too many, but annoying ones. Job level 32. I think I'll be streaming today for another eight hours. I'm going to be doing 10 hours today, I think. 11 at most. Uh, I try to keep the series as with less episodes as possible so i just do long ones just to get everything into uh you know i mean i can merge them later and all right but i want to make the most progress that i can so it takes less days and i can do other stuff with the other days of the week so
I'm not even going to answer that, Zerus. <laughs> I just want Cart Revolution already. Cart Revolution, my best friend. My only friend. And Mike, thank you very much for coming in with that tier one sub. Much appreciate your support goes a long way. And with that said, you probably heard me say earlier, but here you go. With that said, you get access to Salty Bear, uh, Marcus Bear, Gatsby Bear, Ovo Bear, What Bear, Corn Bear, Kawaii Bear, and Hey Hey Bear. So take these bears with you. Use them to your liking. Enjoy the bears. Keep them company. Don't keep your company. Use them as much as you want, however you like. They'll take good care of you. And thank you very much for your support. I really appreciate it. And I hope you are enjoying the stream and everything that we have here on this channel. So thank you very much. No, no, dude, no homunculus. We know we already discussed it. We know homunculus is not gonna work, dude. It's not gonna work. No matter how much we keep going on about it, we know. Well, I mean, the conversation didn't go much further from that, so. We had a uh, Rooswick tested it out, and he said, "Yeah, it's not. Uh, it's leveling really slowly." Yeah, Ruswick saw how um how slow it was and just didn't uh yeah. But EXP tail was not convenient at all. You're better off doing homunculus after level 100, honestly. It's just it's the more sensible option. Hey, 35. All right. So now we're going to be getting a lot of EXP from Archer Skeleton. Check this out. I'm going to fight this Archer Skeleton here. Watch. We're going to go from 2. Point out. We used to get 3% EXP from them. Now we're going to get 8% EXP. That is the power of the level leveling mechanic. So if you fight a monster that is 16 levels higher than you, 16 and above, you're only going to get 40% of the EXP it actually yields. But when you get to yeah seven yeah about to eight percent yeah i know seven point two percent to be exact as zeris pointed out so when you're in level range you get a more exp from that and when the monster i know right and when the monster's 10 levels higher than you you actually get 140 percent of the exp it actually yields so it's always best to be 10 level difference to get the most exp but we cannot just go off of these maps because we are leveling and it's right to our advantage to be here anyway. So we're going to benefit more from Archer Skeletons now. And we are probably going to need some more, uh, two more points into agility. And we're going to start working on vitality at this point. But we do need a little bit more hit because these Archer Skeletons flee quite a bit. So we are going to be auto attacking those, but we're not going to be cart reviewing those because they're just too spread apart. Not in their best interest and yeah. To kill, yes, but to cart revel, no. Drop level 33. So the way that cart revolution works is that you have to get it to a skill quest, Narog, and you can only get the quest once you're job level 35. Below job level 35, you have to auto attack or use Melmanite, I guess, if you're rich. Oh man. That was that was quite the sneeze, huh, Zeris? Anyways, jokes aside, now, um, it's a lot of zinny though, for Mammonite. You can use the level one Mammonite, no problem, but 
if it's just 150 percent of your attack it's like an out attack and a half so why waste it when you can just uh you know out attack Antel is i'm already way above the Antel level and look at this if i hit this monster i'm gonna get 7.2 percent exp look 90 percent you kill one of these boom seven points 10.2 percent exp that's a lot more exp than that we get at Antel for one single monster that i can kill oh no kirgus not you too So which homunculus would actually help me level up? I, I just need to make sure that I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm not losing my mind here. Which homunculus is going to be helpful? Maybe we can talk about the amateur skills for the higher defense and the vitality boost, but actually that, that's actually the only decent option. Bounty Myth is not going to do all that much. Monsters have about 30% magical damage reduction. Magical defense, you know, 30% magical defense reduction. Well, not, that's not the appropriate word. They reduce about 27% magical damage that they take in. So you're going to be dealing only about 70% of your actual magical damage. A Bounty Myth with about 90 to 110 magical attack is not going to do all that much versus an Evil Druid or a Dark Priest. Failure to auto attack. Okay. So, you know how hit is calculated on the uh, homunculus, right? Do you know how much EXP is required to level up a failure? And at this point, I'm not asking for a super high level. I'm just asking for sufficient levels to have enough hit to hit the targets that we're fighting. <sighs> One drop level away, so close. I'm only mentioning the hit because homunculus also uh, have their hits requirements for hitting monsters. They're not uh, exempt from that. I repeat it because sometimes I kind of just like to do. Um, I just like to use the A1, but if I'm in an emergency and I'm spamming potions and it's not it, I just use my pinky finger and hit the fly wing. It's kind of weird, but it's just it's just the way I do it. Like F1 is my relax button when I'm just like, you know, hitting the button to teleport out. But if I'm in a panic, I just use the, uh, I always use F1 for fly wings or, or Z depending on what I'm doing. But for auto attacking is right there. They are near each other. The reason why I put them next to each other is when I'm spamming a skill. So if I'm spamming cart revolution, I'll be setting it up like this with cart revolution here. So I'll be spamming the one button. I'll be using potions to heal up. And if it gets bad, I just use my uh, ring finger. If I'm just auto attacking, I'm not in a particular rush. You have to hit the fly wing because I'm not going to die just like that. But right here is like, okay, I'm taking a bit, quite a bit of damage. I'll just leave. Uh, it's just my, it's just my logic to how I press the button. That's really all it is. Everyone has a different philosophy on how they level up. Like, for example, some people like to go to Abyss last time and one shot things at level 100. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. No, but seriously though, 
everyone has hotkey preferences they set their hotkeys however they want I, I really don't see what's wrong with the uh buttons here like i i don't i don't i really don't see the issue or is it just weird to you i guess probably But yeah, no, um, in all seriousness, it's just preference. I do switch the buttons up every now and then. So depending on what I'm doing, if I'm spending skills, I just use three, these three keys. If I'm out of attack and I just, you know, casually have the buttons up here. Potted, but I hit the flying button for whatever reason. So it's right next to me. Panic button. E for butterfly wing. You have the E on you. You butterfly. You hotkey the butterfly wing on your main keys. I do not put those things near anything. I use the QWERT Y line for buffs. Drop level 35. Let's head on back to Frontier real quick. So you're going to go ahead. Oh, by the way, this is the hair shop I was talking about. Oh, someone is paying 5,000 cents for glossy hair. If you go and you farm, for example, you farm Sohis, you get the black hair from them, you sell them. Dengi, sure, Dengi, you get from the Moonax and Bun Guns, you farm those, you sell them. Glossy hair from Miyabi dolls in, in uh, Amatsu Dungeon, 5,000 zenny each. That's really good zenny. There's no way you cannot go do that. You got to go do it. All right, so you're gonna go talk to the fruit merchant here. You're gonna buy one banana. And don't forget to add points to your skill. You know, it'll, it's good for you. You will get another any discount on that uh, banana. Just add more vitality for now. We're gonna go up to 20 vitality and you're gonna see how it's gonna work out for us. Um, milk from milk merchant and meat merc at that mercenary merchant. All right, cool. Let's buy one meat. Here's what you're gonna do. to this hotel or not hotel you're gonna go to this inn i would like to hear from my booster character 
well you might want to do the uh Hera quest or you might want to do the um i don't think you signed up for the criteria academy did you Yeah, you could have gone a hair ticket to uh, get an easy uh, haircut. Oh, you, you, you can also pay 100,000 Zenny for a regular haircut. Don't worry about that. Not all is lost. You're okay. You know, hair is really important. It is the one customization that people love the most and they want to make sure they get this right. Oh no, 100,000. Yeah, 100 k in this economy is really easy. My, my. People are paying a dozen zenny for each uh, Moonak hair and Bongun hair. You kill 50 of those each, boom, you got the 100k for that haircut. Well, I mean, they can't kill. Uh, they just turned priest right now. They can't uh, get the glossy hair just yet. 70, for the meat quest or for the juice quest you talk to this NPC here right Marianne uh Morrison come on eat your fruit eat it uh, I can't let it because you just like your father blah 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 why wow, no eat no fruit I don't want any fruit you show him the meat oh you've got meats oh let me have a bite no don't give him the meat Jeez, you're so heartless, just like my mom. And then you talk to the mom. Was it Payon or Morak? Somewhere you can make food. Okay, cool. So you go off to the wonderful Payon village. If you made an assassin, it would be really good for general farming. Breeze is uh, pretty tough. Hey, Remus, how you doing? Everything's going well so far. We're level 37, 35, two hours in. It's okay so far, but it's gonna get better once we uh, get cart revolution and we can start fighting more monsters We might make a shift on over to orcs perhaps it might be convenient for us But we have to know that we are gonna get hit with the bleed status. So yeah But we'll see we'll see one more more than likely just go to orcs But here you go, you go over here to this location. Oh, you like something? Make fruit juice. Uh, I want banana juice. As many as possible. Make fruit juice. Make grape juice. As many as possible. I only stream Aura for the time being. Uh, I, I used to stream only on weekends. Variety Bear. I, I actually I only used to stream uh, on weekends because I used to work for tens and then I worked another job and got um another what you call it oh what's my call what's my call what's my call I started I still continue to stream on weekends and I was trying to build up the stream a little bit better but you know I only streamed on weekends on the nighttime, so viewership wasn't as good. And now that I changed my schedule a little bit, read between the lines, please. I changed the schedule a little bit. Well, not that I changed, but schedule changed. Um, I had more time and, you know, viewership went up and the time was better. More people coming in. I had more time to do the leveling stuff and show people. So for the time being, i um, just doing RO. I did play Dota, though. I did stream at one time, maybe three times. But uh, since we have the booster series going on, I kind of want to focus on the booster stuff to get it done. So I can at least edit that up and, you know, have people have guys, have guys for people to follow and do that stuff. So we might go back to Dota at a later point in time. Just not right now because we're still uh, working the booster stuff. Ooh, 17,000 Zenny. Don't mind if I do. So now we're going to go ahead and buy some fly wings. We're going to get some Zenny from the stuff that we just sold. I'm going to buy 20 fly wings. And, and Kirkux, I am far from Rager. You know that. I don't know if you saw me play Dota, but I was not angry. I did point out, you know, what we could have done better. You know, we lost and stuff, but I was never mad. And I know you're just joking, but, you know, some people do think that people do rage often, and it's not. I mean, I, I can jokingly react to, like, the Type 1 Master GXP table, you know, lose it. Like, 
No. <laughs> Has five million five million EXP for one job level? No, you gotta be kidding me. Like that, you know. But then when it comes to daughters, like it is to my understanding that our positioning was not ad adequate for this fight. Instead of like, bro, bro, someone messed up, you know, it's not like that. I don't know. It's a team game. Y'all have the same share blame. Unless, you know, some person admits it's their fault, then yes, their fault, but. You don't want to throw blame around because that just, you know, causes more issues. Anyways, uh, so we're going to go ahead and buy some fly wings. Well, we already have uh, three flying, so we just get 17. The other way around there, the other way around. All right, so we got 20 fly wings. So now we have all the items that we need. Five pin, how you doing? So we need, let's see, we got the 20 iron. We got the 30 sticky mucus. We got the 20 fly wings. We got the five tentacles. We got the two grape juice and the banana juice. All right, cool. So to get to Alberta, you can use the yellow butterfly wing or you can go to Prontera, talk to the Cafra, go to Alberta. And we're going into Alberta. We're going to opt for the easy way out. But we could probably do variety later on when there's, um, you know, better growth to actually go out in other places a random bear fact oh very nice i'm glad to hear that all right so we're gonna talk to this guy for our job re job revolution our cart revolution uh quest that's it now I have cart revolution so here's what you do with cart revolution Polar bear. Let's talk about polars. We got a random bear fact within right here. So let's talk about polar bears. I was writing IRL wiki polar bear. Uh, I have my sources, but I don't know why I was just thinking that. Anyways. Man, these, these bears are vicious, by the way. Let me go get a, a, you know, family friendly fact because a lot of, dude, there's a lot of stuff with polar bears that is super brutal, man. It's like, it's brutal. But anyways, did you know, did you know that despite their size and bulk, polar bears are excellent swimmers and have been spotted in waters over 100 kilometers offshore. They can probably swim at around 10 kilometers per hour using their slightly webbed 30 centimeter white paws like paddles in the water. Wow, they've been spotted 100 kilometers offshore. Damn, that's, you know, if you don't know what kilometer, no, if you don't know that conversion from kilometers to miles, that's 62 miles offshore. My God, that is pretty far out. Did you know that? Because I sure didn't. Thank you for the redeem. Very, very much appreciated, just friends. And let's go ahead and rent the push carts. Let's go back to Prontera. Let's just use the. Uh, if you if you're in any other city in the game and you see an Eden Dungeon teleporter or Eden teleport officer, you move on to the left side. You go back to Aperture and you pay 1,800 zenith to teleport out to Prontera. Congratulations, you are now broke once again. Congratulations, you are now rich once again. Well, not rich, but you know. So we're gonna talk to the flower lady and guess what we're buying that's right we're buying four thousand flowers so actually no we're buying two thousand at a time because we can't uh, carry that much one zinni each best investments ever because it increased your damage uh with cart revolution They just changed the priest, I believe.
yeah you do you do get your money back right very true it's a really good investment so we're gonna go back to pay on dungeon real quick we're gonna sell the uh skeleton bones that we picked up 41,000 zenny not bad i'm gonna save on to i'm gonna hold on to those for now let's go see what the orc dungeon economy is like let's see what people are selling over there that we may uh you know let's see what people are buying more like Oh yeah, you can all you can always buy Nefeta Kateria if you need a healing item below level um below level 15 Nefeta Kateria are still relevant. So we got 9,500 Zen. So let's go on to Orc Dungeon. Oh, Orc Dungeon, I said. And see what it looks like over there. Orc Dungeon. None booster, by the way, for reference. So how much damage do we do with cart revolution? So oh, seven, oh, okay, that's not bad. People are paying 300 zenny for the Orcus vouchers. Not bad either. All right. So the way cart revolution works is that every time you hit a monster, it's always going to be pushed east. So if you make a mob of monsters and you push them into a wall, make sure you push them into a wall going east, which would be to your left side of your character. Just like that. A small mob i didn't change my buttons yet so i'm gonna have to use cart revolution like this of course if, you, if you're not a booster character you can always bind a petrocateria remember pushing to the left side Level up right away. There we go. Leveling process expedited like that. Just like that. We're gonna be going we're gonna be going to Geffen soon enough. We're gonna be picking up uh some quests, the bunny boards and the eating group leveling quest. Remember, if there was no eating group leveling quest for orcs, you would just still be leveling at orcs. It's the level appropriate monster for you at the moment. And it's very, very beneficial. So cart revolution never misses that is one of the mechanics for the skill itself it just never misses and that's really good that's incredibly good so make sure you set up the monsters properly and just spam cart revolution wow nobody wins okay that's fine i'll live with that it's okay it doesn't hurt Just, just my ego a little bit. Anyways, never stop spamming potions. So let's teleport on over to Geffen. We're going to be starting off on Geffen now. What item in the cart? We got the heaviest thing. So let me ask you a question. What is heavier? 8,000 weight units of gold or 8,000 weight units of flowers? The answer will surprise you. 8,000 flowers. So once you have overcharged level 10, go sell all the stuff that you picked up earlier or most of it. 
to make some decent any out of that that's perfectly fine you could use it quivers and bullet case you have no use for all of the stuff you can sell no use for that anymore mushroom spores no one needs some uh venomous canine blue herbs do tend to sell sometimes some people do buy them so other stuff a uh, poison spore people do buy that as well so the other stuff you can probably just keep it'll be fine go ahead and buy yourself more beginner flight wings to teleport around more often more frequently Fourteen thousand is in for that not a bad deal you can now use awakening potions to increase your attack speed oh and by the way don't forget to buy nepetakaterias it's very cheap healing item it'll hold out for a little while You can probably use that to heal in between mobs and you can also pick up the bounty boards for oryx at this point not here 40 to 60. orc warrior and go over here collect uh orc lady all right cool when it is 166 attack speed it's okay i suppose we can live with that Really buying stem and poison spores that's fine for the price not like i'm doing much with this anyways we're gonna save here and back to the eating group we go and here we are you can probably do the eating group uh leveling i mean sorry eating group equipment quest i think it might be beneficial for you For smaller mobs, you know, Nepetakateria works. Oh no, I'm bleeding. So you can use Nepetakateria, it's very cheap. No problem with that. But remember, if you don't heal out, you're gonna bleed from you're gonna bleed to death from this. Look, half my HP already. Wow, that's a lot of damage. How does bleed work exactly? Why is it so much damage? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of HP. I'm just I'm bleeding to death here. Now that we're level 41, we can go back to town and, you know, die in town. If you want. I mean, you can just not die in town, I guess. Go into the eating group. Don't die just yet. Talk to the 41 to 55 mission board. Orc baby. Orc warrior. Xenorc. And Orc Skeleton. Go back, Crow World. Just kidding. Very few items remove this effect. So if you get bled, uh, yeah, I mean, a Pesticatory may be a cheap way to, you know, out the damage and not spend too many potions. But this is one of those things I was talking about earlier when it came to Orc Dungeon and the whole bleeding effect. So we got a shield so this shield is a round buckler you cannot equip it though you have to be rebirth class to equip it my issue with the shields is that you don't actually your, your attack speed goes down and it's not exactly the greatest shield of all times if you have a card on it to reduce damage from certain uh, type of monsters then it's really beneficial but otherwise it's not really all that great in my personal opinion you lose attack speed and uh you know it doesn't really matter that much but kind of personal preference oh and when you're mobbing don't stop spamming the potions because damage continues to register even after the monster dies if they hit you before they die that damage is going to count so 
be very cautious with that. Very cautious. Yep, this is your life now. As a merchant, you spam potions, you pay less for them, you spam more of them. And yeah, that's just how it goes. to Rackus, get exp for that and you pick up the quest again orc warrior there's more there's so many more orc warriors on that map than orc ladies and orc babies so just keep that in mind a very big mom i try to split it up a little bit yeah so much for splitting that up right grab the mob to go but thank you for helping me hold you uh, thank you very much my you're always welcome to dm me if you have any questions i'll be here for another like i don't know maybe another seven and a half hours but you're always welcome back in and thank you i'm, I'm glad to see you here and thank you for chatting with us have a great day and we'll see you soon best angle for cart revolution but they die in two cart revolutions anyway so that's fine by me i'm gonna go back turn it in uh, we should probably get some more butterfly wings because they tend to be expensive we go back and forth between the maps might as well get the uh butterfly wings
Tarath coming in with a prime gaming stuff. Thank you very much for your support, Tarath. Your support is much appreciated. It goes a long way. And with that said, you know what that I'm going to say. You know the lines. With that said, you get access to Salty Bear, Gaspy Bear, Monk's Bear, Alpha Bear, Wood Bear, Corn Bear, Kawaii Bear, and Hey Hey Bear. Take this purse with you. Use them to your like and use them as much as you want. Take good care of them and they'll take good care of you. And that said, thank you very much for your support. I really appreciate it. And I'm glad you enjoyed the streams. So that said, uh, butterfly wings, many of them. Turn this quest in and we're gonna pick it up again. Oh, level 45, not bad. We got more vitality now. We are two shot in the monstrous here anyway, so might as well get the vitality. We'll boost strength in a bit. Remember, monsters will always chase you once out to the side. So, you want to use a palm tree to uh, cart rev with them. You can do that. Just make sure you line them up accordingly. And there you have it. Just like that. Let's keep it up. Let's keep it up. We got a lot of work for us. What is the best class to start with at IRO? I think. Okay, so you play Ragnarok on in the past, right? Just make sure that you know how to how to play the game. You're familiar with the game and all that stuff, right? Just work out. Okay. So let me tell you. Let me give you a little quick breakdown. When you play knights, knights levels up the fastest out of the majority of the cast of the classes. And it's it's pretty good. It's pretty effective. At level 100 plus, you can still do a decent amount of damage. You will have to go to do the Hazy Forest, the Mora Quest, to get the uh, Pew set so you can do more damage with Wind Cutter. Wind Cutter is the quote unquote budget build. It is the cheaper build you can do, and it's effective for damage. Uh, at 150, it falls off drastically. You start needing more equipment, more damage, and whatnot, so you can expect that. Uh, it doesn't use the booster set unless you do a Dragon Breath build, but Dragon Breath will be expensive because it requires a lot more equipment long term uh alchemist and the geneticist is a really good choice but the problem is that for first character alchemist is just really 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 grindy i am doing the guide right now for you know if you want to play solo but honestly you're better off just leeching 91 to 99 it, you're just better off doing that honestly uh same for scholar uh guillotine crown oh yeah and long term damage uh geneticist is pretty good it can do instances if you get the seraha monkeys you can get painkiller and reduce maybe 1000 to 2333 damage you take from monsters flat damage reduction and you can do instances with that and that's actually really really useful i recommend that as well 
and if you do guillotine cross guillotine cross is really relatively strong uh you level up at dark priest with sonic blow you farm any in the early one to level 70 part of the game and you buy blue syrups and use the syrups to heal up your sp when you're fighting the monsters and it's really really effective uh, when you become a guillotine cross you're still gonna be using meter assault for leveling when you become assassin cross you level up with meter assault very very effective and you can also well you will need the catalyst you know uh poison bottle for enchant deadly poison to increase your damage with rolling cutter and cross impact but the damage is pretty decent you can start covering instances as well the booster gear is really good uh, it increases the damage for rolling cutter and rolling cutter on iro you just have to hold down the button oh no i want to have an all right let me get this uh, restarted But I think Guillotine Cross is not a bad choice. You will need more equipment at the 170 plus part of the game, but yeah. Uh, Crusader is not super strong. I mean, you can level it up and do stuff with it, but in comparison, in damage comparison to the other characters, you need more equipment to do more damage. Your percent attack damage is not as great as the other characters, and the spam ability is not as great as the other characters as well. Um in my in my opinion from what i read and from what I understand those characters just do a lot better uh long term i'm talking about long term not short term short term you might be okay with that but just remember that you will need a bit more than just that to you know clear stuff One thousand eight hundred thirty-six online look at that all right so we're back Boost more strength and back we go. Yeah. Knight is a very good introduction to the game. Uh, Guillotine Cross is really good if you know the game already. And Fanaticist is really good if you're up for the grind and you want the long term reward, not the short term. Oh, we finished Orc Baby. Look at that. Let's go turn it in. Wanna try knights? Then here you go. Use this. Watch this, follow it, it'll do you good. level up and back we go to orc baby once again and we're not done with the let me let me remove some quests that we're not even doing anymore we're not doing soldier skeleton either it's out all right cool don't forget at every 15 levels you can open up your booster pack you get more potions here so i mean it's it's fine you can you don't really need them you'll be fine so let's go ahead and make another mob Job 43, we can keep going. 
The Pentacateria heals nicely for what it's worth, so... It's pretty nice. And then when we sell all of these Orcish vouchers to the buy shop in here in the Orc dungeon, it'll be good, so... We can have our work cut out for us here. Just uh, farm orcs and get your levels. Nice. Rebel life, I guess, huh? Go back, turn this in. So there's gonna be a lot of back and forth here, so. Early on, we needed the, um, the dexterity for the archer skeletons, but since we moved to orc dungeon, uh, we're having a better, a better of a time here. So let's just uh, keep going. Oh no, the Zeni Zeller, no. EXP tab, there you go. Here's a mob for us, maybe. Oh, yeah, it's a pretty nice mob. Heart Revan never misses, I understand. But I just want to put the base for the dexterity just for the um having that particular auto attack hit if we ever need to auto attack for whatever reason. Oh, I was hitting both healing butts instead of hitting cart revolution. Hey Dara, how you doing? Things are going well, just getting uh character leveled up. All is going well. We're pretty much almost there too, so you know everything's good. We're using the Petakateria to heal ourselves. We're making smaller mobs. And we can kill them in two hits. Let me get that real quick. Chaddy G, if I pronounce it correctly. Thanks for the follow. Hope you join the stream. Hey, Project, how you doing? Good morning. Go ahead and grab another mob over here. We're going to push him onto this thing right here if I can. Nope, we cannot push him onto that. So let's use our orange potions. Oh, we did push them. What's the strat after job change? Hmm. The same strat we've been deploying this entire time. Cart revolution. All we got going for us is cart revolution, unfortunately. But such is life, such is life, and what are we gonna do about it?
no homunculus exactly so it may take a lot more to level up a homunculus at the early levels than it is past level 100 at least past level 100 you have cart cannon and there's more exp from monsters that you can obtain you can acquire uh early on you are trying to get as much exp you can for yourself because i mean yeah thank you very much is this the first playthrough you're looking at or is this uh have you seen the other guys that i have on the uh channel don't forget we're gonna be using our index finger for cart revolution middle finger for nepeticateria if you're taking too much damage start you know lower your your middle finger to the x button and just hit the orange potion so go for it with that we leveled up we're gonna get another level before we turn it in because well we have the orc baby bounty board well eden group leveling quest completed we have the bounty board we are gonna be overflowing exp but we should at least get the most that we can out of our cart revolution at the moment so so the problem with the homunculus is that to level it up it's gonna take 10 percent of that all the exp sources that you take right whereas the bounty boards monsters right but the problem is that 10 percent is not all that much and i think the exp table may not be accurate may actually need more exp and 10 percent of let's say 1000 exp is really 100 i mean is it 100 yeah it's 100 exp it's not gonna be as great as we hoped it to be right so we're kind of you know avoiding that that scenario because it would make it longer for us to level up plus not to mention 65 000 for a seed of life and we have to kill the homunculus every time it gets close to the timer to save on the seed mm, it's a bit rough for me though i think and at what point it's a fixed number yes 10 percent and the real question is at which point is the homunculus actually going to help me kill anything whatsoever Wh when is it actually going to be helpful can it even hit monsters that i'm fighting can it hit dark trees can it hit the uh you know other monsters or am i stuck just thinking oh you know the homunculus is going to need level 90 to hit with their skills and i'm gonna be stuck with uh leveling it up when i can just use cart revolution level up faster than it takes to make the homunculus get the homunculus sorted out so so we only get base exp from the eating group leveling quest so we just got a job level we are definitely going to be getting too much exp from the bounty board we're gonna overflow the exp so we're gonna turn in the quest over here for the eating group first and then we're gonna come back to the uh city to train in the bounty board that we have on the side Talk to Rackus. He leveled up. Don't worry about the base EXP. It'll sort itself out later. We're going to get more base EXP anyways. What matters is the job EXP. And it's, oh yeah, always 10% correct, correct. I know I just answered, but I want to follow up on that. So, and I think you get about, what, like 4,000 EXP from Dark Priest or so, something like that, maybe 9,000. So even if you got a douse, even if you got 900 base exp per monster that's just over the course of 10 monsters a whole dark priest right and you get like 0 0.2 percent per monster at level 98 or something i'm just kind of iffy on that it's just not and if you think about the hit formula how long will it take for it to level up to actually be able to hit a monster so right here we're going to overflow exp we're going to be level 54 with like 90 plus percent and over here we're going to be job 47 with uh 90 plus percent exp see just like that it's overflowing exp it's too much exp so that's how over here i mean this is the rest of the skills is just preference that wise though you are looking at getting more vitality you're getting you're looking at getting 40 base you're going to be putting uh 40 40 here 12 intelligence may help you with your sp recovery we talked about it more often blue syrups are available now more these days so you can just go ahead and do that so we could probably we could probably add some points here 
just for now but we're not really using any sp potions i probably won't anytime soon as we're starting to get to job and uh job 50. we're not using the potion we're going back and forth between but that may change soon enough we haven't opened up the latest booster pack which i think has blue potions no still not as blue potions level 60 has the regular blue potions we do have strawberries but i kind of want to sell this if i can so i'm probably gonna boost up more strength and vitality for the time being to 50 and then i'm gonna work on the intelligence a little bit more And don't forget there's somebody buying the orc items they're buying they're buying the orc voucher so if you're leveling up an orc dungeon you can make some pocket change i said pocket change you're not gonna get rich but pocket change and that pocket change will certainly help you uh buy more potions in the near future if you need them because at level 60 plus the petrocatera starts to fall off so you can't rely on it forever unfortunately so there's that to consider very important. just spam that EC. I just keep leveling till we get our job 50. We're going to work on the other uh, quests that we have as well. Very easy EXP. Two cart revolutions dead. No problem. Keep in mind, this may be good at this level, but later on it kind of falls off a bit more as you need to use more cart revolutions. You may be taking more damage. So something to keep in mind Nice enough for a mob to kill and we're gonna kill everything and as usual we're gonna pick everything up by hand which i'm pretty sure some people are wondering why are you picking up everything by hand that's because the character is brand new and i want to show that you can you know do the same thing i'm doing and make your life just as easy to level up an alchemist because alchemist long term is rewarding but just remember that you know it does take a while to level because your only skill your only friend is exactly heart revolution so be a lot of hard work to do this one but you can do it you can do it just be aware it takes a long time because cart revolution is your only skill and you're probably not going to hit more than 900 damage with this thing probably unless you have a uh, particular carded weapon or if you have the extra gear from uh, other characters or you know stuff that you farm beforehand yeah just like that very nice and easy, straightforward. And I just keep going at it. All the way to job 50. Out of caress, you just have for the class you I've done everything. I think we used exclamation mark classes. And I'll show you the vast majority of them. I have yet to add the magic ninja. And the I think I added bard. I think I think exclamation mark measures should bring up the bard. I don't think I've added the star gladiator. So I think I need to do that as well. I can add it right now if you want if you're interested in those. No, 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 no. Cla oh, sorry, sorry. Exclamation mark class. Exclamation mark class. I think classes brings up the IRO wiki link. Oh, that's why people are doing that. Master Kagero. Yeah, I need to add Obero, which is the magic ninja. I need to add it onto the uh, to uh, the list. But yeah, Guillotine Cross is a really, really good choice. Very solid choice. Levels are very fast, very effective.
I have to reorganize this in a better way, so. Oh, so it's your first time playing this game. So let me ask you two questions. How you find the game and how you find the channel? Just curious. L yeah, leveling is kind of tedious. But remember, let me give you the one golden rule that I follow. I mean, yeah, probably not me exactly because I'm doing this as stream for entertainment. But when it comes to RO, remember, you're playing a game. It's not a chore. For me, it is because I'm doing entertainment with it. But it's not a chore. It's not a competition unless you're doing MVPing. But even then, still, don't worry too much about other people. Some people will be doing a lot of damage. You won't be doing a lot of damage. But don't compare yourself to others. Or you can learn from them, but don't compare yourself. It'll just make it even worse because some people, you know, they either like to spend or they've been playing for a long time. And, you know, either way, it took time for them to build up to what they are now. So, because a lot of people do feel kind of burned out or they see other people doing damage. And, oh, and most of okay. So, just, we're just looking at channels then for right now online. Or wait, more informative in terms of title or or you were watching it for a little bit here and there. The reason why I ask is because, well, RO is a very old game, right? And server so viewers, okay. And a lot of people have been coming back to the game recently as well. So I was kind of wondering how people find the channel, what made them look up the this RO category in general, that kind of stuff, just to get an idea of where people are coming from, what they're looking for, you know, what brings them over and that kind of stuff. And I think one of the things I see the most common things for us why people show up to this channel is one, it's in English, and two, uh, they say it's at the top of the channel. Of the, I mean, at the top of the category. Hey, Job 50, look at that. Three hours in Job 50, that's fine. I can live with that. Now, I, mean, I don't think viewership is a touchy subject. I think that's exactly it's normal. I think it's expected because I've seen people in the past tell me that they sorted out by the viewership and they came by from that. And I, I understand, like, for example, I recognize the, the whole concept of viewership and whatnot and how it works. And, you know, people tend to, you know, look at the, you know, top channels more in categories. There's really no, no, no problem with that one, really. I mean, it's just the thing. Ah, uh, okay. I get what you mean. I get what you mean. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this quest in real quick, just because we can. Now that we are level, drop level 50. Again, just preference. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to grab this. A phrase. So I don't think I'm going to use Mammonite at all. I'm just going to grab Bending just for the thing of it. I'm not really going to use any on Mammonite. I don't want to use any on Mammonite. I'm not going to vent anything. I'm just using up the points because I have to. So let's go back to Prontera and let's keep going. All right, so we are now job 50. We're changing jobs at three hours in, which is pretty good. They didn't take as long as I thought it would. Kinda. Cart Revolution really did change the game for us, so that's good. So we're going to talk to manager. Hey, traveler, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I forgot. You have to open up your voucher, your booster pack 45. And your booster pack 45 comes with a second job change ticket. Talk to manager. I just want to change jobs. Prerequisites. Change my job. Yes. 
Ah, uh, can't change your job. You're holding onto a card. Okay, fine. I got it. I got it. It's fine. It's fine. Talk to manager. Yes, I want to change my jobs. Prerequisites. Ah, uh, yes, change my job. We're gonna go alchemist. Where we did blacksmith. Blacksmith. Man, my my. Let me drink some water real quick. We already played blacksmith before, so we're gonna play alchemist now. Tada, you are now a job. Uh, you are now an alchemist. And this is where it gets more difficult because you don't get any additional damage skills. It's a lot of expensive catalysts to do these things. You need stats to brew stuff. Don't worry about it. It's not worth it. Con tranquilidad que hablas antes de pensar. Ah. Es que estaba leyendo. No, yo sé lo que iba a decir. Nomás que tengo la boca seca. Y pues, en vez de blacksmith, dije, dije, black, 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 blacksmith. Pero sí, no, no, um, that said, uh, give me maybe like five, ten minutes real quick. Let me do something here real quick. Let me get, uh, let me bring another cup of coffee real quick. And we're going to continue on with more orc dungeon. We're going to continue with orc dungeon. We're going to get the xenorcs and the orc skeletons done. We're going to finish up these two bandit boards and we're going to be switching off to another map and we're going to be leveling at another map after this. So that said, well, we're going to pick it up afterwards. And yeah, thank you for your support as always. And let's keep it up. Two to vitality. I mean, sorry, 50 strength and move the vitality. I'm going to leave the, this here, but actually I will run an ad real quick. I'm going to go to the restroom real quick and we'll be back shortly. Okay. Again, thank you for your support. I'm going to run an ad, support the channel, stick around. If you're enjoying it, by all means, you know, stick around. If, you know, you want something different, you want to ask me questions, go ahead, drop the questions. I am more than happy to answer questions. And that's it. I'll be right back after these messages. Thank you. Whoops. Forgot to put the mute button here. Here we go. BRB.
Wait, the Matrix? The pouring? No, no, no. I'm still here. I just um. How do I explain this? Um. I drank coffee. Let me go get my coffee now. All right, so we have a redeem. We have a brown bear redeem. So let's talk about the brown bear. Let me look up a fact real quick. All right, so here we go. Brown bear redeem. Let's go. Let's see what we got here. And we recently talk about wait for another bear. Um, oh, wow. Okay. So brown bears are speedy bears. Did you know that? That's not the fact. I'm going to give you the details. Brown bears are thought to be swift runners. They can reach speeds of 48 kilometers per hour to 64 kilometers per hour. If necessary, equivalent to 30 miles per hour to 40 miles per hour, 30 to 40 miles per hour. This speed can also be compared to that of a healthy greyhound. So, he would not outrun a brown bear. So, don't mess with them. That said, thank you very much for the redeem. Did you know that? Because I sure didn't. And that said, let's continue. All right. So, we have uh, level 58. We still have some bounty boards that we can complete. We still have the eating group leveling quest. We're going to get that for extra EXP. There is a map I highly recommend people with mobbing abilities to go do, and we're going to do that map just shortly. But first off, we're going to go back to Orc Dungeon and finish the unfinished business we have over there. Hey, Crumb Kick, how you doing? So, 300 Zenny and 300... So this person is also buying the Xenarch Fangs, which is good. 106,000 Zenny. It's not bad. I mean, it's decent chunk change. What is a good mobbing class? Bowling Bash Knight. A 
Grimtooth Assassin. Uh, let's see what else. Basics, basics of basics to do stuff with. Um, Cart Revolution isn't bad, but it's still kind of I'm still kind of iffy on it because it's just the damage isn't all that great. So at least you got Grimtooth, you got Bone and Bash, Brandish Spear. I know the gunslingers have spread shots. Desperado is just not too reliable. Me motivaste para hacer los primeros 50 pisos de E.T. Lo puedo hacer con el chicle de E.T. Tenía los arques en hace rato. Oh, órale. Yeah, the spike line cast. That one is more of a... Um, 5x5 AOE or something like that when you hit. So you hide and you just uh, hide and use Grimtooth so Marshes can't hit you. But the catch here is that you gotta know uh, how to mob and not get caught by the monsters. Because if you get caught by the monsters, it's pretty much over. Oh, nice, nice. There we go, cart revolution, easy. Yeah. The cool thing is you can hide and cloak and cloak and hide, you know, in between each other one. You cannot cloak and use Grim You have to use hide, right? So low level mobs is not difficult. Maybe up until level maybe 90 plus. You have to learn actually at any level, Grim is great actually. Now that I think about it, it's just one of those abilities that doesn't seem to go out of touch. Venom Splasher requires you to be up close to cast the skill and then you teleport out. But I'm not such a huge fan of Venom Splasher. Me personally, not a huge fan. I have my reasons. to attack by that thing over there we might as well just uh use cart revolution we might lose a little bit but oh there we go somebody helped us great but yeah kurgooks the uh, et first 50 floors is really good at the very least the first 50 floors i do the first 50 to 100 first 50 first 50 and then i'll be to 100 you can do it within an hour so if you have a geared brew night you can do it within the hour so it's not a bad idea i guess i'm not gonna be doing that much on stream these days because it's just probably something i should do on my own time but it's very very good to run it it's uh you can't go wrong with that so we have to use a lot of sp because you know the monsters and the mobbing and whatnot so we do have these novice blue potions you can always just go back to town and kill up and come back in so no problem there oh it's warlock it's warlock no warlock the word warlock there we go cool Wait, another one of these. I'm probably gonna die here though. I died before I got the level. Oh, bummer. Sometimes you just don't win. You just don't win. Anyways, let's keep it up. Let's go back. Let's go do it again. get so little healing with this it's not even funny
we're gonna go back to the bottom right bottom middle right area bottom middle more like oh that's a, lot, that's a nice map here as well but i know i left a lot of stuff down here bottom uh, middle We have a lot of nepetas they're gonna start falling off soon so no problem there just uh just let it be it's okay you can take a small loss The only catch about height though is you have to not fight monsters that have a very long cast uh sorry attack range because if they have a very long attack range they might have a chance to hit you as you're hiding and if the hit uh you know lands it'll you know cancel your hide it'll pull you out of hiding and that'll be troublesome question so i just completed the hazy forest but we're looking at something to me more mora is when you clear the more of the hazy forest it's going to be at the exit all the way top or what you can do is you can go to dungeon teleporter you can teleport to bifrost tower you can exit bifrost tower you can go down one map and right below that map you're going to see a red dot not when you exit bifrost tower but when you go one map south of bifrost let me show you So when you go into dimensional gap you go to bifrost tower right uh it claims field so bifrost tower is going to be here you're going to get out and you go to that red point you're going to see a red point next to the center right uh i can't you can't see it right here from what i'm pointing at but it's like right here so when you exit bifrost tower you go down one map south and then here you're going to see multiple red dots around the area those are entrances to the mora village so as long as you go there, you're going to be able to get to Mora. All right, so we're going to sell these items. All right, cool. I'm going to go outside. All right, let's go back to this inn, finish Orc Warrior, and go to the next leveling spots. to Rackus and now we're going to be going back out I'm going to complete Orc Warrior hopefully maybe a bit more than that probably perhaps who knows but So we now level 60 we will be able to use uh blue syrups eventually so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start putting points into intelligence at least 12 points base that'll help us with the blue syrup recovery you heal one percent more with sp items for every point of intelligence that you have so keep that in mind for future reference it doesn't hurt to have 12 sp i usually didn't put intelligence because i i just went for the stats for the kills and all stuff but someone pointed it out and i was like you know what you're right you probably should be adding that now especially with blue cells being a thing now you'll get more out of it for the stats you're not gonna get more out of three strengths you know 93 versus 90 strength is not that huge of a difference 10 agi versus you know uh i mean 30 agi versus 35 agi 40 50 agi 60 agi 80 versus 85 is not that much of a difference 
you could really use those points into those at stash and it'll do you more favors than trying to get more uh considering diminishing returns and all that stuff i guess it makes a lot of sense to do that so more orcs to finish the bounty board not sure about orc lady don't feel like i have to finish orc lady it would help with the exp but we'll be getting more exp where we're going anyway so So any comments, questions, concerns, you're more than welcome to ask. I don't mind answering questions. field i feel as though i could benefit from the uh orc lady bounty board but i just don't know if i should leveled up let's go back to town i mean 35 orc ladies wouldn't be bad but i know a better place to go for exp i'm not gonna level it up there is no need for homunculus at the moment homunculus is best used at post level 99 Eden weapons are comparable to the booster weapons. Uh, the metal weapons. The metal weapons. Just the metal weapons. Uh, my out says it are my out says it was already boosted. So I know whenever whether to start a new account. Just continue. It doesn't hurt to start a new account because you get free unlimited resets on that. So doesn't hurt, you know. Doesn't hurt to try. Let's go back and sell the Orcish vouchers and then head on to the next leveling place. So Homunculus takes 10% of your experience and the EXP table for Homunculus is kind of steep, I think. It may take a long time to level up the Homunculus to actually have it do anything for me. Considering the hit formula, you might have to level up the Homunculus to a much higher level to actually help you. And you already start needing about a million experience points, if I'm not mistaken, according to the uh, table on IR Wiki for Homunculus, to have it do something in terms of um hits so if you go up to level 70 you already need 1 million experience points for it 10 percent out of all the stuff that you gain to get a million exp in the lower levels below 100 it's just kind of sassy for a lot really so not sure not convinced So we sold this let's get out of here and let's go to the next leveling location which is you'll be surprised i really get 800 exp from these monsters you know let alone that much more so 
uh you have two options you can either pick up a bounty board for this place or you can just go for a little bit until you get to level 70. in all honesty it doesn't hurt to you know do the boards but i'll show you where the boards are in case you want to stay because i know alchemist it will be tedious and it's a whole different story but yeah uh black lithium so the catch is that metal weapons and booster weapons are two different things a very very big difference between the two of them the metal weapon is the one you get here yeah, sorry the metal weapon is the one you get at the start of the uh, adventure and booster weapon is the one you get at level 100 which is a huge difference so you got driller you got mantis and you also have somewhere Nes9 coming with a party of 25 hello ladies and gentlemen welcome to the captain summer show my name is captain summer not my legal name but let me tell you welcome to the captain summer show the, we are doing iro free to play style we're doing the booster series which essentially is an event we have going on in iro where you get a new character you register your account you get a character and you get access to a nice little box that you can open up every 15 levels you get yourself very nice potions you get some basic gear to level up with and it makes the leveling process a lot faster you also get free unlimited resources with your character and right now what i'm doing is leveling up every single class all the way to level 100 to show you how easy it is to level up in iro starting from nothing well not easy but viable because most classes are viable that things may range between 7 10 12 15 30 hours but hey everything about renewal you want to know this is the place and thank you very much nest nine much appreciated how was your stream i'm doing just fine just uh, getting started over here level 64 moving on along little by little but everything's good so alchemist remember you the geneticist genesis the homunculus takes 10 percent of your exp alchemist only has cart revolution for leveling the monsters in the lower levels are not going to give you that much exp and for what it's worth let me look at our wiki exp table let's look at the exp table real quick uh, for homunculus exp table homunculus so homunculus homunculus using obtaining experience and leveling experience chart if you look at the experience charts you have a monk very nice after levels uh no actually wait a second what after level experience for not i rock your homunculus update oh for update table check this one okay wait updated is this the one updated i don't know if this is the accurate table because i remember somebody said that there was more exp needed to level up the homunculus which i'm very sure of that i'm gonna need a verification on the exp but i remember we were talking about this on discord you need a whole lot more exp to level up a homunculus somebody tested leveling homunculus yesterday and it was taking a good long while now if it takes me about hey phantom mix hello there so if you need to level up and you would take about maybe 12 13 14 hours to level up a character let me tell you 30 minutes of leveling to get you to maybe level 20 is not going to do anything because the monster you're going to be facing in the level 90 plus require more hits they have more magical defense and for the homunculus to actually make an impact you're going to need a lot more levels than that and if the exp table we have is probably not accurate which by the way it should be but even then if someone else tested leveling and it took them a while it's not ideal to spend that much time living a homunculus early on and it's better when you have access to cart cannon to kill monsters at higher levels in higher mob density maps and get more exp for the homunculus pre-99 you're going to be doing cart revolution all the way even if you auto attack you're going to be using a lot of points into agility you're not going to have so much fleet because your character doesn't have any buffs for itself and even if the homunculus was to help you with attacking you're better off doing vitality strength build with some agility for attack speed with some intelligence for sp recovery on potions and get more get more get more bang for your buck by doing cart revolution when you get the eating group weapons that you get at level 70 plus with the enchant you can also do the level 80 and level 90 and get the uh weapon enchant for brute fish plant insect dragon you get the one for brute where win will be an easy monster to fight and you can probably just cart revolution where wins 99 if you have to because they're, they're easier to find they're easier to mob and you can just kill them in smaller groups less they're aggressive but they're manageable so 
before then i don't recommend homunculus also the cost it costs 65,000 zenny to summon the homunculus with a seed of life to bypass this you have to kill the homunculus and it's just a whole big deal for just trying to level it up you're gonna be trying to level up 30 minutes you have to kill it and do it again you, you can just cart revel and in four hours you can be level 70 maybe level 70 who knows so now for next leveling location we're gonna be going off into mjolnir death pits genetics does use it it's better when it becomes homunculus s because homunculus s has better skills and homunculus s has things like for example painkiller on sarah Dieter has more damage on a damage buff on it uh and other stuff like that yeah the, you bypass the cost by killing the homunculus and then you resurrect it that's how So genetics may make use of the pets, but they get more EXP and it's better to level up the homunculus. Just think about it. If you're getting less than 10,000 EXP from monsters here, that means you're only getting 1,000 EXP. Or maybe even less, because I think it's about 5,000 EXP that you get. And Jammer's Dark Side, thanks for the follow. Hope you join the stream. So the problem is you're not getting enough EXP as it is. I'm only getting this EXP from my bounty board. But if I'm killing monsters within my level range, for example, let me kill one monster here. Let me kill the driller, right? I'm gonna cart rebel because I can't hit it, right? I get 1,600 EXP from this monster. If I had a homunculus, it would be taking 10% of my EXP. We're talking about it would get only 162 EXP. And now it starts needing, you know, 100,000 EXP. I mean, come on, how much? At what point am I going to actually have it be useful to me? It's not going to do much for me at this point. In the early game, it's not going to do much for me. It's going to be not very useful. It's not going to come in very handy. And at this point, you have to use better potions. So you're in a Petakateria are out of fashion. You're out of the healing range because you're taking more damage from monsters. And at this point, it may be recommended to buy. That's right. You may be needing to buy the syrups at this point. So save up your zenny kill monsters that drop items that may be valuable we're not going to raise an evil druids just yet we need to farm up a little bit more because we will need the zenny we can also go to pay on dungeon and kill the munox and bond guns they do drop uh dengis people are paying 1000 zenny for dengis and short dengis reason being that they are used for the hairstylist here in iro and if you want to get a haircut here in iro you can do that or you can also pay 100,000 zenny but the hairstylist will give you uh different haircuts than the 100k zenny npc will offer so it's well worth uh you know farming these items because fashion fashion is expensive and people love fashion so if you want to look good you got to pay the price right and that's what ro is all about looking good Or, oh, you know, dealing uh, 1 million damage and looking good while you do it, so. At level 70, you also have the uh, ability to go fight the Harpies. You do 800 damage with your Cart Revolution, though. Is it really that good of a deal for you to go there? Probably not entirely. Maybe not. But what, what can you do about it? You gotta you gotta get EXP. So you're gonna make small mobs of harpies, or you can continue here all the way to level 80 and then switch off into evil druids and wraiths. But at level 70, we also have the eating group leveling quest. So depending on your ability to mob, you may either go to the eating group leveling quest 71 to 70. Uh, sorry, 71 to 85 for glass time evil druids and wraiths, which we have a teleport for. Don't worry, you can teleport on over, no problem. Or you can just go to Heartbeast if you're able to mob this monster. You have better damage. Easy to do. Go ahead and do so. And if you just want to stay here and farm up a little bit, by all means, go and do so. But don't forget that you need potions because your potions in a Petakateria are not as effective as your regular potions now. And your regular potions should be the first ones to go. Now, if you had Zenny, which we do because we sold stuff to buy shops, you just buy syrups. And the syrups, you can use one syrup every second, one second cooldown, but it'll heal your entire HP pool for sure. And that uh, goes a long way when it comes to, you know, farming and mobbing and killing monsters. So, no, it, okay. The problem is not the homunculus AI bots. That is not the issue. Th think about it from the following perspective. 
how many levels does the homunculus need to actually be useful to me? Because homunculus needs hit to hit monsters, right? And if it's a magical homunculus like Vanimir, and it's going to be casting um, Cap Caprice, is that how you say in English? Capricho? A uh, Caprice? Caprice? I don't know. Caprice is uh, something else, right? Anyways, point is, it's, it needs a lot of levels to deal decent damage. I am better off using Cart Revolution than than I am better off, you know, using the homunculus. And yay, we died. We need more potions. Uh, we we need potions anyway, so whatever. The point is, it's not the homunculus itself. It's just the fact it needs levels. And by the time we level it up, if it takes ten hours, twelve hours to level up a, homo a alchemist to ninety nine. Why would I wait longer to level up an homunculus to not even be able to kill a monster for me effectively as I could with Cart Revolution? Does that does that kind of make sense? Okay. 81,000 yeah, that's fine. We can buy some potions here. It doesn't hurt. But let's go ahead and buy 50 of these. We also have other potions we can use, but these are really effective. So white syrups, something added to uh, the game in renewal. One syrup, 187 HP all the way. Ooh, 4,106 HP. Look at that. Very, 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 very good for you. The Petekatera is out of fashion. Don't have to use it as much, but we're still going to be using the regular potions for the time being because they're free. And this one's cost us any, so take it easy. Now that said, any questions, comments, concerns? Does the whole thing make sense of what I'm talking about? Or am I losing somebody here? Back to Mjolnir Death Pits or Mjolnir or how you pronounce it because I'm bad at this. And by the way, just so you know, it's okay to die sometimes. If you if you die because you miss potions or you over mobbed, it's okay. It's a lesson learned, right? Next time, don't mob as much or make sure you have enough potions. In my case, I need to know I have enough potions. Oh, yeah, no, that's even if that's the case. No, a homunculus disappears after 30 minutes and you have to you have to resummon it after 30 minutes again. They don't stay on forever. They uh, you have to resummon them after 30 minutes. Yep. We're gonna go up to 60 vitality at this point because we need uh, more survivability. We need more healing water potions. Our crimson weapons rare. Nah, they drop at a what, like 0.5% to 1% chance drop rate. I think, I think it's 0.5% drop rate. Do the booster box expire? I think they have to be removed manually, which is something that they did. Uh, my God, when was this? I think in June they removed them manually because they were doing the new booster event. But I heard that the I read that the level 15 box doesn't disappear. They, they, well, okay, so let me go. Let me do it again. They manually removed the boxes from the game. Which means that they say, hey, you know what? We're going to remove all the boxes and that's it. That was last time. That was last time. They did that last time. They used to keep the boxes until the event expired or whenever. But they manually removed them themselves. So if you open up the level 15 box, the last time they tried doing that was in July or June or something. They removed everything but the level 15 box. The level 1 box disappeared, but not level 15. Why? I don't know. But they do remove them when the event ends. Or they should be removing them. It's okay, hold on a second. Uh, it's, it's called Crimson Lands. And it drops from Anaconda level 100 mob. 
Yeah, I think any contact might be your best choice. But the best box to open is the level 130 box. That one gives you shadow gear that gives you 70% magical defense and 70% hard defense bypass. That is huge. For being free, that is huge. So the Crimson Land, it's called Crimson Lands, two-handed one. Might have to kill on the Kondaks. They're level 100. If you're level 85, you can get full EXP from them. They are one map north of um, Rowens. If you go one map east and one map north of Rachel, you'll find them. You know, let me verify that information. Yeah, Al Duke and a Kondak. Yep, yeah, that's going to be your best bet. But again, but again, the you can level up without the Crimson Lance right now. Unless you're already, you know, Royal Guard, then that's a different story. But even if you're Royal Guard, you get a better weapon anyways. Oh, wait, wait, that's right. You're not pushing, you're not pushing. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um... Yeah, not boosted. Right, right, right. Yeah, but let me let me tell you this. If you're leveling up right now and you're doing just fine, you don't have to worry about the Crimson Lance right now. You're not going to do a one-shot versus a two-shot, I think, versus the... I, maybe could you? I have my doubts with the uh, two-shot versus one-shot with a plus seven Crimson Lance, but... Hmm. It's kind of hard to uh, figure that one out. You do get more attack, but I don't know if it's that, that dramatic of an attack boost, you know? If you're leveling, just keep leveling, honestly. You, you'll be fine. Unless you uh, you need a Crimson uh, Lance. Unless you really need it, then, you know. By all means, go ahead and, and try to get it. Just, uh, just remember that it may not be as easy to pick up initially. It's a 0.5% drop rate, and uh, that's pretty low. Alright, so we don't have any monsters to fight. Well, now we do have another monster to fight, so... Use your cart revolution. Spam your Minipetas. It's cheap. You can still heal up with them. You just can't outkill the damage you're taking from these other monsters, so, you know, don't get your hopes up. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Okay, hold on a second. Wait. Can you, can you do me a favor? Can you rewrite that again? Can you write can you write that again? Cause that was um You don't go to wait, are, were you trying to rebirth the gunslinger? Matthias, who's Matthias? The the manager no Matthias is Matthias the manager?
All right, we now have 60 base vitality. We can boost a little bit more strength now. We're level 67. At level 68, you can fight Harpies, but I'm not sure we can actually beat Harpies. It feels like we're going to be spending a lot of potions. It might not be as uh, effective as we would like it to be. Oh, Eden Junior, thank you very much for coming in with a prank gaming stuff. Let me tell you something real quick once I get don't fin uh, once I finish this mob. Let me tell you something real quick before uh, this other side wonder came up. Hold on a second. You don't rebirth. You don't rebirth a gunslinger, but let me get to Eden real quick. So Eden Junior, thank you very much for that prank gaming stuff. Much appreciate your support goes a long way. And with that, let me tell you, you may not know it, but let me tell you once again. With that said, you get access to Salty Bear, Gaspy Bear, Marcus Bear, Apple Bear, Wood Bear, Corn Bear, Kawaii Bear, and you also get Hehe Bear. Take this bears with you. Use them to your liking. Enjoy the bears. Take good care of them. They'll take good care of you. Thank you for enjoying the stream, and I hope you have a great time with these little bears. So take them with you. Go along. Have fun. Thank you very much for your support. I really appreciate it. That's it. We continue. So you don't rebirth the Gunslinger. Is this a booster? Is this a booster Gunslinger or non-booster? It's a not boosted guy, so it's not a booster character, right? So you don't rebirth those characters. Every time you want to do a job change, look up the job change for the character. So here's the rebellion job change quest. And this is how you change jobs on the character. Nice little mop here. Let's go ahead and take it out. Ooh, it's getting larger. Oh, goodness. That's a big mob. All right. That's good EXP, though. We're level 68. I'm not confident to kill Harpies with this stuff. I'm pretty sure we're going to be losing a lot more EXP than we're going to be gaining. Well, we're going to be wasting more potions than the EXP is worth. But it's really good EXP, though. So we're going to try those options, though. We're still going to go try them out real quick. So let's go along the wall. We have a nice little mop here. We can use this. Wow, they are quite vicious, aren't they? Eight hundred damage is not exactly the greatest damage of all times. Goats. I don't know about goats. There's more mob density here than the other place. And the herbs that they drop is not very high drop rate. So, uh, class enchant stone box. Able to buy from that. Okay, so, enchant stone, class enchant stone boxes. Uh, let me see. We do have a way to get the enchantment stones. And you can see which enchantment stones you get from this chart over here. So what people do. So we don't buy them directly. That's the thing.
Yep. Yes. Look at the list and you can see what gets exchanged for what. I wonder if you can throw these uh, potions. Oh, increased potion efficiency. Okay, we're going to try this out real quick. I don't know if it affects these zeros, but we can always test it later. Okay, I just want to see if you can throw in the... Uh... I don't think you can throw these potions from the... Uh... Yeah, you can't throw those potions. You cannot throw the event blue potion either. So you cannot throw the potions. You cannot throw these potions to yourself, unfortunately. So there's that. I'm just gonna increase this for the time being, because why not? Yeah, it's RNG. Very RNG. Oh, nice mob here. That was 69. We're getting closer. Yeah, at level 100 plus, you can do the Anaconda. Wait, actually, Anaconda is uh, available before then. Oh, it is. Very nice. Dude, that's very nice. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why I was thinking they were like level 100 plus. I was thinking probably something else. We're using the Pentecateria, cheaper. To kill up. We cannot outkill the damage from the uh, the contacts and everything. Oh, sorry. The sidewinders and everything else. So uh, this will have to do for the time being. Everything's looking good here. So this bounty board goes all the way to level 80. It's not a bad spot if you cannot handle heartbeats. It's not a bad spot if you cannot handle glass time. But I still do encourage you to do the glass time eating group leveling quest. Sorry, eating group equipment quest. Because you do get better gears. I think the metal maze may lose to the uh, eating group weapon. So we're going to be testing that out here real quick as well. 
because I'm interested to know that as well. We know that it loses the metal axe loses to the eating group axe. There's there's some eating group weapons that are not better than the metal weapon. But a lot of eating group weapons are better than the metal weapons. It's kind of weird. Some of those things you have to try for yourself and see and do a comparison for. So by the way, I have a question. Would you guys be interested? All of you, I would need you guys to reply because it's uh it'll take a lot of effort to do this. But it'll take a lot of work. I'm already busy enough as it is. But are you guys interested in a job change uh series? I just do the job changes for the class for the respective classes. Is that a thing you guys might be interested in? Third classes probably more than likely just third classes, but uh everything else included if need be. Oh yeah, I did both of them. So I basically just do the jo third class job change quest on eating gear. And I do the um I, it's just like the first, second, third class job changes, just like that. Yeah, I know fourth class, yeah, I know that takes a lot more a lot more time, but I don't have that time right now to do that, unfortunately. I really don't have the time, believe me. Oh Crash Banking coming in with a raid. It with a party of five ladies and gentlemen I'm, I'm, I'm trying to read both over here trash man coming in with a party of five hello ladies and gentlemen welcome to the captain summer show my name is captain summer not my legal name but you just walked into an iro stream where we're leveling up a booster alchemist which by the title yes it says 32 hours but i don't know yet i just think it's gonna take long because it's a very tedious class but that said uh we have a booster event going on right now we're leveling up our characters you get a free little box and you can get free potions some gear to level up your character and i've been leveling up these characters in the past what month or so so if you want to level up any character in iro you're more than welcome to use exclamation mark class and look at the things we have to offer and with that said we do everything here free to play style uh with the stuff that we stream educational informational content for you and if you enjoy it feel free to stick around and enjoy what i got to offer and that said thank you very much so thank you very much trash panda how was the stream how are you trash panda king king that's what differentiates you from the other trash pandas, right? The king. Having a good day on this rainy Monday. Yeah, it's looking like the weather's going to be kind of rainy today. Not sure if it's rainy yet. Oh my god, this Anaconda. Sorry, this Anaconda. Side, uh, Sidewinder. I keep thinking Anaconda, goodness. So anyways. How are you guys doing? So I was talking about doing a job change series, just doing like the first class job change, the second classes, the third classes. In other words, I might just make characters for the sake of having those job changes ready. And then I guess I would just do like the edits myself and just add little extra details here and there for like the full version of it. Oh my goodness, I will die. I died. I predicted it. I died. All right, so let me do this real quick. Let me tell you something. Slender Lumberjack, thanks for the follow. Hope you enjoyed the stream. So, I know you guys just came in, but I have a phone call coming up right now. Can you guys give me like, it's not going to be that long. Can you guys give me like 5-10 minutes real quick? I just got to take this and I'll be back. Sir, perfect. Good. Awesome. I'll be right back. Thank you for your support. I'm going to run an ad BRB.
All right, sorry about that. Everything's fine. All right. Let's get right to it, shall we? So... So I know we're gonna get full EXP from this quest. So I think it's better off if we just go back, get the full level, and then um, turn in the quest. We're gonna be going into the eating group leveling quest and the uh, glass time. Oh yeah, I need to change the screen. Whoops. So we need to uh, get the full level because we're gonna get a lot of EXP. I can almost assure you Thank you, by the way. I can assure you we're gonna be getting way too much EXP from this because it kind of seems to be the case for a lot of uh, sub 80 quests. Well, that's just a prediction on the time frame because, you know, Scarlet took a very long time and they were kind of slow for leveling. So I kind of use that as the baseline for how long it would take. Four hours in. I mean, if I wrote 10 hours, we know it's not 10 hours because we already talked about this way too many times. Hasn't it be the... Uh, the lengthiest of the all the episodes and take like what well, at least three four episodes maybe who knows point is it's gonna take a good while and yeah even if we ran heart piece heart piece is kind of difficult for this character i think people underestimate how much damage heart piece deal and how much damage uh alchemist does Maybe with a better weapon, I probably could, but mm, it's not feeling it. Run for 20 hours by... Ca uh, mm, no, you can't really buy any cash because it's going to do all that much more damage for you in the uh, early game. How much could you possibly farm in 20 hours? Two hundred million. You say two hundred million like it's nothing. What could I possibly farm in twenty hours to get that much zenny? But then again, if I farm cards and sell them, that's uh, you know, it's RNG. It's an outlier. It breaks the um, the formats of the booster series. All right, leveled up. Let's go back to Prontera real quick. Oh, great. I tell her away. I thought it wasn't working. All right, Prontera. And let's see how much XP we get from this. It's going to be a level. It has to be a level, right? At least a level. Legit might be easier. Yeah, it probably will be. But what if someone is new and they don't know how to... Uh... Well, we can always talk about farming strategies and that stuff, but... If it's your first character, eh, you're probably better farming with other characters. Yep, level one level and munching on something but i did talk about zenny the other day i talk, talked about the basics of farming the low level items to get your potions i talked about instances i farmed up cards on stream and sold them sold them off stream because i was in a sitter for like the entire time so i didn't wait to sell them there's also the events i did the events for the zenny stream as well So there's nothing I haven't done yet. Events are seasonal as well, so it's kind of like you go do the event when it comes up. Like an entirely different video on its own, just not like a, a whole stream. Just put stuff together that I have already. 
but yeah all right so we're level 72 we're gonna head on over to the eating group we're gonna be doing the leveling quest and we're also gonna be doing the equipment quest yeah exactly that's what i'm getting at it needs a whole lot more to actually level faster a whole lot more and the amount of time you spent farming you could have already been level 99 Yeah, oh my God, it's because you, you guys say 10,000 damage cart revolution like it's nothing. You have a hey, hey, Pixel, how you doing? You have a new player. They're doing 900 damage with cart revolution. You say 10,000 damage, you're gonna be like, what? You're gonna you're gonna scare people away with that number. 10,000 zenny is a big number. I mean, 10,000 zenny. 10,000 damage. Not Zenny. 10,000 damage is a big number. So let's see. People are buying Venomous K9. 1,000 Zenny each. Not buy. I not bad. I think I'm good with that. What about gemstones? Does anybody even buy gemstones? What's up with the sorcerer stones? They shot up the price in one week. Mm. Good question. I do not know. Eleven thousand zenith. So little. Mm. Well, actually, here, here's a really funny thing I can tell you. If you were to make a Lord Knight level 9970 with the eating gear, that is literally all you need to leech a character. Think about it. AoE bowling bash, high survivability, AoE skills. I think a lot of people put emphasis on just better equipment when the characters are perfectly capable of living on their own. There is some equipment that may make things better, but how much are you going to have to pay to get that equipment to make it that much better? It's just too high of a requirement, really. That's my issue. It's just too high of a requirement. And you're still going to be leveling at the same spots. That's the thing. All right, so let's head on to the eating group. I mean, you can also tell up what you get if you like. I'm use the yellow butterfly wing just to be lazy. Mission board, take all district missions. You talk to instructor Yur and you'll be like, hey, uh, okay, I'll try. You'll be asked to go to glass time. So just uh, remove booking, type what to glass time.
Oh, I forgot you're supposed to go to Geffen first. My bad, my bad, my bad. Safe here as well because you're going to be coming back and forth if it's uh, good for you. You know, the stones are 50% chance to actually enchant onto the thing, right? Set request. I'm going to be moving these out of the way. Wait, 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 wait. You need this one here, though. Morak, Adabaran, Averda. What's up, right? Yeah, Dark Frames, Madrid, Rachel Archer. And you're really gonna focus on these monsters now. You're gonna have to go back to the other ones as it is. You are good as it is, so good job. I'm gonna go back to the board. It doesn't break items, but the stone itself does break. Just the stones, not the item. But my god, 2 billion zenny for that? <sighs> huge gamble, man. That's a huge gamble. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot. I'm going to get blinded. But Heart Revolution never misses, so that's fine. Revolution never misses, guys. Remember, never misses. Two more evil druids. We're gonna go back and it in. Ah, oh, curse again. All right, here we go. I'm gonna use the free uh, novice potions. We're gonna be buying blue service eventually, so don't think we're using this because just this is because we have it. If you don't have it, just you know, auto attack or whatever. But don't forget your green potions if you have to auto attack monsters. So we're gonna have to turn this in. I'm gonna go back to town. hunting yes yes level 74 and now this with the leveling process speeds up a little bit so you probably could do harpies if you have the levels for it we're gonna try harpies at level 86 this is just better exp single target you don't have you know huge aoe potential you have to have the monsters up close so might as well just consider a single target because you just can't kill from afar and go fast so you know it's whatever you'll manage Hey, Summer, what happens to the characters after they get 99? Do they go into your collection? I uh, know we're going to be group. So we're going to be coming back to these booster characters next year. 
right now the race to 99 booster and getting the content up is um is what i'm working on the thing that I'm, int I'm interested in the most of everything regarding the booster series is the free resets the free resets will allow me to showcase uh skills that will allow me to showcase builds and i can make adjustments to give people a better idea of what to expect for certain level ranges From then on we would be we would be doing another phase it's like the uh marvel cinematics right you know we're doing phase two phase two is going to be the uh 100 to 125 series and we're going to be showing where to level up and where to go. And we're going to go all the way up to 125. We're going to talk about level 125. I'm going to do the other characters. Um, I need time to work on cutting up the, you know, big breaks that I take during the videos. Cut out whatever is not really, you know, doing much. Or if there's just silence or whatever, you know, just little transition or whatever. And, you know, put it up on youtube and have the long form if anybody wants to hear the entire conversation everything we talk about here which by the way if you're listening to this some plan for it but hey you know i mean who knows it could be up on youtube who knows write it in the comments if i actually did that we actually got here and i did this so anyways um yeah so i want to do the long form which is the entire thing and then the short form which is just the condensed of where to go how to level with the commentary on it because that's probably you know more impactful some people say they want the long version of everything, so which I'm okay. I'm, if you guys are good with that, then I'll put it up, I guess. Let me just uh, cut up all the other stuff. But I still have to figure out how this is done. Because I'm not very good with this particular thing. As you can tell, I'm very good at talking. But I'm not very good at, you know, how to do these things, really. Because I don't, I don't really do it. Yeah, the stream itself is a long form. The short form is just cutting up and explaining the leveling process, what to do, where to go, and whatnot. There will be supplemental content that goes with it because booster characters, we don't do the uh, job change quest, right? We just kind of skip it for the most part on most of them. So I'm probably going to go back to my old VOD and get the job change quest from there and bring it out and just explain, hey, this is the old, uh, old VOD, but it's a job change quest and the job change quest don't really change. But I am considering doing a um, job change uh, series after this one, which I'll probably just get, uh, you know, a whole bunch of characters, a whole bunch of gunslingers and just leech them with, uh, you know, spread shot or something. Leech the characters, which I'll probably have to get a mistress wing from the market. If someone's selling any, I'll have to pick it up. And uh, yeah. I'll just level up the characters to job 50, do the job change quest, and then okay, we're done with that. The next time we're gonna be doing the other job change quest for the second classes. And then we're gonna be doing the third class job change quest, just like that. So I right, said so we're to upgrade Grace Mento to something like Scientist Mento for Geneticist. Scientist Mento is the one cash gear, right? If you have cash gear itself, I mean that's gonna go a longer way than the Grace equipment. Just make sure that the total amount of damage modifier that you get from changing that gear, because remember it's a set. The gray set is a set, right? Remember, make sure that the independent piece of equipment that you're getting gives you more boost or more benefits than the gray set itself. Only then can I see it be worth it. In some cases, you may be losing damage if the equipment is not better than the gray uh, equipment overall. So really important to keep that in mind. For example, when I was playing Mechanic, the booster sets gave me a one second cooldown reduction if i had the full booster set with the booster axe there is no other gear or equipment that gave me that benefit so i had to wait until i got a weapon that gave me that benefit to break my my booster set into the gray set the gray set i would have broken if i had equipment that gave me more damage modifier than what the gray set has to offer so there, you can do an upgrade but make sure that the upgrade doesn't deter you from other stuff that you're doing with the character Finish the request, level up. We're gonna talk to the NPC at the entrance of last time and I'm gonna keep it up. So we're doing a good job so far. 96,000 EXP for those two quests, not bad. 20 monsters, 96,000 EXP. 
so we get about 3960 exp so imagine we have to kill 3000 times 150 we would, we would supposedly if i were getting the exact amount of xp we're supposed to be getting we would be getting 500 000 job exp maybe no sorry base exp no nah, it can't be it can't be that much we'll see when we train in the bounty boards but and kirk looks has a really good suggestion as well that you could probably look and take into consideration a lot so my remember my deal is not like i know all the tried and true cash gear for me it's more like just looking at it from uh from a mechanic standpoint from stat standpoint am i benefiting more from this than the other stuff is it actually being what i have to offer with this it's just big benefits overall if you think you can wait on breaking the gray set that's good you know it doesn't hurt but if you have something that's really good that'll help you do better perform better overall then take it the armor at least the armor on the on the gray sets is uh, always good on its own at least for mechanic it was good so um kirkuk's kirkuk's got the crimson lance right It was you, Crump Kick, right? What'd you get? Did you get Holy? Did you get Neutron? What'd you get? Fire? Even Fire is good for a Dark Priest, honestly. neutral not bad if you can get a fire holy that might be good but you can always refine it to plus five. Oh, you can always find it to plus seven but that's eight to seven weapon certificates if you can afford one right now and you can try out the damage see how it compares to the plus five lands and the booster weapon if, if you want to compare that one hi right, great stream how do we get to you without vip can't find a go oh okay here let me tell you all right, guys, real quick lesson on how to travel in Ragnarok Online. I'm going to go just to Hugo, though, okay? So, real quick, from Prantera, you can level up to... You can level up. From Prantera, you can teleport to anywhere in the Rune Midgard's kingdom by using the Kafra. Talk to the Kafra and say, hey, you know what? Uh, teleport service, please. From Prantera, you can go to Isdud, Geffen, Payon, Morag, Alberta, Adabara, Komodo, Umbala, right? Now, if you want to get to Hugo, you want to get to the Swashvard Republic... Oh, yeah, you can also go to the para market. We'll show you right now, too. You can also talk to Keiki. Keiki will take you to, to Juno. And from Juno, you can go anywhere in the Swaswat Republic. Did I pronounce that correctly? Which is like all the way up here, right? So, well, Arena Fels is over here. Swaswat is right here. And this is like, uh, what is this called again? I don't know what it's called. Anyways, so from Cap Employee, you teleport, you can go to Einbrock, Gladhouse, and Hugo Rachel. You go to Hugo right here. Boom. Boom, done. Now, from Hugo, you cannot teleport back, though. The uh, teleport NPC doesn't have that offer, so. But now, you're talking about a falcon. So let me show you where the falcon is. They, they call him Toons, Spesonakis, uh, Cartoons. I don't know why people use that term. I really want to know why. So anyways, here, you can get your uh, falcon over here. Though. You can also get your dragon, I think, and your other stuff here. Whatever, come here. Check this out. from Toon makes you think of Looney Tunes cartoon Toon Link so right here talk to Hunter Mist oh Falcon
All right, so I'm done. My job here is done. Oh, you forgot to pick up the quest with the uh, eating group. Never mind. It's okay. Go ahead. Finish the request. You're going to go back to the Eden group. We're going to talk to the uh, board again. Take our district missions. We're going to go back again. No. It's just specific time. So Crimson Lands because, um, you know, uh, Holy Cross leveling at Dark Priest. I don't think that works in here, bro. Server time is specific, California time. If you don't know California time, then I guess, yeah, that's a whole big difference right there, right? But still, that's as, that's as good as it gets for me that I can give a respo response to. Yeah, he's doing the Holy Cross thing at the Dark Priest, but he's also auto attacking. He's not spamming blue potions or blue syrups. So he's doing out attacks with the uh, Holy Cross, which is actually a pretty good idea. Oh, 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 oh. No, no, there isn't, unfortunately. Pick that nice mob over here, bring it over here. Ooh, blinded, but no problem because guess what? Cart revolution never misses. But we do take a lot of damage from these monsters though, so uh, don't get too confident. Still used up my uh, blue, my blue, my white syrup, anyways. All right. Bad habit, bad habit, bad bear, bad. All right, just keep going. What's cool is that one syrup here's your entire uh, HP pool, so you can just get away with using one every so often. So, oh yeah, they're way better. They have a one second cooldown, but look, watch this. I uh, fight that's in here 36 HP, right? I'm gonna teleport before I die. I can take two more hits. One, two. All right, cool. Five, two, 285, 326, 5836 with 60 vitality. That's a lot of HP. And it's just 1000 uh, something Zenny. 1100 with discounts. So that's why I bought a whole ton of them and I'm using them sparingly. I, that's why I take damage before I use them. At least half HP is good enough to use one. Even though I know I heal full HP, uh, the amount of uh, Zenny it costs to use the other ones, you don't heal full HP on those. And it's still a one second cooldown. So they're not as effective. They're not as good in my opinion. So. It's not worth spending the Zenny on those if it's one second cooldown and it's gonna be cost cost a little bit more actually if you think about it. You pay like what 600 for maybe one third of the health that you heal? Yeah, no, it's too much. He's using the eating group equipment, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, Kirkooks.
Yeah, because you know, once it, once he gets to uh, Royal Guard and he gets to level 100, he's gonna just do the Eden Group equipment. The Eden Group equipment. He's gonna do the uh, Noblesse gear, and we'll probably be able to manage off of that. We're gonna go ahead and talk to the eating group first because we gotta we didn't pick up the quest again. So we're gonna pick up the quest over here. Take all districts. Uh Minish Mike with this guy farm. Uh give me new equipment. Half free space. May sword. Okay, so the axe is not a good size modifier. Sword is not the greatest size modifier either. If you look at this chart over here, sword is uh 75, 175, but mace is 100 percent too large and medium and 75 too small. And you can also get an enchant for 3% more attack on it. So we're gonna do a comparison between the eating group and the metal weapon. Just to show that in the long term, the metal weapon isn't always the greatest thing, but it gets the job done. So, you know, that's kind of why I go with it. Ah, 3% attack. So comparison in damage, 200 versus 197, but there's also the 3% on it. So who knows? I do think, however, the metal maze does get more attack long term, but you find another lands. Well, hope it's holy. Oh, neutral. Okay, well. Talk to her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finished. Until you're now level 80. And guess what? Now you can pick up the eating group. Uh, sorry, not the eating group. You can now pick up the bounty boards for this area. And hopefully we're going to have a good time with this. I think it's progressing nicely. Five hours to level 80. It's okay. I know we usually do five hours to level 90. But yeah, we know this is Alchemist. So. Dark Priest. Evil Druid. Oh yeah, they're they're all the same drop rates. And I think the chance for the elements is the same all across the board. You have an equal chance, if I'm not mistaken. And I hope I'm not mistaken. Because it doesn't make sense for it to be an equal chance. Yeah, that's uh, that's the only way to go about this cart revolution. There's no, I have no other choice. I have no skills. Yes, I know I do have these skills, but what I'm getting at is I have no way of dealing more damage with these skills because I need the items. I need to brew the items. Yes, you can buy the items. We have to brew them. Yeah, you know, is Rowin card good? Um, well. I mean, Rowin card may have its niche use against water face monsters, but I'm not entirely sure it's something that I would just be actively looking for because there's really not a whole lot of fish monsters to fight in the game anyways, at least early on. And even if you could, there's not a whole uh, good EXP you get from those.
Yeah, it's been proven to work, of course. Yeah. So let's try auto attacking first and let's see how much damage we deal. Let's find a target that we can. Okay, so let's compare the damage between both. All right, so we're doing 391, 361, 355. So 355 to 390. Okay. Heart Revel is 1129. Heart Revel is 1024, 1049. Wow. The Metal Maze loses by just a little bit at this point. 1047, 1059. 1062, 1129, 1097. It seems to have higher damage overall. Just slightly, but it, you know, it's it is better. Better nonetheless, so just a bit though. Just a bit. For a wing card, it's not bad, but it's not something that I'm, I'm actively looking for. And I don't think there's a whole lot of uh, fish and water monsters to kind of justify it. And even then, 10% increase. Mm, not sure if i'm too convinced by that although it goes in the garment and you can stack more percent damage against those or you can have an extra garment for that some people may opt for continuing to use attack plus on your garment or maybe range damage plus you know with certain cards so it's kind of a bit of a you know difficult and the crimson weapons have damage killing level yeah correct So it tends to get a little bit better as time progresses. So that's good. Okay, I'm gonna go off and get this monster over here and cart revolution my way in. We need more rates here, so let's go find the rates. After we are, you know, cured from our curse. Uh, you do get the class change for gunslinger and ninja you just don't get the job change for um soul reaper and star gladiator Not a bad mob over here, but uh, yeah, we're just gonna get the EXP here. Yeah, I just think that uh, Soul Linker is a class that is still very difficult to level up. It's hard for me to recommend Soul Linker as the first character, same for Scholar and uh, Alchemist. Alchemist is probably not so bad, though. Now that we're doing it, it's probably not that bad. Maybe we're just scared because we just say, hey, you know what? Uh, we don't have any more damage skills, but now that we have the quest that we can do to, you know, get the last couple of levels on the uh, Rebirth, 
It's probably not so bad, right? Right? Eighty-four percent is not bad. Almost uh, full level here. Go ahead and pick up the quest once again because we can still pick it up up to level 85 even if you're level 86 you can still you know have the ancillas request and pick it up then but you can't really pick it up more after 85 if that makes sense so you once you talk to the board at level 85 it's gonna tell you yeah i'm kind of done with these bro you gotta well, you gotta move on I think this has been by far the smoothest uh, leveling I've done, I think. I don't know. It doesn't feel as overwhelming as the other classes, I don't think. I don't know. I feel confident about it right now, you know, for the time being. again i was hoping i wouldn't get cursed so soon uh all right there's a big mob over here but i do still need to heal up i mean I, i'm still cursed so i can get this spiller right oh i guess not Just me and my card revolution. <sighs> I think, uh, pushing the fish effectiveness also what helps with the white syrup. So. We should probably write that down and uh, see how it works, you know, put it on our notes, see if uh, that's making a difference for us or not. Yeah, I had to give one last time. One last curse, huh? 
I feel as though the advantage of alchemists really lies down in the effectiveness of the potions that they heal with. I almost feel as though a high vitality build may actually be the wor uh, noteworthy option here for leveling. I'm starting to feel as though they could probably handle magma dungeon because they heal so much more with these potions. I'm thinking about it. It almost makes sense, right? It almost makes sense. But then at the same time, it's not easy to replicate going to Magma Dungeon, right? Because that's a you know, whole different story. Whole different ballpark. I know I'm also going to be faced with having to do the Eden group uh, leveling quests, which may take a while, but they are essential. Uh, they're crucial to my leveling. So at the same time, if I can handle Magma Dungeon, I may not have to entirely do all of the Eden group leveling quests, but it would really help when you stack with the Bandy Boys and all that stuff. So. Meteor Storm Dungeon. Meteor Storm Dungeon. I think it might be the other. I think it's the Devarucci. Oh, sorry, the Diabolic. Diabolic does level 3 Meteor Storm, actually. That's the one. The Nightmares do Curse Attack and they also do the Dark Strike. Oh, look at that. Math Geek is feeling generous, giving out some uh, some goodies, it seems. Does attack speed reduce after cast cooldown? No. So the thing with attack speed is the animation. Sometimes you can't start the next animation to finish the current animation. For example, you see me play uh, Dragon Breath Runite, right? You see how like I always keep moving every time I cast, I keep moving. And then sometimes when I just stand there and cast, I just like cast, throw my arm out, cast, throw my arm out. So sometimes the animation, the animation delay is what kind of stops you from doing the next cast. You can see this example when you use a wizard. When you have a wizard and you're casting Jupiter Thunder, there's no aftercast delay on that skill. So it's ASPD. Let me, let me just make sure I got that correct. Yeah, there's no aftercast delay, but you can see when you throw the armor, you can start the next one and such. You can try doing a comparison of very low attack speed with a two-handed weapon and having, uh, you know, no agility and then high agility with a uh, with no weapon just to see how fast you cast right afterwards. I think there is a notable difference if I am not mistaken and I'm not imagining stuff. Yeah, it, it, you have to have the aftercast lead reduction though to be able to do that. If you don't have the aftercast lead reduction to match the uh, the animation match the attack speed, I mean sorry, the animation match. I mean sorry, yeah, 
the after casting late beam mesh with the attack speed, then it's not worth it. It's it's really weird. Geek. I'm feeling generous and in given mood first three people to find my mechanic in Izlu can get anything they want out of the Halloween costume egg Hint if you followed along with some of your videos, you'll know he has to go to this NPC to finish his series early Ooh, Which NPC in Izlu may that be? Even I don't remember that Now, I need you guys to see me for a little bit. I'll be right back. I'm going to run the ad. I'm going to run the um, uh, BRB. So BRB real quick. Give me a few minutes. And uh, thank you for support as always. Thank you.
Uh, that would be Archbishop, exclamation AB. Here you go. All right, sorry about that, guys. Thanks for waiting. So that said, uh, we're going to keep up the pace. We're going to keep leveling here at uh, Glassheim. We're going to continue using Cart Revolution, and that'll be exactly what we need to get ourselves to level 86. After that, we can give Heartbeats an honest try because... Honestly, Heartbeats hit pretty hard. We do about a thousand damage. It may take four cart revolutions. We have to make smarter mobs. We will make Zenny out of that. But we have to try it ourselves to see how effective it is. Because, you know, this is done with the intention of letting other people try it themselves to level up. And we don't want to do anything that is deemed too difficult. We have a nice mop here. One white syrup heals us, heals us entirely. The entire HP pool that we have. So that's uh, very welcome. I think it's the potion, learning potion that gives us the better healing with that. But we're going to go try it out ourselves. See if that helps or not. We have a full HP pool, so we're going to do this real quick. Math Geek still has one gift left for all of you. We can find them at the location where if we went during my leveling series, to finish the series faster, you'll get something from him. You know, his words, not mine, so... Not, not event reward. Ooh, wow. Cash up Halloween egg costume. Very nice. So we're going to use up all of our SP before we move back to the um, Geffen to turn in the quest. Make sure we use up all of our SP because, uh, yeah, we have full HP bar. We heal up entirely with a syrup. So there's any we make from the stuff that we sell may... Well, we haven't gotten any item to sell. That's interesting. Well, this is where we start, uh, you know, slowly draining our Zenny until we get to level 99, right? You know, having trouble with the game, my game is crushing hard. Close after two seconds, no error, no message, nothing. Very interesting. I'm not sure about that. This seems like a nice mob, right? <sighs> of 
without attack. Painful. Can we beat it before it kills us or what's up? Yeah, we can. All right, let's go back, turn this quest in, pick it up again, and keep the ball rolling. Alright, so we're back in Glassheim. A E I O U, okay. New phone, who this? Summer starter pack. What what do you give him? Oh, you gave him white syrups and blue syrups, right? Is that it? Where is it? Where is it? How do you even pin stuff? Ladies, wait, are you going to do it again or did you still haven't been found? Wow. So, okay. So let me, before I do that, so here's what the auto mod does. Okay. So auto mod held a message from crumb cake. Okay. Nothing wrong with the message. It's just, it's funny how it, how it's posted. How the message for a reason. So no joke. My second day here, someone is doing me 1.1 million zenny. I was like, I give it back now. Ryan, they just laughed, kissed me and left. Auto mod held this message because recent sex based terms. Wow. I, I don't know how that's uh I guess it just picks up the word itself. I guess the word itself is what it picks up. No 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 I, I'm making I'm making a joke out of the auto mod because that is just like weird for it to just say it's it's sex based term. It's just like kiss like okay it could be like you know sun kissed or it could be you know uh something else right I know I know but it's funny because the auto mod just holds it okay you hold you know hombre okay you know hombre all right, ladies and gentlemen, so we have Math Geek feeling generous today, giving away one more, you know, cash shop Halloween egg costume item. If you can find them in Islude at the location that I frequent on the Sumber series and the leveling series, the place I frequent to finish my series faster, by all means, go find them. You can find them in that location with that NPC. Again, the hint is the place I frequent to make my series end faster you'll be gaining something from him. So go ahead and look for him right now because he's giving away something. And my goodness, if you watch the streams, you know what I've been talking about. You know what I've been phrasing the entire time. I've been doing it so frequently. I recommend other people to do it. You have to go to that place to get the item from him. It's just, I frequent it. You guys see me go there before, right? 
where it is that I go, right? But you guys see me go there before, so go. Get a goodie from Math Geek. Free item from Math Geek. Wow. Even I would go myself if I could, but I know the answer already, so. It's probably a little unfair, a little unfair you know, for me to win it because I know where I'm going. Come on, one more person. You watch the Sumber series somewhere in this loot that I frequent very often during the leveling series to finish the series faster. And I haven't shut up about this for the past week or two weeks, really. My goodness, just hideous how you can just go to that one place and get, you know, Finish the series faster, finish leveling faster, just incredible. It's not a joke, Math Geek really is giving out something. So go find him, that one place in Islu that I frequent. Alright, that said, if you still don't find anyone within the next five minutes, then I'll just uh, give it some time. So we are now level 85. We're very close to level 86. Once we turn in this bounty board, we should be good to go. So I take it back. I take it all back. Alchemist has an advantage. And I just didn't think about it because it wasn't a very obvious passive or active ability. We're going to test it, see if I'm right. I hope I'm right, but potion research increases effectiveness of healing potions. White syrup is a healing potion. So by, by definition, it should give us more. So we're going to be testing that out by, you know, resetting our skills to set this to zero and then uh, try it again. And level 85, just like that, that's, uh, that's impressive. Now, the real problem is level 86 plus. Now, that's where it gets challenging. Wow, somebody showed up. Wow, that's great. Creo que habla español y no me dijo que hablaba español. ¿Qué onda con eso? No, no te creas, estoy bromeando. I'm just joking. I like to speak in Spanish. It's just nice to be able to talk in Spanish sometimes. So. Oh, okay. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Either do I. That's why I keep saying, am I saying this correctly? Or is this the right word for it? Or am I writing this correctly? Because I just don't sometimes know. But hey, I can surely communicate, right? I can at least communicate. So I'm happy about that.
and this is the last thing we pick up this quest and after that we're done with this quest uh we'll be going to heartbeats after this i'm gonna give him a try see how well we can perform there He was the quest NPC. Yeah, he was at the Agent York NPC, the one I used to finish the series sooner because I stack up EXP quests, and that is one of the IRO exclusive custom quests we have on here that gives us a whole ton of EXP. So it's very, very good. Trust me on that one. And I have not shut up about it the entire time I've been doing it. So that's it. To put it better, I wasn't sure to know certain fork within our Hispanic community would be offended. Mad bad Spanish. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Don't worry about that. You know, what matters is the communication effort, you know? And besides, that would just be like, hey, what's up with that? Come on. I understand it. Sometimes I don't understand certain words or the... I I do misunderstand certain words sometimes because it's just, you know, we don't have pauses. We can't hear people say it. So when you read, it's just like, oh, did you mean this or did you mean that? Like, yeah, I know I speak Spanish, but a little troll by this one. But it's easy to, to, uh, to fix up. It's not a big deal. So I do think that Alchemist does have an advantage with the potion research uh, passive. We have to do a little bit more research, no pun intended, on this ability because I think that's what defines this class's uh, ease to heal up with these potions and not struggle as much as we thought it would. Cart revolution never misses. So we're gonna just make this mob. And we're gonna heal up and spam cart revolution on it. And there you have it. Ooh. Very nice. There's a nice mob here with my name on it. You know, I haven't had anything to refine in the last God knows how long. I think I'm content with my character's equipment, you know. I think Dragon Breath Rina is kind of the only character I really need to gear. If I was to get anything else, it might be for Geneticist, but... I'm not really seeing the need for a whole lot of Geneticist gear. It may make things a little bit faster for me, though, but mm, still. Or in fact, I could probably do a geneticist and run Wolf just lab and then central laboratory and then, uh, you know, do that multiple times. That wouldn't be such a bad idea, right?
level 64 i mean sorry level 64 level 86 with uh 64 percent we're gonna keep boosting vitality vitality is kind of something that we need the most out of everything and keep in mind we're not doing a homunculus because homunculus is not going to be as useful to us right now we kind of just need them for the skills not going to auto level you we'll talk about homunculus another time but right now we would we want to just focus on leveling as much as we can because leveling will be our greatest challenge yet and we want to make sure that we do we do everything within our power to get as far as we can so hot take selling the old blue box all right let me go to Prontera real quick just to check it out <laughs> now i think people tend to have some stuff laying around it's not really all that much like crescent side you get from mvp the swimsuit stuff you get from the um, noodle festival event it's decent gear White herb, fabric. If the second item is not found, it's not going to search it up for you. Just FYI. One, see, for whatever reason, if you don't find the item the first time and you try to find it again, it's not going to find anything for you. Strawberry. Rough Riddican, maybe. Rough Riddican. Oh, no one's buying that either. Okay, cool. I'm just going to put in my storage. And forget about it for now. The Halloween candies do sell to people. People do buy them. So, you know, if you have those, sell them in the market. Let's see. Search. Transformation candy. People pay 10, 12 case any for those. Eh. But how about when people sell them? Oh yeah, people sell them for a pretty penny, huh? Oh the Morgan set, yeah. Oh, it's very weird. So I have this uh, two carat diamond, but for whatever reason, I can't sell it. So what do I do? Good question, Bear. Good question that you ask yourself because you're going to answer it yourself. No, no, no. I mean, he, he gets it. He gets from the MVPs and they can use it. I mean, you saw me level up to 99 without that gear, right? It's helpful. But once you get past level 100, you have no use for it because you have the eating. Uh, sorry, the EFD no police equipment which increases your skill damage and gives you other bo boost so so anyways to sell the two carat diamond and two carat diamond you go to high value trader here in the eden annex two carat diamond all of them and do it all right cool So let's go back out to Prontera and let's go buy some white syrups because we're going to try Harpies now. See how well we do with Harpies. I need 1,000 zenny. I do have some extra pocket change from other stuff that I sold.
120 white syrups so i think we should try to test how much we heal with these things because uh they come in kind of handy and being able to heal my entire hp pool with one single potion has to be potion uh research it has to be this this has to be the buff that redeems the class and takes it out from the f tier all the way up to the c tier so Alright, so we're gonna take a wild risk here when it's safe here. I'm gonna pick up the bounty board, level 86. Keep in mind we stayed in the Eden Group leveling quest similar to 85 because we kind of lack a lot more stats. And I feel we will survive here, kinda, but we will definitely survive with better stats. 80 vitality, 72 strength, 20 agility, 12 intelligence, 40 dexterity. Dexterity, you don't really need it for hit purposes. It's just more of a, you know, formality to not have no dexterity because you still need it. So let's go pick up some Berserk potions. We got our blue green potions right here. And our finger formats. It's going to sound funny, but rank finger Z or beginner fly wing. White syrup on the middle finger for X. Heart revolution for the, I mean, yeah, yeah, it's not funny, but whichever finger you're better with, use it for cart revolution and just tap one syrup, tap one syrup, and make sure your ring finger is good enough to hit the uh, flowing button in case you're taking too much damage and you're kind of eyeballing that you're not going to survive. Yeah, just do that. And of course, you're going to use your uh, index finger to tap the green potion because you can't be hitting uh, both potions. And I think the ability at the same time. So even if you get silenced, you're not going to be able to hit them with that. So no point in you continuing to hit to use the button. When you need to use your finger for the green potion i know it sounds very complicated but trust me on this it's just not meant to be complicated it just puts it into perspective so always look for a wall boom we're gonna be silenced here silence and then bring the mob in and one two three four okay four card revolutions once you're up to heal entirely no problem i'm gonna try to use this wall right here see how well we do not teleport out the too many monsters This seems like a nice mob right here. So, Heart Rebel and one syrup. Okay, seems like it's doable. You heal rather quite well and seems like you're handling it like a champion. So, go ahead and teleport. Remember, don't make mobs that are too large for your own good. Mob between four to six monsters. That seems to be the, you know, the sweet spot for how much you can mob with a character before you start taking way too much damage on silence wait for the animation to finish before you tap the green potion the animation finished tap green potion cart rebel cart rebel half hp potion just like that i mean i know it's just like that but there's more to it but you know i understand just uh point of perspective make a little mob cart rebel your cart rebel is not in a very good spot you have to push the other monsters in tap the green potion There you go. Someone if I don't know, not AFK. Okay, so here's a nice little mob. Maybe a bit strong, but yeah, never mind. You didn't get all of them, so it's okay. Big mob here, but the Harpy Ringleader is going to die. Tap the green potion, tap the green potion. Just like that. Tap the syrup. And that's it. Yeah, that's from the noodle festival, if I'm not mistaken. No one's buying the strawberries, so we'll just use them. Now, go down a wall. Remember, you're always going to be pushing monsters towards the east direction. And start spamming Cart Revel. One syrup. And there you have it.
yeah the, the event is going on right now the noodle festival was a pretty good way to make zenny if you get the greed stone the costume greed and chance stone lower oh that's gonna be good zenny for you i'm almost sure of it so here we go mob potion silence tap green potion potion No, it's um a daily quest and you just do like hunt some stuff and whatnot and I guess you go turn it in, I guess. You're not in a very good spot, your mobbing is not gonna be as effective, so you might want to shift a little bit to the side and continue using the cart rabble spam. go to the wall right there and part revolution and here we go one more sp there we go yeah a cost yeah i mean it could be but it's big zenny remember big zenny large zenny is always you know rng how much would you sell the, the enchant stone for though should you get it let's just say you just get lucky you get it Yeah, you might be better off selling the cost i mean early on if you get you know if you get 19 million zenny that's gonna pay for probably a better weapon at some points eventually you'll get enough zenny for a better weapon once you go down to more than half health just use the white syrup just tap it once you're gonna be making a good amount of zenny from this you're gonna recover from whatever you spend on, on syrups Give me one second real quick, BRP. Guys, I'm just feeling really, really confident right now. I'm not even joking. What do the kids say nowadays? On God, no cap. For real, for real. Like, seriously. The healing effectiveness of white syrup is beyond my wildest expectations. We heal up our entire HP pool with one white syrup. What is this magic? It's potion research. I take it back. I take back the alchemist to be the most difficult class of all times because potion research is what comes in clutch for us. It's what comes in and saves the day for this character because yes, our damage may be, you know, not gonna be the greatest damage in the world, right? But we can survive fights longer because we can use the syrup 
and heal up our entire HP pool in one go. And we're going to be getting a whole ton of EXP. We are going to try Magma Dungeon, though. We are going to try it. I'm feeling very confident right now. I think we might actually make it. What matters is how much you're mobbing inside the magma dungeon, though. That is a very, very huge factor. You can't over mob. That means you have to teleport around and find a decent mob to deal with. So, you know, it could work, actually. I really think it might work. So it's six hours into the stream. We're currently level 87. So we are on a good, we're in a good streak, I think. Maybe four more hours, probably a little bit more or less. Think we're doing really well it's going beyond expectations cart revolution has revolutionized the way of leveling the alchemist has nothing to fear the alchemist is actually a very good class to start off with of course if you can handle the cart revolution but you have to understand the way it works and why it works we're going to conduct some testing later but i think at this point i'm going to be investing most of my points into vitality and we're going to see how well it's going to work out for us so We haven't yet used our buff scrolls, but you know, if heart piece is too difficult, go back to dark, uh, dark piece, go back to evil druids and wraiths. We're doing this because it's good EXP, high mob density, and we can actually handle the mobs. Just remember animation finishes, tap, tap your green potion, heart revolution. Oh no. But oh, we have to change the, uh, light map. Hold on a second. And through magic, we're going to skip over to the next, uh, you know. But did I use light map again? You use slash light map. Slash light map, slash light map, and there it goes. But I'm gonna reopen the client because I don't want to have to deal with this. So, Right, so give me one second, super fast. All right, let's keep it up. Let's keep going and
So light map is gone and we're back on it. This a nice little map here. We can just take this right here. Well, not a whole lot of harpies are coming over. Now they are. Uh, remember, you have a lot of uh, healing with the syrup, so just use that to your advantage. Remember, you're low on HP. Heal up. Easy. I don't think we're going back to the evil druids raids anytime soon, so we'll just leave it at that. a lot of SPM spending on this, but I mean, I'm six harpy away from finishing the bounty board. So I'll just uh, turn that in and keep it going. done go back turn it in so harpies is viable for alchemists you have to use the white syrups though they heal the most and you have better potion efficiency with uh, healing because of potion research we still have to test this so we have to make sure that it is working as we think it's supposed to be working and yeah we're gonna be going higher on the vitality because we need to survive the fights and we need to get better healing with our potions. One percent increase on the HP recovery. We also have fifty percent increased potion. I mean, increased potion efficiency by fifty percent. That seems like it's just too good to be true. But we will test it, though. We will test it at the end because we have no other points to put into our, our character. What else are we gonna put points into? Nothing breaks. Axe mastery. We're not using a sword or an axe. We're using a mace. over 5,000 HP with one syrup. That's insane. I don't know how you guys feel about that, but I think it's the greatest thing that's happened to me all week. And it's barely Monday. Well, that's why, because it's barely Monday, right? We don't have anything else happening this week so far, so... The next best thing would be an MVP card, right? Eh? Eh? So what do you guys think about Alchemist so far? You guys think it's viable? Does it make sense? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Wait, 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 wait. 
7725. 7816. 7816. 7725. Wow, the Eden group beats the uh, high adventure. So the only thing it doesn't beat though. It, actually, the Eden group armor alone beats the HP gain from this. It doesn't beat the SP gain though, because you get 590 versus the other one, but. I mean, even, even then, even if the SP pool is lower, the eating group still wins. That's, uh... Maybe I should have done the booster with, with the eating group equipment instead. I did showcase some characters with the eating gear, but still, this is just, uh... The only difference, though, the big difference, though, don't get carried away, though. The, the attack, 197 attack. Versus 172, the 25 attack you gain from the from that is um, maybe a little bit more worthwhile than the extra 100 HP or less than 100 HP actually. So just speed wins by a little bit, but the attack on it is still pretty good. It's not to say that you know you couldn't do it with just the eating gear. You probably could more than likely. Eating group weapon is just that good, huh? I did not tap the potion. That's on me. That's on me. Go heal up real quick and we're gonna go back in. how else i can get exp to get these levels because i wonder if the eating group equipment quest for getting the dragon and chat may be worth for the uh, magma dungeon how much more damage do you think we would get out of that it's a very risky proposition may actually in fact a successful one
I said, okay, but my head, my head said, answer your question. I feel about Torah. Okay, I can have this ready for leveling. Good. Seems like it's not that bad, right? There will be a part where it's not, you're going to struggle, though. The 91 to 99 will always be a struggle for most classes. But the healing efficiency on these potions is actually not so bad. It has to be the healing efficiency. I don't remember healing this much with a white syrup before. I think with the fire armor, you can actually handle... Um, magma dungeon i actually think you can handle it with just the fire um armor consider we just you stick what 25 percent damage from all fire sources well this is a really good mob here oh my god this harpy ring leader makes me making me heal up mm. Oh man, I'm kind of hungry. Kind of, not that much though. Just a little bit. Bringing the mob up here. Hopefully we can get, yeah, that's good enough. When you, once you get enough practice, you're going to get the hang of when to hit the green potion when you get silenced. With practice, you just kind of get the hang of like, okay, here it comes. The animation ends, tap the green potion. Animation ends, tap the green potion. It's not the moment you get hit with the skill. It's the moment the skill becomes, you know, effective. That's all we need here. All right, cool. Let's head on back. I'm gonna go heal up at the eating group. We are kind of broke. We can sell the loot as well, or we can just pick up some zinni that we have stored over here. But let's see how much zinni we've made so far from what completing one bounty board, I think. Twenty twenty thousand, not bad. I'm gonna hold on to it for a little while. Yeah, you know what? I'm actually feeling pretty confident about this one. Kinda. Not getting my hopes up. Oh, you still know Magma Dungeon, man? Why you gotta be like that? Why? Spark and Purpose, thanks for the follow. Hope you join the stream. So we got a couple more mobs in this before we have to uh, buy more potions, but I think that potions kind of paid for themselves at this point. It's kind of. The problem will come in when we have to deal with the Magma Dungeon. If we go to Magma Dungeon, that is. I almost feel as though if you just get the raw EXP here, you're going to be able to uh, make up for the uh, potions that you use. And quite frankly, it's not a bad idea. You could probably just level up here, make the Zenny, get the potions, repeat. We can take a look at the Harpy level and see how much EXP you get, you know, raw EXP, but... Oh, I, I didn't hit the potion for whatever reason. I was... Uh... Wow, you can almost heal up the entire HP pool with one with one white syrup.
crazy. That is crazy. That's too much for me. Anyways. Thinking back on it, yeah, the mob density here is great. You're gonna need one green potion. You get better at mobbing, you get better practice mobbing with Cart Revolution and Heart Piece. So you kinda just come to the conclusion that, yeah, you know what, this place isn't so bad. ourselves to the wall so everything pushes left yeah it's okay we did it we managed Perfect. Everything good so far. So yeah, so I admit I overlooked the potential of uh potion research to increase our healing with uh healing effectiveness with potions. And yeah, let me tell you, I think this might open up the possibility to continue leveling at heartbeats because we can handle the mob density and also may open up magma dungeon for us, it may make it viable for us actually. Of course, it'd be a bit more expensive than usual, but 100% crit sater now. Well, let's go back to town, turn this in, and keep it going. Let's go back to Prontera. Let's go buy some stuff. And yeah. Delroy Fan Club. Ooh, very nice. All right. So I'm going to heal naturally. First of all, I'm going to heal naturally. Oh, it's Silver Moon. Look at that. Lucky me. I did not know that.
So what's going to happen now is I'm going to go ahead and take a little quick break. I'm going to grab a bite to quick. I'm going to grab a bite to quick eat. I'm going to grab a quick bite to eat right now. So just uh, stay put. Chill. I'll be right back. Um, you know, if you're watching the stream, you know, uh, feel free to hit that follow button to support the channel. We have a Discord channel dedicated to all of you lovely individuals out there who enjoy Ragnarok Online, who play Ragnarok Online, or simply like the way I run the stream. Uh, support the channel. Stick around. Really appreciate that. Been doing that these days, and I hope you guys are enjoying the content. And yeah, I'll be right back. Thank you. I need to grab a bite, actually. So but yeah, so about maybe six and a half hours, we are level. We could have been level 90, but I'm going to go eat. So BRB. Oh, and minus a call, we could have, you know, made it then. So yeah, BRB. I will run the ad if you don't mind. So, and if you say you, and if you say you mind, well, I'm bad because I still gonna run it anyway. So we don't keep getting it popping up. Your beat, thank you.
You know what? I forgot to set up the AFK screen, BRB, but. Oh, crap. Last um. So, yeah, I have my lunch with me here, so we're gonna just uh, chit chat. Let's see. So, so far, you guys are still here, and of course, you guys are still here. Uh, how do you guys feel right now? Level 90 to 99 gonna be difficult, or do we have things kind of figured out? mouth guard the um the iron cane You probably think of the Iron King then. You might be thinking of sending out then in that case Why is everyone using the wings and the banner hat? That is the 20th anniversary um, costume and headgear. <clears throat> you get 60% more EXP from monster that you kill, and you also get a, a nice stat boost, like plus two all stats, and plus 20 hit, attack, magical attack, flee, and hit, I think. Yeah, hit, attack, magical attack, and flee boost, yeah. The only time you have a good lower head gears it's just mostly cash stuff so
I'm almost done eating, by the way. <clears throat> Just having some uh, some rice and uh, swordfish steak that I well, I didn't grill it. We had it grilled the other day, so. But that I kept for uh, today, so pretty tasty. Right, this is done with let me go get my um well, let me go get let me put the plate away and i'll be right back So now we're going to head on back to Prontera. I'm going to go ahead and buy some more uh, white syrups. And I just want to stay on to level 91 at Heartbeats. And maybe, just maybe, at level 92, we'll probably move off to another map, so... Just to make sure no one's buying yellow herbs. So we made 287,000 zenny. We're gonna use up 171,000 zenny. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and check if anyone is buying uh, yellow herbs because why not check? Mm. Worth a shot. So I don't think anyone buys them these days, so it's whatever. And here we go once again. Back to the grind. Back to the farm. Back to what we signed up for. One second real quick, please.
All right, all good. Give me one second real quick once again. My apologies.
right, I have returned. So yeah, I mean, to be fair, I mean, yeah, the costume may not be the prettiest of them all. But it's really good EXP though. This is one of those, uh, you know, situations where the fashion is worth the, uh, you know, the benefits. But Kevmon, let's face it, how will people know it's the 20th anniversary if they don't see the 20th anniversary hats? The world must have the world must know it's the 20th anniversary. Oh, level 200. All the way to level 200. Cats make bunny army. What do you mean bunny army? here just make dragon birth reunites i mean the level of fast
people will be like, yeah, I just make this class. What? It heals all the way up here? Are you kidding me? Nah. I gotta, I gotta verify this. Okay, let's get a monster here. Let's get a heartbeat. Okay, here's a heartbeat. Wow, it can heal all the way up here. That's incredible. Good on you, geographer. Good on you. Good on you. Good job. Looks like loot not picked up. Wow, how would they not pick up the loot? You're good. I'm not going to say that the class exceeded my expectations. I had an idea that it was capable of this, but the thing that really impressed me the most was just the uh, healing with the syrup. That is the part that I'm just very impressed by. Here, grab this over here and look at that fully healed 8,000 HP or so. It has to be more than 8,000. It has to be. There's no way it's not that much. Nah. It's just really that good. Seven hours in, about level 90. Yeah, I mean, makes sense. This is pretty crazy, I tell you. Pretty crazy.
put Monday morning Cali out. Let's see. All right, Harpy complete. Let's turn this in. Sorry, 2.37 p.m. over here on the East Coast, December then, broadcasting live. The Booster Series finale, kept December, the alchemy within, or some, something like that, you know? Wow, okay, that's pretty good. RP. Mm, I'm tempted to run um, Magma Dungeon, but I know it's not going to be sufficient. I have a feeling it's not going to suffice. So it's seven hours. We're level 90. We could have done in uh, 60. Oh, I know, right? I, it's, I, I don't know if I allowed that turn before. Or what it is, but I mean, it's, I don't even know why it doesn't. Oh yeah, filter, ki filter kiss because sex based, but then, you know. Oh, it's like, oh, it's a name. Okay, that's cool. The most inspired man. Yeah, sure. Okay, cool. Passes the filter. If I had, yeah, but okay. But we're already asking for too much. I remember doing this before with maybe just a fire armor. I'm almost sure the fire armor is sufficient for this. I'm almost sure. Let's go get a fire resist potion. I almost feel like we can probably do it. The other thing that would give me confidence is the dragon um, enchanted, dragon damage boosted enchanted um, weapon here because we got earth deleter and sky deleter and ground deleter. So I feel like I would do a lot more. Yeah, see, the thing is, we get so much healing with the potions. It's incredible. It's a little too much healing. It makes me think we really can. But how much more Zen am I going to need? Cost him headgear. Cost him headgear. Probably about five or something. Yeah, about five. I love the shop because they always keep the price at, you know, 10,000. Thirty K. Oh my God. Just because I, just because I really need it. Uh, I don't want to pay the price for this, but I need it. Unless someone in Alberta is selling for cheaper, then that'd be kind of cool. Right? Maybe. Oh, no, they don't have it. Okay, cool. It hurts me to do so. But I have to pay the 30 dozen for that fireproof potion. It hurts me. Don't, don't think it doesn't hurt me. Paramarket. Don't people like buy all that stuff out on the first day?
Huh, bottle grenades and acid grenades. Acid bottles. I mean, the idea is interesting though. Don't get me wrong. Oh, they saw Star come here and Stardust. Oh. Yo tengo que jugar y cada vez me da más ganas de jugar el original, pero a veces me preocupa el hecho que llega un punto que consigues que es cash. Sí, mira, hay mucha, ¿cómo se dice? Hay muchas opiniones sobre eso. Te voy a decir la, la base de lo que, a lo que yo me baso todo lo que hago. Jugando a todos los personajes, te digo, no, ninguna clase, las clases no son creadas iguales, no tienen la misma habilidad que todos. Todos tienen sus ventajas y sus desventajas de lo que pueden hacer. Yellow Team Cross y Genesis son las dos clases que yo subí de nivel a 200 sin cash up. Pude completar instancias sin cash up. Muchas clases pueden. Sí se pone un poquito difícil en el nivel 150, pero hay diferentes opciones para lo que puedes hacer si quieres subir de nivel. A la misma vez... Hay que considerar que es un juego y lo juegas por diversión, no porque es un deporte. Sí, bueno, no es competencia, pues. Deporte, competencia. La asociación entre las dos. Juegas porque, pues, vas a jugar y, pues, va a tomar un poquito de tiempo. Pero averiguando y resolviendo problemas es algo de poco divertido. Bueno, no poco. Es divertido hacer eso. Porque hay muchas cosas que aprenden del juego. Ya sé que uno, uno, viene, uno viene a jugar, no viene a estudiar Ragnarok Online. Pero a la misma vez, considerando el hecho que, pues, he podido yo resolver varios problemas que la gente tiene, aunque tome tiempo, todos los problemas se pueden resolver. La única cosa es que, pues, toma mucho tiempo y tener que saber el juego pues, para averiguar los problemas. Y por eso yo estoy dando el servicio, no el servicio de que cobro, no, no, todo es gratis, obviamente. Pero por eso yo ofrezco mi ayuda para el quien quiera subir nivel o tenga algún problema, le puedo dar consejo de qué puede hacer con su personaje, ya que yo conozco el juego de, pues, de muchas maneras y me ha averiguado diferentes problemas para diferentes clases. Entonces, para mí no es ninguna dificultad subir nivel, no más que toma tiempo. Por ejemplo, llevo 7 horas y tengo el Alchemist nivel 90. Por, por el evento boost, no tengo que hacer los job changes, entonces con eso me aseguro que voy un poquito más rápido, pero igual, aunque hagas el job change o no, tienes que saber cómo se hace todo lo demás, ¿no? Y pues uno aprende y conoce más el juego y se divierte más y tengo una, tengo una perspectiva nueva del juego. Esa es mi, mi, mi opinión. A la misma vez, sí es cierto que a cierto punto vas a tener que ocupar más daño. Pero las clases que yo mencioné, Guillotine Cross y Genesis, son clases que pueden hacer dos cosas. Pueden hacer daño muy alto o pueden reducir el daño que toman de los monstruos y bajarlo a uno. Genesis con Painkiller de Sarah, el Homoclus S, ella te puede reducir el daño por entre 1000 puntos de daño a 2333 puntos de daño. Dependiendo en el nivel base del Homon Clus y el nivel de la habilidad. Entonces, si tomas un daño de todos los monstruos, no ocupas tener 1000 HP de daño. No tienes que hacer 100 millones de daño para hacer, pues, para matar monstruos aquí. Nomás tienes que, pues, sobrevivirle. 150,000 for a resist potion? No way, man. No way. Mm -mm. Anyways, a lo que decía, entonces en el nivel 150 vas a llegar, te vas a topar con una gear check, como le dirían. Vas a tener que necesitar más daño, más armaduras para hacer más daño y todo eso. Pero todas las clases tienen cierta solución, pero no todas las clases son iguales. Entonces, por supuesto que Let's Incredible va a hacer más daño, uh, otras clases van a tener ventajas. 
let's try this let's try this out real quick let's pop a hp increase potion we now have 11,000 hp and let's do a fireproof potion there's no wall here there's a wall right here but i'm kind of worried about hitting it that's not enough mm -mm, not a good spot kind of a good spot okay So that much SP for this. Worth it? Gotta make a larger mob. Gotta let him up. Somewhat viable. But the thing is, we are level 90. Nightmare Terror is level 107. It provides 2,442 EXP. We should be getting 40% of that. We should get 977 EXP, maybe 1,800 with the EXP boost. So we could do better on that end. Sky Dealer, Earth Dealer, Diabolic, Gig, and Blazer are level 105, 104, 101, 100. Nightmare Terror is just the one that you want to kill the most of. So we're going to come back once we're level 92, but it doesn't seem like it's such a bad spot. The only thing we're going to watch out for is to not run out of SP, which we have our blue potions for. And kill sustainable mobs. So let's try this one more time. Okay, I screwed that one up because I hit the potion soon enough, but it seems like it's doable. It really seems doable in there. So. We're going to go back in there once we heal up and we're level 92. At least we're going to get full EXP from the Nightmare Terror because we kind of want the EXP from the Nightmare Terror though. So if you spam potions, oh, you'll definitely survive. Definitely. Absolutely. ¿Qué piensas, Calistox, de lo que te expliqué? ¿Cómo lo ves? Oh, crap, I'm out of, uh... Oh, well, I need to go back and <laughs> grab more green potions. Whoops. So, Vividor, I'm actually shocked I can kind of manage this. a pretty good deal it will cost a lot of potions but the potions are 1000 zenny each if we go farm if we go farm um what is that thing called the hair it's a potion research that's what it was i thought it was weird i was filling up my entire hp pool with that but it's actually
yeah no this is actually i think this is sustainable if you had a fire armor i think it's just even better Yeah, doesn't matter what your weapon property is, you're still gonna be doing neutral damage. It's pseudo neutral. It's gonna miss on ghost, but uh, you know, you can't endow your weapon and deal more damage. Yeah, I'm actually considering going with the Lucius and plus seven crimson weapon as a choice because Heart Revolution, it's, it's the cheapest thing to get you the next upgrade to the next point, but it does kind of break the rule of the uh, booster streams, though. That's the thing. However, it's come to my attention that a lot of people have needed to use extra stuff, and I do think Alchemist not having anything other than increased uh, HP and increased HP, increasing effectiveness on uh, healing potions, I think the only thing it has could use the help on that particular end, but it does make a huge difference to be able to level up at Magma Dungeon. Magma Dungeon. Magma Dungeon for the entirety of the series has been a place reserved for the top three, the ghosts, the greatest of all times, the kings of RO, Sniper, Skeleton Cross, well, sorry, uh, Assassin Cross, and last but not least, the king of PBM, Olin Bash Knight. But, you know, but if Alchemist can do it because of the healing efficiency on potions, out healing the damage that it takes, that's actually insane. Yeah, I mean, of course, a uh, a blacksmith or a master smith could also do it with the um, armor and potions. I don't doubt it. I'm always bothered by you running around with a shield. Uh, the shield. Okay, so if you look at the defense scaling. And you do how see how defense scales you're gonna see that adding i don't know how much damage am i gonna be adding i mean how much defense am i gonna be adding with a shield maybe 40 to 60 defense at most you would have to do the calculation to see the entirety of the uh damage times defense whatever you have but if you just look at the amount and percentages that it reduces it's, you have diminished your returns on defense it's not gonna be like oh look uh, you get 40 defense you get this much reduction Nah, because when you, have, when you have 80 defense, you know, you have, um, let me see, 80, 40, you have approximately 13 reduction, 13 reduction to maybe, uh, sorry, 4 reduction to maybe 8 reduction, probably. Um, let me just make sure I get this right. Oh, let's see. Uh, the shields also, by default, reduce the amount of attack speed you have. So you lose three or four attack speed depending on the character sometimes you lose even more attack speed uh on shield alone if you actually had it yeah there we go that now that's the difference if you actually had the minus 30 percent damage cards you would be able to make a difference card can't card cannon card revolution is attack speed based If I'm going to lower the amount of cart revolutions I do by maybe one the entire time, I better reduce the amount of damage I take by 30%. At least that's my logic. I may have it wrong. I could get it wrong and it's fine to get it wrong, but I just like having more attack speed overall. Because then it goes into the point of like, hey, I need to farm this because you, you got it. So I need to have it because that's how it works, right? Nah, it's like, hey, I, you, I don't have it, but if you get it, more power to you. Can I just grab the loot instead of spending on my uh, potions on this? Cool. Nice. Maybe the loot was not worth the uh, syrups. Tough.
Hi, right, what you using Eden Mace? More damage when axe. Good question, and I'll tell you why. <sighs> yeah, I knew I knew people were gonna comment on the 32 hours. It's actually meant to be uh, written like that. Because the class that took the longest was Scholar, and I was looking at Alchemist. We only have Cart Revolution. There's just no way we're going to level up so fast with Cart Revolution. The answer to that is here in this. And also, um, it gives you 30 damage. It's a mastery. It's not a... Attack. It's damage, not attack. So size penalty wise so to answer nairis 82 question axe has a 100 damage to large 75 percent to medium and 50 percent damage to to a small with an axe maze deals 100 damage to large and medium and 75 percent damage to small if i was to use the eating group axe i think i have the you, you can you can choose the axe right as the merchant you can right i just want to be sure i i feel like i forgot this one um merchant 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 alchemist yeah you can get the axe even if you get the axe one ninety five versus the mace It's 172 versus 195, but you also get uh, the attack speed reduction if you look at the class data for Alchemist. Oh, my goodness. Two-handed axe is minus 12 attack speed. We don't have Adrenaline Rush. Is it one-handed or two-handed as well? That's the other question. Hold on a second. Am I overlooking something here? Is when I did handed? Yeah, it's a two-handed axe, so we lose a lot more attack speed. We get 20 more attack, which 25% of that's penalized versus medium-sized monsters, and we have lower attack speed. If we were blacksmith, we would get the axe because we have more attack speed. And the damage modifier is better than that of the axe. Blacksmith has a... Uh, what is it calling it? Weapon perfection. So they get all the damage back and they're faster with axes. We don't have adrenaline rush. We don't have weapon perfection. So we lose damage and we lose attack speed by using a two-handed axe. We've been an axe for that matter. So that's why. Cool. This is for alchemist only. Blacksmith gets the axe because they get more damage with that. So you can also wear a shield if you use the maze, but you need to have a shield with the with the minus thirty percent damage cards. I'm using cart rev on the monsters actually. It's very interesting when you you know think about the game and how people different people see the game differently. And then my explanation is just you know game mechanic oriented, which do make sense. It probably doesn't make a huge difference in the grand scheme of things, but it's just the way I I play the game and understand the game, so I go with those options, right? And for the most part, they tend to be right. For example, if we were to level up a homunculus. Ivani mirrors, for example, the jelly bean. How long would it take for us to level it up to have it do something as effective as cart revolution? Right? How long would it take for it to be effective in what we're trying to accomplish? No, not 30 minutes. Bruce Wick leveled up a uh, venue mute yesterday, I think, to for 30 minutes. And it's not going to have enough hits to actually do anything. And you're telling me that the venue mute alone is going to do enough damage to get me the same XP as these four harpies that I'm about to kill. 
anywhere. In fact, we probably don't even have to auto attack with this character. In fact, it seems that we may be capable of running Magma Dungeon. And if I was to get a Hamonkles, I would actually get an Amistir to give me the extra defense and the vitality on that. That would actually make a lot more sense. Depends where you level it. Let me guess. Illusion of Frozen at level 50. Because <laughs> that is the dungeon you can enter, actually. You can actually enter that way before the uh, required level. Okay, and what is it going to accomplish for me? One thing that would be worth it would be the Amateur Bulwark. That is the only skill for any homunculus I can see that would be worth getting. 30 vitality for what? For uh, 20 seconds while I'm mobbing? Yeah, of course I'll take that. That's too much monsters. That's too much monsters. Too much, too much. I healed up 7,836 HP with one single potion. That is insane. Why? Why am I making you feel bad now? What did I do? Heal potential on what? Yeah, potion, potion, uh, learning potion, potion research. Gives you all that much more effectiveness. 50% more effectiveness. Oh, F what? That's good. We can actually do Magma Dungeon with this. Oh, I see now. I get it now. I know what that is. I get it. That is a, um, that's macro. That's macro. I think it has to be because they use coin flip, but you didn't use coin flip to increase the damage you kill with Desperado already. So is it, could it be maybe perhaps I'm not sure, but I see that in magma dungeon. When I see the mechanics leveling well, the mechanics using greed, they use weapon perfection and they use action NATO and then they use greed. Just my theory. I'm, I'm thinking it could it be right. I mean, speaking mechanically, I'm not pointing fingers. I'm not saying that you're, I'm just saying it just seems like that kind of thing, right? Because they don't pick up the loot.
But they're not using greed though. That's the thing. Oh, well, in uh, in Magma Dungeon they do. Wow. Potions don't stack. I just died. They didn't have any Berserk potions on me. Wow, they're still fighting to this day? Goodness. Peace was never an option. Oh, goodness. That's a lot of work. All right, let's go back to this quest in. We're seeing to be a little bit off before level 92. But we can at least go back to Prontera, buy some more potions and see where it goes. We also have the option, by the way. We also have the option of just sticking to the um, Heartbeast. Because Heartbeast seems to be decent EXP, what it's worth. Uh, we do make our some of us any back as well. All right, cool. So we have 348,000 Zenny. We can go ahead and buy more syrups. I'm gonna go back to Magma Dungeon at level 92 and we'll see where that takes us.
Sounds good. Sounds good. What am I doing? I'm supposed to go to the center. So yeah, so I think this is uh, the ideal situation in which you can level up at heart piece further in than you think. Man, what is that wording on the wiki? The player gets 90% of base job experience in the monster. The monster with a hammock is a 10% base job experience in the monster. Uh, hmm. It's just base EXP now. I thought it just stopped taking away the job EXP from them. Wait, it doesn't change the EXP that you get? Eh, tiene un... Es que no sé qué pasa. A mucha gente le sucede eso donde se hace blanca la pantalla. Y nomás pones slash light map y se quita, pero se mira un poquito diferente a los otros mapas porque le quitas el efecto de luz. Oh, so if I get 1000 EXP, the homunculus gets 100 of that, or I get 900 and they get 100. So I get 1,000 and they get 100. Oh, I thought it made the leveling slower. I actually was under that impression as well. Oh. Right, let's go back to town. Maybe I can get this mob. If I get silenced, I'm just put a flat wing out. All right, that's good enough for me. Go back. Let's get more green potions. Let's finish up our level, level 92, and then let's go take a visit at Magma Dungeon once again.
I'm almost starting to think that maybe I should get the fire armor. Maybe it's okay to get it for this character. Maybe, just maybe. Not sure. Considering it, thinking about it, just maybe. But then at the same time, if I do that, why did I not, did I not get the spiritual ring for the priest? Ah, Sunbearer. Good question. You don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I really do think that the um, fire armor would actually make that much of a difference. Oh, look, there it is again. Interesting. Well, I mean, I would be breaking the rule of, uh, you know, using extra equipment because technically, technically you can level up at that place, but it would be a good showcase to have on the, uh, you know, documented because, you know, because then it just opens up the possibility of, hey, you know, you can actually buy something that's worth, uh, you know, it's worth it because that much increases the damage you, uh, the damage reduces the damage you take and it actually makes magma dungeon viable at the cost of potions, of course. Yeah. Perhaps we'll see when I get there. Not entirely, because there have been instances where we do make Zenny to buy potions, and we've shown how to make the Zenny to buy the mercenary stuff as well. So, if it actually opens up the doors to doing more stuff, it might be worth it. Additionally, people have been uh, saying that they had issues with Zenny making early on, so that would actually be uh, very helpful to solve that problem as well, or at least go a little bit more in depth on that. It always comes down to what are people buying, though. It's early game Zenny. It's not really that super big Zenny, you know, to make you super duper rich. So, you know, I feel as though, you know, actual money, you know, like Zenny stream would be more on the uh, lines of, hey, I'm going to farm up a card and sell it, get 100 million Zenny and buy this. You know, that would be more along the lines of uh, not no money. One million zenny is not all that much zenny for for leveling. I don't know. Zenny streams are just kind of. Not that they don't sit well with me. It's just like what am I doing? I'm just farming zenny. I just kind of. We know that the, um, you know, the large zennies from RNG related stuff is not really consistent stuff you can just pick up. Unless it's Gramps and it's really good, you have a character dedicated to looting Gramps, then yeah, it's a whole different story. But in general, from most of the games, uh, you know, zenny making, RNG is what, you know, makes you rich. I would argue that the merchant should be excluded from the no gear we cannot enter your first class for the signed game. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's what I was thinking along the lines of. If you exclude them, then the people that play them would be chasing making Zenny. 
if I do anything farming Zenny related, people would think that you need items to farm Zenny. Why do you think all the characters were leveled up with NPC gear or eating group equipment gear? And the booster gear. I mean, the the, me the metal equipment is just really the high adventure suit. The metal weapon is just 25 more attack. It's really not that huge difference. The one shot on two shot is a uh, larger of a difference. What did you not notice? What happened? Oh, that, yeah, the EXP tap. For some reason, I thought the EXP tap was done away with too. Okay, that's interesting. I said teleport. No. Whatever. All right. I'll experiment with it once I'm level 92. I think that 92 is a sweet spot for actually doing, uh, getting the most EXP out of Magma Dungeon. Can we have some sunburst IRL random tip in, in channel points and sunburst facts are over? We they're not over. I mean they may be over for you because you redeem all of them, but uh now it's cause it's cause Zeris redeemed everything already, so he wants more. Here, let, let me save you the uh the tips here. Let me save you the tips here. I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you the uh, the entirety of all the tips I'm gonna give out. Here you go, Zeris. Just for you. One day we'll get the bears. Not yet, I haven't decided. You lacked critical information, what happened? Hold on, hold on. Um Vividort's doing something. Vividort is cooking, as the kids would say these days. Vividort, what you find? What's going on? Oh, it indeed affects. So you actually take le you actually get less EXP from monsters because of the homunculus.
All right, so full disclosure for the next part of the stream. So we are going to be doing some testing because Alchemist is a very interesting class now that we have the potion research, you know, giving us more effectiveness with healing. We're going to go ahead and try to use a Lucius Flame Shield. I mean, Flame Shield. Uh, Lucius Flame, I mean, Lucius Armor of Volcano. Is that what it's called? At the Magma Dungeon level two. And we will see if that's actually good enough to keep us alive along with our potions. Because if that's the case, that's a game changer. That could be a recommended equipment that I'm going to be putting on the guide that you can actually grab and make do with. So. Oh, uh, hmm. All right. Well, Zeris is now giving me the, telling me the rules now. So it's not easy to acquire. Jeez. Okay. Well, that's rough. Isn't that like 100k in the market in one minute at most? I mean, if people are going to go out of the way to get equipment, even if I, you know, show that you can do without equipment. I actually, wait, I actually would have recommended equipment in the shortened version. That, you did not finish that with a question mark, but you finished with a period. But Sonic card would be different. I mean, in my personal opinion, I think Pasana is more difficult than Fire Armor. I'm going to do some testing here. I'm going to try it out and see how it works. Whoa, plus seven. How do you even get plus seven? It's not even slotted. Why would you plus seven it? Serious question. Isn't it like the very, very minimal difference? All right, let's find a nice little spot. All right, this is it. Bring it up. Move it to the side. 800 damage. Wow. You still be spamming quite a bit, though, to be honest with you. Here's the other factor that we're not considering. Just a huge FYI. How much EXP did I gain in this uh, particular section? I don't think I gained enough EXP to warrant be spamming that much. I will survive. But the problem is that the Nightmare Terrors have too much HP. I'm abusing at least 12 Heart Revolutions per uh, Nightmare Terror. All the other monsters that I need to kill die beforehand. And... Yeah, I'm thinking that the best focus would be on the Dragons, not on the Nightmare Terrors. The problem then becomes you're not going to be getting any loot, but you will be getting the EXP from this. Still, do people have that readily available? No, people don't have that readily available, but it's a very, very low drop rate. People just sell it for the most part, very cheap, but it does have utility for Magma Dungeon at the very least. And let's just say, for example, someone comes by and they ask for a fire armor. I'm pretty sure somebody will have one to give away. For now, we're going to just continue testing on it just to see how it work out for us. Because if this kind of works, you can actually just focus on the dragons like Vividor just said. Zeres, you thought that... I mean, I'm not saying in a bad way, but you also thought that uh, Homunculus would help me with uh, killing monsters the, way, the same way I kill Heartbeast. I think we have different perspectives on, on, what we're, on the outlook of what no not the outlook what is it let me let me think about this real quick we have different ideas of what we think may or may not work and we also have different ideas on what is accessible and what is not accessible which is fair i mean because i mean i remember when you told me about gunslinger and i tried it out and it didn't work out for me but it was very close to actually working and I argued that it might need a little bit more um, gear to actually work. 
and it kind of actually does need just a little bit more gear like a plus seven um crimson pistol right okay jelly would have a glass time but we're we're way beyond glass time we make more exp from heartbeats cart revel than we do from um evil druids and race i keep thinking dark race and evil uh priest No, I know, I know. But I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the usage of the homunculus itself and what I'm doing now compared to you know, what we were talking about earlier. All right, so at this point, we're going to forego our loot. If we find a... Actually, for us, if actually for EXP for this place, not bad. Wow. All right, I'm done with this. The moment the ponies show up, I can leave. It's the regular attacks, right? That's what I'm thinking as well. Let me switch back. I actually think it might be viable. The only problem is you're going to be spending a lot of uh, SP to get a kill, though. Sometimes the mob is too large. You can't mob one of four or six monsters at a time. Dude, for example, right here, I'm already getting pushed back out. And there's already too many monsters here. There's already too many monsters here. I think... This spot is very, very inconsistent for the character itself. It's very inconsistent. You would probably need a shield. You would probably need the armor. And maybe a plus seven crimson weapon to do a little bit more damage. Or if you get the dragon enchant, probably, but you still need the shield, though. I think the shield would make a huge difference. So I think that's going to go into the recommended thing. So anyways, Ryan, thank you so much for the uh, Lucius armor. I'm going to send it back. As we can see, it's been sent back. Thank you very much. I think you need more reductions. I think the overall reductions of a Kalisberg carded stone buckler, or just regular shield, with a fire armor and maybe a uh, heartbeat carded uh, garment. Or even the inner grip mantel may, uh, may work. So the class still falls short on that particular end. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's normal, that's natural, that's understandable. So, you know, 22% EXP from doing that is actually pretty good. So I think uh, I would like to see this with it. No, not right now, right? But I would like to see this with a Kalisberg carded shield and a fire armor to just reduce the overall damage further than, than that, right? So now we're talking about the uh, difference between what we think. So Zeris, even if the fire armor is easy to access or not, the point of it was to see how much of a difference would it make. Because Alchemist is healing so much more with white syrups than anyone else. Second of all, 
this magma dungeon is gonna be fire damage element but we also know there's different damage from nightmare terror we know there's the shadow element there's the fire element there's the dragons and there's the auto attacks so i know that fire armor was not going to be enough that's a fact we, we know that for sure that's going to be a uh, that's established because there's too much damage going on in there so even with the fire armor we saw that it was still lack so it's not just the armor but how how much more effective does it become to have just the armor now we realize after seeing the damage that we take and everything else we need far more than just that you cannot survive there easily exactly so that means you actually need a bit more which may or may not be more expensive unless you can fast enough exactly you might also need a bit more damage maybe a crimson plus seven weapon i don't know if that's even better than the uh than the mace for cart revolution actually if i may does anyone have a plus seven um crimson mace available just for cart revolution any elements any element works neutral preferably so i can just auto attack and see how much the difference is uh i would like it to be a maze because if you use a maze you get the uh size penalties the attack speed and you can also use a shield No, 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 no. It just give me the uh, the crimson maze. It w it will survive with this. I mean, okay, yeah, we can test it. Why not? But I still want to see the damage on the crimson maze, though. That's that's the thing. I think that's one of the most important factors, because survivability is one thing, but then the damage. I want to see the difference in the damage, though. You just have to have a reasonable amount of attack, right? Very nice. We'll check it out right now. Let me heal up. We're going to conduct some further testing. And we'll see if that's actually what cuts it to actually get us into the um, the next tier of leveling, which would be, you know, Magma Dungeon. Oh, man, this is, uh, this is pretty tough. pretty in-depth stuff right here okay cool plus seven so we're testing with this by the way i'm not using it for leveling entirely i'm just testing the outcome of the damage with this very nice hey hey wait wait wait, wait. for your rebirth for your rebirth for your rebirth don't forget to buy the mercenaries If you get the sixth great spear mercenary from Prontera top left, you can use that when you rebirth. You can destroy ant eggs all the way to level 33. And then you can go to sunken ship and have the mercenary kill stuff where you teleport. Let it auto brandish spear, teleport, auto brandish spear. We have the AI in the uh, summer discord. So I approximately 1152 oh wow 1047 oh my goodness me what 1120 1013 uh huh It's almost the same attack. 1080, 1100, 1137, 1125. Wow. So the only way it's actually going to be better is if the element I'm using another skill. That is the only way, way I can see this be any better. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, okay, okay. That's um that's very fascinating. So yeah, uh did you get that crumb just uh out of curiosity? Oh, there's there's no percent damage increase. We have no percent damage increase. Yeah, plus 15. Yeah, plus 15 is going to do work though. Here we go. All right, so let's compare the damage that we receive. I was there's going to be a conflict of interest if I get a uh, berserk potion from one of y'all, but I can get my own potions here. Q, I'm sob. All right, so let's see 337 315 156 156 372 to 77 and 141 204 140 147 so we lose three attack speed and we reduce about 200 plus damage or so okay okay that's kind of cool Five hundred, seven thirty-five, two thousand damage, five hundred, eight hundred, six hundred, nine hundred, eight hundred, one thousand, two hundred, seven hundred, three hundred, three hundred, three hundred, seven, six, eight, seven, six, eight, seven, six, eight or so. Four hundred, five hundred, you reduce about two hundred damage for each hit. Okay. That's too much damage from a lot of sources. I mean, right, you're only reducing damage in the blazers and the diabolics on the nightmare terrors. 400, 500, 600, 500, 600. 800, 700, 800. So you reduce about maybe how much of five hundred? You reduce a good amount of damage from them, just like that. Eleven thirty-one. Ten twenty-three. Yeah. So the eating group mace wins versus a plus seven mace. At the very least now in terms of survivability and actually making it to this map we're testing by the way just so you guys know we're testing with this you can survive but you need to be in a very good spot to actually make the mobs not just uh you know you have to hit them against the wall So while you can survive, you're going to be faced with a different kind of problem. SP management. So if you make smarter mobs, it may be more viable. It may be more feasible for you to do this, but with a large mob, you're going to spam potions. You will survive long enough to start killing them off bit by bit. 
but you're going to be spending a lot of zenny on potions so this kind of goes back to the same thing if you have the decent gear to actually manage certain things uh you're gonna manage but it's gonna come at a cost oh no no let's do one last one here So when you look at that, you actually survive a lot better with the minus 30% damage shield because you take a lot of damage from the Nightmare Terrors. You take less damage from the fire and also the Blazers being demon, you take less damage from the fire attacks. You take less fire damage from the Grand Deleters and the Sky Petites, if I'm not, uh, or Sky Deleters, I think. So yeah, the eating group, the eating group maze beats the Crimson Maze, but that's kind of understandable. and yeah i don't know i think that even with the equipment you're still gonna be spending a lot of zinian potions which is still kind of the same outcome it'll be very expensive will it be faster yes it'll just be way more expensive not because of the gear itself but because of the usage of so many potions and they're not yeah there's not that many weapons either so All right, Reinhardt, thank you so much for the testing. Really, really appreciate it. I hope you guys learned something new from this. I did. I sure did. It's actually very interesting. Thank you so much, Ryan. And that concludes the testing on that particular thing, so... So what happens here? What are your options? What would become better options for you uh, short term, long term? That's a very good question. And I'll be very happy to answer that very shortly after this quick break because um, I drink a lot of water. So. <laughs> All right, I'm going to run the ad real quick. I'm going to go to the restroom. I'll be back with some wa more water. And yeah, so thank you and BRB.
All right, let's see. So we learned a very valuable lesson today, right? All right, so, uh, so Zeris, what were you testing again? Also, I lost a lot of Zenny going to Magma Dungeon. I don't think I have anything to show for it either, so. Well, no, no, I mean, you have to spend the money for the potions. That's what I'm getting at. You need potions to heal up to cart revo as you're mobbing. Oh, the gear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a lesson to be learned. Yes, yes, absolutely. How much, how much Zenny do you need? How much gear do you need to actually make the difference? That is the thing that we're aiming for. And that is the thing that we got. Oh, pretty nice, right? So if all the homunculus have the same exp can we just like level homunculus and get the exp table ourselves that i do believe that i do believe that would actually make a difference So for now, we have the option of Heartbeast to continue getting potions and uh, killing and getting EXP out of that. It's a very steep cost. Let's go back to Heartbeast and let's keep it up. All right, so the metal maze now has 210 attack versus the Eden group maze 197 attack. Let's go see what difference it makes to us, if any. 86% weight. I got to drop off those yellow herbs. It's not going to help me a lot here. They're not helping me. Mm -mm, mm -mm. But then also using a cart revolution against dark priest may also be good EXP. I think the only other place that I thought about was Ground Petite, but looking back on it, I think Ground Petite is really more of a grind than anything. Because you get 1117 XP, it's level 86. Rowene would actually be the better option, I think. 1600 EXP is level 95, so the difference won't be there right away. You can always hit them 100% of the time. However, they do hit pretty hard, but they have 588 to 623 attack, while the Petites have 321 to 387 attack, approximately 500 EXP less, meaning two will be worth three ground petite. Two rare wins is three ground petites, basically. Yeah, but nobody buys the tab, nobody makes the tablets these days or buys the material to make the tablet, so. So yeah, I'm starting to wonder if actually let me look at Harpy as well. Harpy is a level 83 mod with 1201 base EXP. The win is 95 with 1600 base EXP and the teeth round is 1117 level 86. 
There's a higher mob density for harpies. However, there's bounty boards for the other monsters uh, mentioned. Not harpy anymore, but Rowena and Grand Petite, so. At the same time, one can argue that I should be doing the eating group leveling quest, which is a very, very fair assessment. Oh yeah, that's right. Let's do it. Remove the silence. Oops. Remove, remove the silence. Yep, 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 yep. All right, there you go. Have it. Good. deal with the goats great the two goats yeah i'm starting to believe that um grand petite may also be the viable monster for us maybe Since we don't have to deal with too much uh, of the other stuff, we still make some Zenny off of that monster. And it still makes sense to level up there. We, still, we get 0.2% EXP from Heartbeats now as well. I'm not sure if that's exactly a very, uh, you know, fair assessment to make that it would be great. Unless you get a range attack to death. There's also that. Yes, correct. You have to spam potions to kill these monsters too, so. Hmm. You don't have enough loyalty. What do you mean? Oh, wait, wait, wait. What loyalty for what? Loyalty for what? No, 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 no. You get the sixth grade mercenary. You get the sixth grade mercenary. I posted it earlier. I copy the time, the timestamp of where I actually go pick up the thing. I'm actually going up to the uh, mercenary. Yeah. God, right? I still think that Alchemist with Cart Revolution is just good as it is, and it doesn't really need uh, the Vanimir or any homunculus for that matter. Right, but you know.
Yeah, me either. I, I think I made it seem like it was gonna be worse because of the uh, the fact that we only have cart revolution, nothing else. Yeah, you know, screw it. I'm gonna go try the uh, ground petites. I think it might be worth it. Bounty board, turn it in, get the EXP. Crimson weapons. Car Rebel, yeah, Car Rebel gets the work done. It's just very, um, so the deal here is Cart Revolution plus Potion Research, Learning Potion, Potion Efficiency Increased, the high vitality for the build. It works, it's efficient. My problem is, I want more EXP. I don't know if I saved here, but if I didn't, that's fine. It's not very bowling bash. Exactly. It's not bowling bash. Cart Rev was no bowling bash, baby. But let me tell you, get the job done. They die rather fast, actually. This might be worth it. Maybe. I don't know. Still kind of too early to tell. It will be slower though, because they, you do get less EXP than Dark Priest. Dark Priest is what? Twice the EXP than this? Slow moving mobs. Very high, you know damage at least the the harpies kind of keep you awake you know Point one. I feel as though the amount of uh, same amount of SP I use, I would have gotten more EXP at heartbeat. It's almost as though the like, mob density at Dark Priest is just perfect for what the map is. The mob density for Magma Dungeon is perfect for what it is. The mob density that ruins perfection. I really got like what four percent twenty percent like five percent from being here kind of doesn't cut it for me though that's the problem
but I had this other plan, but I'm not sure how profitable it might be. What if we actually just did all the bounty boards, stacked them together, and then saved them for level 98 to 99 with a battle manual? Or you just saved them for an, uh, you know, rebirth class and hope for the best. I've already got 8% EXP from being here, and I'm not sure that's really it. Two thousand five hundred twenty EXP. I mean, don't disconnect me, please. Don't disconnect me, please. Don't disconnect me, please. Oh my god. Okay. This is actually pretty, uh, concerning, actually. Okay, I don't feel very confident with that particular um, location. The map is too big. The mobs are too spread out. It's not really screaming convenience to me. It's not really feeling very... Yeah, this map is it. Like, you know, it doesn't give me confidence to say. Let's go give uh, Dark Priest a try. We got like what? 2400 something EXP, right? 2420 EXP from the. Uh... Oh, I forgot to remove the screen. We got 2400 something EXP, right? If I'm not mistaken. So let's go see how well we do now with uh, Dark Priest. Maybe we can make small mobs, use Cart Revo. We might get more EXP than we can. Put me on the rebirth price. Women rebirth price. Oh, you, oh, that's right. You need to pay for the rebirth. That's right. Well, farm glossy hair. People are paying five thousand zenny for glossy hair in Prontera. Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. Oh, wow, not Ryan. All right, so let's see how well we can survive against the mob here, which is actually uh, we're wasting a lot of the healing potions here. I just realized one thing. Dark trees have a two cell attack range. So they're actually a little bit further out from where I want to be wanted to be. I get 6,356 EXP and it's easier to find these monsters than it is to find the ground petite. So I got more EXP than I would get at Grand Petite. Alchemist as a class isn't bad.
but it will be a lot of work from level 91 to 99 and hopefully tomorrow within the six hours we can at least get to 99 if not oh yeah this is gonna be uh, a lot of work Missile attack range, and we gotta get closer. Honestly, Cart Revolution here is not a bad idea. It might be the place to be, actually. But, I mean, we already knew in the last, you know, since two hours ago, but still. We have to try, you know. push them against the wall this is what happens oh got a potion blue potion very nice Farming vendor trash, like NPC items. Bro, if you, if you want, if you want good Zenny, like really fast Zenny, go check the shopping board. Check if someone is buying glossy hair and teleport to a Matsu dungeon. And that place, you're going to get a good amount of Zenny for that. 5k each. get to this map here but I don't have to waste my SP the two side attack range on this monster is actually very very annoying all right so you bring the mob over and just teleport away okay No, no, bro. You and your like 40k, 
Yeah, you're gonna need to kill 300 zenny each. 10, 30. Yeah, maybe. Wait a second. You need to get 133 orcs to get the 40k. You can also just kill the um, five uh, Miyabi dolls and get the 40,000 uh, zenny. But the people pay 300 zenny for each one of those. The two star attack range is so annoying. I can't with this, it's very annoying. We get 6,356 EXP from them, too, so. Sorry, Zers. we already did the math. It's not worth it. Oh, man. This is actually pretty... Uh... This is actually pretty fascinating. Um, IODB Wiki Rowin. IODB Wiki Dark Priest. <sighs> Let's see. Man, it's 800 more EXP. Oh, it's Reinhardt. Look at that. A lot of SP, though. I left my loot on the ground. I've escaped. I've escaped with my life, but not with my money. I leveled up the Sarah um, pre-fourth pa uh, patch. Maybe like in May or something, probably, or before then. I was level 115. And uh, I leveled up at Magma Dungeon level 2. I just card cannon there for like an hour or so, and then that. Iron ores, like, well, iron, you mean, right? Ironers aren't really used much other than skill quests like Cart Revolution if you actually need it. Just simple things like that unless it's a quest but you know there's not a whole lot of uh, item quests you need that for the eating group equipment uh blacksmith uses the iron ores and irons for the eating gear yeah but for level 80 plus you need to use iron plates for the enchants on the armors which quite frankly are not really all that worth yeah goodness i'm struggling with this one here
What hurts more is getting hit locked. Yeah, no, I, um... Six thousand EXP is not bad. The real issue is just, um, you know, the fact that we're not getting really. We have to deal with the two star attack range, and it's actually very annoying. Unless you have a nicely formed mob, then it's really not going to be all that great. But if you have a nice mob, then it becomes worthwhile. But it's only worthwhile for that moment where you have the mob. Wow, I could not move. The two-cell attack range is real. All right, so let's go to Rachel real quick. Let's go say hello to the ruins. Maybe the ruins will be nicer to us. Man, feeling the uh, feeling the pressure of the uh, you know, you don't have any zenny. Wow, you are broke. Water elements. All right, let's go to um, Rachel. Wow, twelve k for petit tail. Nice. Uh, let's see. You're not telling me we still need potions. Let's just teleport out of here and go buy some potions. I'm starting to feel the pressure of the limitations of the character. Pretty much, yeah. Let's go pick up the bounty board because I feel as though Ruin might be the place we're going to be leveling up at. The two style attack range is too much of a hassle.
I have this other idea as well, but I'm not sure. Oh yeah, it's not gonna work. You need to be in the same party as me, and and that quick is not gonna help me with the cart revolution. Well, let's see it. I hate to say this, but I think I have to do the Eden Group Equipment Quest level 90 plus for the Brute Enchant. I have this other theory of where I can go with this character, but... I'm not here for theory crafting though, but darn, I guess I have to. So here's the deal with this character. You guys ready for this? Ruins might be your spot to level up at. You're going to be getting a little bit less, a little bit more than half the EXP that you get from Dark Priest. But at least Dark Priest won't make your life difficult by having a two-star attack range by which you cannot reach it. Right? Right. So... The other problem with Ruins was well, a new problem. It's not really a problem. It's the fact that even if they follow you, sometimes they kind of just stand there gazing into the, in the, into the prairie, not doing anything whatsoever. And yeah, that could be a bit troublesome. If you get a good mob that follows you around right away, then yeah, you got it made. But even then, you have to go find a wall in the midst of all of these locations. The entire place, you have to find a wall to smack these monsters into. Which, let me tell you right now, it's not easy because the only walls are either rocks in the middle of the map somewhere. Like, for example, here. One cell attack me, so position yourself here. And well, they're gonna move out of the way that where you actually are at. So because the majority of the monsters are kind of on the inside as well. They are in some of the corners, but you'll eventually have the mobs in the center. So it's come to my attention that if the monsters don't have an enemy in the in the area, if they don't see an enemy or there's the, no presence of anyone, any player in the area, they don't exactly move from where they're at. They're kind of stuck in the same place. You may have noticed this whenever I do a mob of Dark Priest, you would always see the Dark Priest were always at the same spot as they were from when I teleported away and they had not moved since. The EXP is not bad, but it is a bit slow. So now here's my other theory. You guys ready for this one? There is a better map for you to level up at, but the problem is you're not going to be getting uh, a bounty board for it. Which may actually be a deterrent, but at the same time, it may be the speed at which you're killing these monsters. So it may be worth it. Maybe. Nah, even better than Stapo. This does not have a bounty board to it. It's worth a shot and may not be it. Very, very unlikely for it to be it. But we're going to be doing a little bit of testing because before I get dedicated to one particular grind, I just got to make sure that I at least try what I had in mind. 
We have less than 25,000 Zenny. Remove booking. Ice dungeon. Let's give it a try. God help me. Let me not die to these mob hungry wolves. You know, it's a beautiful day outside. What are we doing here playing Ragnarok online? You know, maybe it's just best we go outside, right? All right. So I guess we are kind of stuck with... <laughs> Kinda, not entirely. So. Here's a new theory. What if you were Grand Pecco? Nah, Grand Pecco has very little EXP. We're already way over the level for Grand Pecco. It has 887 EXP. It's level 75. We are currently level 93. And the EXP chart dictates if the monster is, you know, 20 levels below you. It's not 20, but it's 18. You only get 85% of the EXP yields. So 887 times two, will be, I mean, I don't know if it multiplies before or after, but long story short, it's 887. We're already gonna be getting only 85% of that EXP. So that may not be as feasible as you might think. kind of cool when you start adding the the game's rules and you put it into perspective it's like huh i guess it's not as, as cool as i thought it was i just such a life right <sighs> okay now my theory is i mob too many wolves wow somebody flicked it three thousand Oh, that's why it died because they hit 3,000 and 7,000 at the same time. I think they do fire attack. You open the whole pack, right? You know, you're right. I opened up a whole pack. How about we mob four to six at a time? Look, almost healed up the entire HP pool. 8,135 HP. What is this? ROTCG? What's TCG? Trading card game? Oh, you opened a whole pack. That's right. That's right. That's right. I get it now. All right. Let's make a smaller mob. Let's try it. Let's work with maybe the gold numbers rule, the golden rule, four to six. Is this safe? Let's try. A mob. Giant potions. Oh, I know what it is. I know what these guys do. I forgot about it. Oh my god. Find right there's a wolf. Let me tell you what it is. Let me give you a hint. It has to do with their elements. Fire attack, 20% chance. I see it. I see it. Make a hit with a fire attack. Watch. Yeah, there we go. They, they you actually need fire armor for this place. You get 5,000 EXP, which is very close to that of what you get from Dark Priest. You need fire arm, exactly.
actually these uh these skills cannot be blocked these are skills bio attributes attacks or cannot be uh gtb yeah there we go that's the fire attack i'm looking at yeah there you go You know who would handle this really well? That's right, it's your boy. It's your boy, Lord Knight, who would handle this very well. I mean, we could think he'll hang out inside the magma dungeon, though, but still. Missing up a lot of potions here. It's actually very, um, yeah. So no one is buying Cloud Desert Wolf, but they are selling it. All right, cool. I'm actually I'm actually kind of conflicted with this one because it's actually very difficult. You are tanky, you can survive fights. The problem is that when it comes to cart revolution, if the monster is set with a two cell attack range, mm, no way. If you don't have any walls to actually go and do the um push the monsters into the wall then yeah it's kind of difficult the ground pity is just very very little exp this one right now
all right i'm real i'm willing to listen to opinions or thoughts because um it's actually pretty difficult it really is difficult i think at this point i might do the eating group equipment quest for the brute enchants and maybe just use the brute enchants that were wins the other option we have is go to a uh, heart piece and just cart revel and spam The other option we have is we have no options. We're extremely limited by what the game offers us. And two cell attack range monsters are actually the bane of our existence. So One of the better options, I think, is really just raw EXP from Heartbeast, but at some point, that's going to fall off. No, not giving up on wolves is just really too much of the... Um too much expands and not enough exp i take too much damage i heal up too much and i don't really get any zenny back from them on the other hand if considering the drops from these guys the blood of wolf being a 0.05 percent chance it's not the greatest thing in the world i don't know if that's the accurate drop rate but it's actually pretty difficult of an option Let me see what the uh see, the problem here is i shouldn't even be thinking about doing anything different than from what i've already done in the past There's a place I think about, but not sure if it's really that well worth. The teddy bears. They're not hard to mob. It's high in 20, the Einbrock Field 3. But they curse. No, I mean, they don't go like at you. They just uh, have curse the status ailment. If you're mobbing your fleet goes down to zero basically and the attack speed maybe probably could do something with the attack speed perhaps you're right but hmm. let's just see what happens if i change up the stat real quick Well, if I have three or four mobs, it's not really the agility that's going to give me the flea. Oh, yeah. Uh, you're going to say get the... Hold on a second. Go to second floor eating group. Okay. Oh, the buckler because minus stats. And then it's going to give me the... Uh, zero lock so I don't get cursed from the uh, things, right? away yeah i mean it's um i don't know the map is also pretty far out for teddy bears 
Anyway, let's look at the stats real quick. Let's uh let's reevaluate our stats. Oh, you can't have a cart. Okay, well, gee. One seventy five attack speed, and we have eight thousand eight hundred and two. KE proc for free. What do you mean? But that's like, uh, that's an IR exclusive, though. Kind of. Like, they're kind of buffing for that. You yeah, know. I, I know it sounds different because we do use the IR exclusive quest, but at least the leveling part can be done. But this mechanic really changes the game for you if you, uh. No, no, no. No, look at it this way. The, the whole zero luck mechanic is very, very exclusive to this in particular. That's why it's others. Other places don't have this. It's kind of like, a, oh, you know, I still want it to be as generic as possible with the exception of the quest portion, because, you know, let's face it, leveling is, uh, is a pain, but we have the luxury ourselves. So why not? You can still level up at the same map locations. Doesn't hurt. It's just gonna take longer because the XP table increases. Well, even I don't do the uh, the spooky machine on streams, you know. At least for the booster series, I haven't done it. So, yeah, there's a lot of thinking here, Bear. Let me go back to Harpies real quick. Oh yeah, we're also gonna test how much uh healing we got with these um with these syrups without the um Wait a minute. Oh, right. The skills. The skills. Bear. Come on. The skills. Bear. Magma Dungeon 1 is actually something I had in mind. I just wasn't sure about it. Wow. That's painful. Yeah. But I don't I don't think Teddy Bear is it though. I mean even if we could do that, I don't think Teddy Bear is it. Just too far out.
2462 exp but we spend less potions on killing something oh yeah yeah i'm pretty sure it's the um, Yeah, but teddy bear's not it though. That, I mean, even if we could do that. Oh yeah, no, potion research definitely helps with the uh, white syrups, absolutely. No, there, there it is. This is what Alchemist has that other classes don't have. Yeah, but I can't use eight potion on the syrups. And you cannot use the event white potion. You cannot use the white potion unless the NPC white potion. Am I blind? White potion 20, but where are the white potions at? I don't see them. Oh, in the favorites tab. Okay, that's what I did earlier. I moved the thing to the favorites tab. Okay, so look. Wait, what? Oh, wait, 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 no, 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 These are, wait, what are they? They're not the same ones. What the heck? Hold on a second. I have orange potion. Ah, okay, there we go. So. It's not event white potion. It's regular white potion. So yellow, orange, and the other ones are events, but not the uh, white ones. Peculiar, but interesting. I think the other one factor that may affect the leveling process is how much we're getting back because since we're mobbing we're taking quite a bit of damage from monsters and we kind of want to reduce that so we heal 1740 and the white syrup heals us for 8000 hp basically so we're about the same price too you know Yeah. 
the amount of exp that we're gaining is not as great as that of other places so out of us uh, in potions goodness that's actually pretty difficult so we pretty much have our options cut out for us really as if we stay at heartbeats we do get some of the zenny back from what we get but the exp is not as great as what we would have like it to be but if we go to dark priest we have to deal with the uh attack range being you know suboptimal if you do single target it's not going to be as great as the you know as the usual so you know that is a pretty um significant dilemma we're facing here and even if i did dark priest the amount of thing that we would get back from spending cart revolution wouldn't be you know we wouldn't be making our zenny back And they were to fight any monster that is level 100 plus they're gonna have more than 12,000 hp it's gonna take more than 10 cart revolutions 120 sp pool per kill we'll be able to make five mobs and have to come back and get more more sp that too yet honestly it might be a bit tedious but it's actually probably the most uh level appropriate monster to handle now nah, just being here is enough dude don't worry about it i'm not i'm not like suffering or anything of that sort it's just you know game is uh game is hard But I think I do have to do the eating group uh, leveling, I mean, equipment quest first. So this day uh, we're just gonna have to kill ruins for what it is and pray that we get the um staffs and sell them to the npc and get some uh zeny potions back so let's see how many uh cart revolutions it takes to kill one of these ruins and then we can do a uh you know analysis how much more the eating group equipment will help which i think it will help greatly so Yeah, it's off by such little damage to get the kill. 
let's go do the eating group equipment quest level 90 plus and we'll probably call it a day from there and then tomorrow we're gonna come back and just go straight up ravine all the way through until the um maintenance and then the next day we'll see how, how far we can get into uh geneticists and whatever's left over we're gonna do on thursday and thursday will be a shorter stream Honestly, that was a tough lesson learned, you know? Golden rule of uh Seromas. They cast stun and they cast uh silence. Yeah, the homunculus isn't doing me any favors this year. Ever since they, they updated it, it's just not the same as it was. It's just more troublesome now than, than ever before. Oh, goodness. Well, it only attacks. I mean, it only lasts 30 minutes. Well, we're in the 93 plus where things start to get a bit more difficult. So we're kind of dealing with this at the moment. I think right at the 10th hour, I'm going to stop because I have stuff to do starting at 530. So, you know, 60 more minutes. We're going to stop the stream regardless of where we are and we'll pick it up tomorrow. No, it's just we're not getting as much EXP as we want and the monsters that we kill that give good EXP don't have drops to pay for the potions that we are uh, using. So, yeah. I could go around and do the bounty boards from other places, but that will also take up a lot of time. Scouting missions are only level 121 to 130.
I think I got it though. I think I got it under control now. It's just we just have to do the wins regardless. Whether we like it or not, that's gonna be the spots. There's just no better spot for us. Yeah, how about we just run into the uh, portal and regroup because we're not doing this right we uh didn't hotkey our syrup so there we go 27 out of 30 okay we are struggling just a little tiny bit not all that much Eating struggling quests, that's what I'm gonna call them.
No. So close. So close. Tough business we're in, really. Let's go back one more time. Oh, making cookies. Exhausting. Yeah, I think with the use potions for no potions, not kind of good stuff. You're still going to be tied down to cart revolution no matter what. And it's not entirely a bad thing. It's just uh, you have to acknowledge that you're in for a real, real, you know, real good grind. But getting to this level in 10 hours is not bad. It seems to be the average for most classes, right? Sitting up to 15 years well. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a rough game, man. Clearly not very forgiven either, so... pretty rough.
Come on, just come here, just come here. One more to go, and then all I gotta get are the uh, ice cubics in the next map over, and that's it. But remember, we only have three minutes left. Tomorrow there will be maintenance. Don't forget to make your booster characters if you still can. They haven't said anything about how when the event will end. Just, uh, you know, consider making characters if you can. It doesn't hurt to have extra characters, you know. Free resets. Open up the first box at least. And that's where all you need, the first box. Last time they erased boxes. They erased boxes one, level one boxes from level and level 30 and onwards but they didn't delete box 15 for whatever reason so there's still hope and plus you're gonna you're gonna have the free resets on those characters anyway so might as well right Oh, they did erase the level 15 box? Right, guys time's up i know it's said 10 hours but it's gonna be nine hours and 52 minutes because i got stuff to start at 5 30. so ladies and gentlemen that's it for today 10 hour run for the time being tomorrow we're gonna do another six hours hopefully uh yeah six hours and a half hopefully so uh remember we are gonna be doing this monday tuesday wednesday possibly thursday if we don't finish by wednesday so i want to thank you guys for your support i hope you guys have been enjoying the stream so far I want you guys to know that uh, this is the last booster character. I'm going to try to finish this up and work on, you know, figuring out how to do video editing and whatnot because uh, it might be helpful to do that. It might be coming, it might come in handy. So I think it's well worth doing. So uh, if you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, you can always come back to me. You can ask me on Discord. And we have a Discord channel dedicated to all of you lovely individuals out there who enjoy Ragnarok Online, who play Ragnarok Online, or simply like the way I run the stream. So if you're joining on there and ask me questions, more than happy to help you. And that's it. I think we're going to be, I'm going to be heading out. I got some stuff to do, some stuff to work on. And well, thank you for your support. Remember, if you a cup of tea, you don't have to drink it. And with that said, we'll see you guys on the next adventure. That'll be tomorrow, 6.30 a.m. Sorry, 7.30 a.m. Eastern, 7.30 a.m. Eastern. So have a lovely evening. We'll see you soon and take care. Captain Summers is going off the air in five, four, three, two, one.